Let me know if anyone's here, if you can uh, see and hear. What's going on, Game Boy? Abyssal Spirit. Jake from State Farm. Oh, wow. Siphonia. What's up? <sighs> Hello, Nebru Chad. Pleasant thought. What's that rat doing? Why why's he got why's he got wizard shit? What's good bridge wilder? Ico boo The Sky Beast Oh Fuck I'm I've invented something new over the past week. I I have invented the triphasic sleep schedule where I sleep three times a day for two to three hours. I actually want to die. Like, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm actually ready to go. Because they fucking have these dogs in the house. That do not stop barking. And so I just, I can't stay asleep. And so I literally just fucking... Like, I've been sleeping in, in, in two to three hour bursts. It's a really good feeling. Really gives me a boner. Hello, Volwave, Silver Fox, Non-Binary Rogue, BB Wilf, Tepuin, Size Studio, Nani, Residential, Cool to Think, Endless Finn, Sly Cooper, Usagi, Brunerth, Balder, Magic Man, Charizard, Graffiti Queen. I'm watching memes and you bring out Banjo-Kazooie. It's a, it's a ROM hack. It's not actually Banjo-Kazooie. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello, Riel. Riz, thank you, Lost Mandalorian, for the 20 months. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. I hope you're well. Hello, Toma Boma. Point Gamma. Vegan. Can't sleep, just take some drugs. I don't know. I'm, I'm tempted, honestly, because it's like, it takes me over an hour to fall asleep, too. Like, I'll just be sitting there violently tossing and turning. So, that's... It's really cool. It's really fun. Just, I, don't, I, I just wish I could sleep. That's <laughs> all I want to do. All my friends are leaving, moving on to better things. This is what an adult feels like. Yeah, no, I've been there. I used to, I used to have friends back in the day. Um, it sucked when they all moved away, but that's just part of life. That's just that's how it goes. You'll get over it. Thank you for the 17 months empty perspective. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. My K-pop informant. Hello, Doc Paps. Oh, wee. It takes me three hours to sleep for me. How do you deal with that shit? How do you live like this? It, it, it makes no sense. What's going on, Tally? Siphonia44, lol. Yeah, just comes here to post panda emotes. It's almost as obnoxious as you and the squids. Like, I, I, I wish I could vote both of you off the island. If I if I never had to see you guys post another message, it would be, uh... Be, be very nice. It would be very nice. What's going on, Aku? Crantix. You'll get used to it? I hope not. What about cats? Cats are okay. I like cats. What's good, Petey? Who would win in a fight, a squid or a panda? Probably the squid, provided that it actually had water. Oh, Doth Monk, you do have that power? Your vote is the single one that counts? No, <clears throat> not really. Because, like, here, here's one of the... Like, I, I, I don't ban people, typically. That's how I prefer it. But in the rare event that I do, almost invariably, regardless of who it is... People will whine and complain and, and post in Discord that that, like, said person needs to be free. Like, I could seriously, like, in the middle of the stream, scroll down and find, like, a lurker I've never seen chat and ban them. And I'm sure there'd be a couple people coming out. Why the fuck did Cocksmoker get banned? The fuck? So I don't, I don't, I don't know, dude. <laughs> it, even, even when I'm not the one who uh, bans them. Like, uh, someone can get banned in Discord for posting, like, uh, shit they're not supposed to. It, it comes to my door. 
It's it's rather irritating. What's going on at Magaloo? Give me power, I'll ban people for fun. Bro, you banned me three times, maybe four. You want to make it a fifth? Thank you, Revenge Hades, for the 11 months. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you, thank you. What is the creepy spaghetti on the mid, right? I feel like... I get asked this every single time. It's... It's, uh... It's a K-pop star. Isn't it abundantly clear that it's, it's Jimin? The fuck is wrong with you? I should put a label on it. I don't think that would help. What's going on, Cannon Fang? Poe Lumen. I'm ready to go to bed. I'm ready to, uh, I'm ready to sleep. What's going on, Never Ending Chimney? I should put it out of its misery. That's not good. Hello, Nautical Babe. What's up? Thank you, Balder, for the 41 months. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you for the continued support. What's good, Pearl? Happy birthday, dude. Thank you, Lex Brofist, for the two-year ESA. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. What's going on? Thank you, Labyrinthian, for the 18 months. You guys need to need to stop subscribing to me. I don't know why you're still sub to me. I, I stream like once a, once a month now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Neverending Chimney, for the one year Risa. God damn, where, where, where are all you people coming from? I don't understand. Appreciate it, dogs. Oh, yeah. Alright, well, let's play some video games, I guess. Let me see if I can get this bullshit working. Probably not, but we'll see. It's, uh... If you're not familiar, it is a ROM hack of Banjo-Kazooie. It ain't actually Banjo-Kazooie, but there's no Twitch category for a ROM hack nobody's ever played. So, it's called Banjo Dreamy. I guess the premise is that Banjo's having a bad dream. And, uh, yeah, it, sound, it sounds absolutely epic, I know, so we'll see if it's any good. Hello, Trash Snake. Now let me, um... Let me go over here. I, I've also learned, like, I've been preemptive in case it fucks up and doesn't work. The last hour I've been fucking with this to make sure it works, so I'm sure something's gonna go wrong. Because I remember when I did a Mario ROM hack, like, back in the day, like, around this time last year, I think. I had a lot of issues with the emulator. Um, and I'm fully expecting the same thing to happen, so we'll see. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Give it a second, it has to load. Good name. Oh, did you guys just see my shit? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I gotta delete the VOD then. If you if you just saw my documents, I gotta I gotta delete the VOD. I can't be having that. It's not supposed to capture this, only the uh the the fucking window. Uh-oh. T-Dog's in trouble. Alright, so let me go ahead and delete the bot. It's right off the bat. I don't know what was shown. I have no idea, but I don't wanna... I don't wanna... I don't wanna take the risk. I saw my file names and shit. That's no good. Let me, let me watch really quick. Let me, let me, let me make sure... Let me, let me just look at it. Give me a second. Oh, ew. I can't stand listening to my own fucking voice. Take the risk of what? I keep a lot of random fucked up shit on my desktop. And so I don't know... I don't know if I accidentally showed something bad or not. No, I think I'm good. Thankfully. Thank you for the 31 months. Interested scoop. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. There's a rhetorical statement. You're a rhetorical statement. Oh, no, it's good. It's good. I guess, uh... I guess it didn't show the little window that opened shit. 
Okay, so give me a second. I know it doesn't look okay right now. Um, hopefully this works. I gotta full screen it. Okay, can you guys, can you guys see it? Is it, does it look okay? Okay. Thank you, Miss Doodles, for the 23 months. Appreciate it, dog. Thank you. Thank you. It was stretched. It's what people say when they see you, beauty. I don't want to hear that. Looks like a 64 game. If you guys want me to put it into shitty ratio, like 4-3 or whatever the fuck, I can do that too. I just figured you would prefer it stretched rather than it not covering the entire screen. What's going on, Venn Greg? Thank you for the 17 months. I appreciate it. And hello, now it's one, two, three. I think I think I'm just gonna play the video game. I don't think anyone's even even watching. So was one of those people that stretches out games, making it look ugly. Here, let me fix that. I think Beauty is the only one actively watching, so I will uh. Go ahead and cater to his demands. I gotta, I gotta fucking lean in though, because if I have it on 4.3 on my 4K TV, it's like maybe seven inches across on a 43 inch screen. It's really small, the window. So I'm probably gonna be louder than normal because I gotta lean in. What's going on, communism? So I played a little bit of this just to make sure it worked. And the only thing you have at the start is the ability to jump this high. So, this should be, uh, this should be absolutely epic. I have no moves. I only have the ability to do little, little retard short hops. I wish I could jump that high in real life. Me too, dude. I feel like if, I feel like the act of jumping for me... I get no verticality, I just move my legs up, like, off the ground periodically, but I don't, like, nothing actually happens. Okay, okay. This is a note door sealed by Olago with one of his powerful musical spells, Ubu. To open it, you must collect the musical notes from the worlds, okay? Epic. Very, very cool. Shut the fuck up and let me play the video game. Some rom hack from Banjo Tooie and Donkey Kong 64. I can already tell. It's a rom hack, all right. I wonder. I wonder if it's gonna be any good. Thank you, LG Kurtz, for the three months. Appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. Hello, Rosden. It's gonna take some getting acclimated to the oh shit <laughs> to the camera. Banjo is dreaming that Nuts and Bolts is actually a good game. I think Kazooie's eggs smell. Have you ever had a smelly egg in real life? I don't think you have. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Alright. The first level is called The Glowing Gardens. I can't wait. You can probably hear the excitement in my voice. This, this is a ROM hack of Banjo Kazombie. Is this a no death run like last time? Uh, probably not. I've never played this before. It's good stuff. What is this fucking music? This sounds like banjo music, but I know this isn't in the main game. Maybe it's in Tui. I don't remember this from the original. 
It's also fucked up that these are like the first enemy you encounter, the intangible ghosts. Not that I have any attacks to deal with any enemy, but like Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked, dude. I can't climb shit. Glowing Garden reminds me of Glow Puffs from Dragon Quest Builders 2. Oh shit, are you gonna teach me an ability? Am I gonna get... What the fuck is this music? I need a double jump. I hope you're not afraid of heights. Oh shit, is he already gonna teach me how to fly? Oh, not yet. Jump onto a tree. Then use the control stick to climb. Wait, was that an ability in the main game? I don't remember. I feel like climbing trees was not an ability you got from the mole in the original game, but maybe I'm misremembering. I'm pretty sure you could do that from the start. What's going on, real idiot? That's fucked up. It was? Gotcha. Hey, thank you, Nacho Man, oh yeah, for the 33 months. Appreciate it, dog. What's going on? It was, you got it at the beginning. Gotcha. Thank you, Alex EXF, for the 17 month resub, and ZZ for the 11 months. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, dudes. How's it going? I, it's, it's going. It's going. So I have to get past this ant because there's a molehill over there. Suck my dick. <laughs> Suck my dick. You missed my birthday yesterday. I'm sorry, dude. I hope you had a good one. I hope you got drunk. It's time for you to learn the claw swipe. Oh boy. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna be able to bear slap them to death. Bears can climb trees in real life. It all makes sense. Can you imagine a big-ass grizzly bear trying to climb up a tree to eat your ass? You'd be fucked. I mean, you stupid fucking carrot, I'll beat your ass. That's what I do to carrots in real life. Someone tries to feed me that shit, I use the bear swipe. Okay, so that was... a fucked up place to hide the tunnel. <laughs> I, I don't... I'm not sure how I would have seen that there was a tunnel there. I guess you're just supposed to see that you can jump past the ant and get over there. That's crazy. Hidden behind the fucking flower pot. Okay. I'm gonna try to beat the fuck out of this ant with my newly found claw swipes. It's not going well. Alright. So, uh... That didn't- that didn't go well. I can't- I- I forgot I can't do the swipes while I'm moving. I have to come to a complete stop to attack. Are the C-Stick camera controls also unlockable abilities? I hope not. No, oh, get back here! <laughs> why- why do they have it on a slope? God, I- I feel like- like the- the developer of this just really- really has a disdain. <laughs> for, for people in general. But I'm also half awake, so maybe that's the problem. Alright, I kicked that dude's ass. Fuck him. Holy shit, the camera, though. Holy fuck. Total such a noob at Banjo-Kazooie. No, I haven't played anything on Nintendo 64 in a long-ass time, so I definitely am. I beat you. I'm gonna beat that ass, and then I fell off. I need help. Jim is trying to break into my house and eat my cat. I don't think that's actually happening. I'm, I'm, I'm choosing not to believe you on this one. Holy fuck, I'm good at this game. I'm an absolute legend. Okay. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with me? I should just... I should just take a dive in the ocean and never come up. I'm just not used to this shit anymore. This is how you don't play Banjo Kazooie. What's going on, Cat Liver? Get this bear some fucking cleats. 
So it looks like there might not be puzzle pieces. I haven't seen anything that would uh, suggest that there are. It might just be collecting the notes, which would be fucked if that's the case. Because I don't know if they modded this out, but in the original Banjo-Kazooie... But say you got 17 notes, right? And then you left the level. Um, if you wanted to get the 18th note, you would have to... If you And you came back, you would have to get the first 17 back again. Um, so, <laughs> if that's the case, progression's gonna be a doozy if there's backtracking involved. What the fuck? Suck my dick! God, I hate these ghosts. These things pissed me off in the original, too. If I missed much, you never miss much on my stream. That's the appeal. What's going on, Gimpy? Okay, so this dude's an asshole. This ghost is a piece of shit. Speaking of cats, last night my cat bolted out of my room, stopped, stared at the ceiling, and scurried off. It's a ghost. It's a fucking ghost, dude. Thank you very much, Matsu Mikito, for the 18 months. Oh, you don't die. Okay, I was worried there for a second. That was a that was pretty bad on my end. That was a not not the best jump in the world, I'll admit. But apparently you don't die for for falling down here. So that's good. I'm very happy about that. Should I risk going for the extra life, dude? Uh -huh. What's good, a modder? I fucking did it, and I don't die when I fall down the, the hole, so that was absolutely worth. I'll be in Lurk, alright, fair enough, take it easy. Hello, God, what's going on, dog? How are the wife and kids? Okay. So I've been playing that that Dragon Quest Builder game off stream, like I said I would. I think I'm almost done with it. Um, I beat the I beat the third island and I'm on the final part of the game, I think. I presume it's the final part. I don't know what the fuck else would be past this. Why did they fuck up Twitter even more? Dude, I've had the the quote unquote new and improved Twitter for like a month, month and a half at this point. Shit's miserable. I don't I don't understand how people how people haven't rioted in the streets over how bad that shit is. Well fuck me. What happens on the third island? It's almost entirely combat oriented. It's like some weird orcs must die shit. Where you're building traps and fending off wave after wave after wave after wave. Um, I like it way more than the uh, the desert island. I think the desert island was definitely the low point of the game. Is this the first round of this? Yes. I'm not I'm not very good at uh, old school platformers, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Great Hollow looks a lot different. True. A friend of mine actually prefers the new layout. Yeah, you should stop being friends with him, dude. You're gonna find out that he, like, eats women or some shit in his garage. Alright, that wasn't very good, I'll admit. What's going on, honey pun? You haven't finished with that? No, I'm gonna... I'm gonna finish Dragon Quest. Um, the, the last few streams of it have been, like, exceptionally dog shit. So, I'm gonna make it to where it's just, like, you guys can watch the end game, like, the actual building. But, I don't know. Is that your husband on the right? You know it. Can't even see some of those platforms. This is, uh... This is a tricky situation, to be sure. Is that it? What the fuck? Huh. 
All right, well, I think we did it. Boom. You want to see orcs must die? No. Like, the last couple of Dragon Quest Builder streams, like, my chat was straight up fucking comatose, dude. Like, like I, I, I don't know. It was, it was really bad. Like, I felt terrible just playing the game. It was, uh, it was not, not good. Whereas if I finish it, at least I'll, I'll have the building to warm my heart a little bit. Where's the puzzle pieces? I believe it's only notes. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's only the notes. I wonder if that's all I can do here. It doesn't seem like there's much else to be done here. Yeah, but it's also just not Dragon Quest, like, just in general. Like, my, my streams have been the opposite of popping lately, so I apologize for that. Just, uh, I don't know. What the fuck? I don't remember that being in Banjo-Kazooie. Maybe I'll get a fork item and stick in it later. Open this door over here? I haven't been popping the chill streams. No, that just means boring. Like, don't don't fall for the chill meme. Like that shit's just a meme. That's a that's a way that's a way for for influencers to market boring content as something to be desirable. Okay. Yes, we're. We're done. We only need seven notes for the other door. What's going on, Rat Muncher? Each world has 25 notes, but you won't always be able to find all of them at once. See, like, okay, this is gonna be eight. Because if I come back here, yeah, I have to recollect all the ones I've already found in order for the new ones to count. <laughs> that is gonna be fucking annoying. Oh, man. I don't like that. I don't like that much at all. What's going on, Anthony? That was like the worst part of the original Banjo-Kazooie, and it's like a feature in this one that it's based around. Metro but it's worse than a Metroidvania, because like, you have to re-get everything you've already gotten. Like, it's not its not just like you backtrack and, and get the shit that you weren't able to before. You have to get all the shit you, you previously got and the new shit in one run. So we'll see. I, I, uh, actually, that was an accidental I, I, uh, uh, I don't really, I don't really like that part. T Dog, I, I, I never did. I guess this is where we're supposed to go. Fuck the camera, dude. <laughs> God damn it. Thank you, Brad Schnuff, for the 21 months. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you, what's going on? Is there something over here? What the fuck is this? Take it. That's a it's gonna be a DSP, huh, for me, dude. <laughs> you can bulk him. Yeah, yeah, what the fuck was that? Okay. So level two is the crystal cave. I wonder if the, the scale F is gonna be here. Uh get it? It's a dark soul reference. That's funny. Play Hat in Time. People have said that game is lit as hell, but I still haven't gotten around to playing it. Honestly, probably never will, knowing me. What's good, Sleepy? Does it mean you played Banjo to it? No, I don't like Banjo to it. Game's fucking annoying. Did that skeleton just eat out of this plane of existence? What the fuck? I doubt I can make those- No, I know I'm not gonna be able to make those jumps. Look at how high I jump. 
I jumped like two fucking feet. It can hardly be called a jump at all. See, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Maybe I should... There's gotta be like a molehill or something I've gotta find. There's a light bulb up there with a fucking mumbo token. There's all this shit. I have no idea <laughs> what the fuck to do. Is that cursed ROM? Yes, it's a apparently the only complete ROM hack of Banjo Kazooie. Um, so we'll see. I wanna I wanna play it through, but I might. I don't know if it's gonna get like retard hard towards the end, like a lot of ROM hacks do. I'm not very good at the platformer shit, so if that happens, then I might be might be up shit creek without a paddle. Am I a nuisance? What a weird question to ask. Why are you asking that? The answer is no, by the way. Like, if you were Hank and you asked me that question, or you were Siphonia and you asked me that question, answer might be different. Um, or, or... You know what? No, I actually prefer Game Boy to both of those people right now. Am I a nuisance? No, Hubert. No, you are not. You're my toad. Toad thinks I'm a nuisance? No, you're good. How many ROM hacks have you played? Not a lot. I fucked around with a couple of Mario 64 ones. Um... They get really hard. Like, they get really, really fucking hard. I'm not... I'm not, uh, I'm not good at it. Okay. Was this game requested? No. I don't, I don't usually do requested games. If I... If I did requested games as a, as a habitual thing, I probably never would have gotten them free from Dark Souls. And I... I the reason I'm playing this is I don't think anyone knows if they're actual ROM hacks for Banjo-Kazooie. I think most of you, this is probably gonna go ahead and, and place place cold hard cash on the majority of you not knowing what that this shit existed at all. Like, this is literally something you've never seen in your entire life. What's going on? I'm scared. I have no fucking clue how to progress beyond this point, though. There's a, there's a molehill over there that could potentially be useful. I can't swim, so I can't go down there. I feel like I missed something in one of the previous areas. Like, I feel like I'm supposed to have an ability that I just don't have right now. So I'm gonna go back. Because I don't know how the fuck you're supposed to maneuver through this shit. Happens in water? I don't think I can swim yet. I can try. I guess I haven't tried. Just assumed I couldn't since I couldn't climb trees. This game helped me discover my inherited temper issues. Wow, your best note score for this world is now one. Very good. Can, can, I, can I have a round of applause, chat? I don't think I can swim. I'm pressing the buttons. Nothing's working. What a rat monster? No, this is a ROM hack, rat monster. This is a fan-made game. Um, this is this has nothing to do with like any actual banjo games, besides the fact that it uses the same assets and shit. ROM hack, take away the bird. Uh, for the time being, yes. Apparently this toilet making, uh, noises at us is the antagonist, by the way. The toilet from the Mad Monster Mansion in the original Banjo-Kazooie. What a great antagonist. It's almost as good as, uh... <laughs> almost as good as the antagonist of Dark Souls 3. Explains a lot? Yeah, yeah. There's another note up there that I missed, that I could have gotten. So... What the fuck? 
I'm gonna go up here. Is a vantage point to see if there's something I I have missed. We're looking for molehills. There's Hubert's house. Can't even punch them. I can punch them, but that shit sucks. Like you have to be completely stationary to to wallop them. Like I, these are my only two moves, the punches and the ability to climb trees. So I'm, I'm in dire need of, of something new. But I don't know where it would be. Like, I've clearly missed a molehill or something. But I don't know where I missed it. I mean, I got two abilities in this level, so... Are we saving Hot Grunty in this? I don't- I don't think Grunty has anything to do with this. So ROM hack? Yes. Maybe I can talk to- talk to him again here. Hey, retard. You still under raid trash cans and roared scared old ladies? Sounds dope to me. Fuck old ladies, dude. I swear to God, every time I get pissed while driving and I look at the uh, the driver, it's always some old lady or a pickup driver, redneck. Those are the those are the two demographics that, that give me road rage. What's going on, Real? are nice most of the time, but I don't like their driving. Do you think the talking toilet made snide remarks about Grunty's bowel movements? I hope so. I hope he didn't say regular as always when she when she took up fat Gruntilda shit in his mouth. <laughs> what noise they make. It reminds me of something, but I can't put my finger on it. Alright dudes, I think we're at an impasse here. You know what? Maybe killing all the frogs does something. You never know, right? Okay. So far my, my plan of killing all the frogs, not going too well. <laughs> Fuck me, that's uh... The, the claw swipes really are just... And they take multiple hits to kill, huh? Holy fuck. Yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> that ain't happening, dude. That's, uh, that's a no-go for me. Let's get Spinetto. Oh, shit. I'm involved in a hit room where an old lady hit me and ran away. Yeah, that sounds about right. What if I... hold on. What if I jump on it from that ledge and I break the wall? I gotta think outside the box, because this isn't normal Banjo-Kazooie. I can't even jump that far. <laughs> I can't even jump that far, dude. Are you kidding me? Holy shit, that's sad. Or banjo. So there's no way I'm gonna be able to jump this thing, right? You gotta think inside the box. Well, I have, I have none of my moves. Um, okay, don't. I don't have anything involving the bird. I don't have any any epic jumps. Like, I know exactly what happened. Like, I missed a molehill somewhere. I think- I think that's obviously what- what has happened here. Unless I really do have to kill the frogs, in which case I'm fucked. Um, I'm just- I'm completely dicked. Is this his first time playing this ROM hack? Yes, I've never played this ROM hack before. I 
Like, it came out, like, late last year. I didn't even know it existed until last week. Okay. Wait, hold on. Oh, wow, that's, uh... That's an interesting pause screen. I don't... I don't know if I like that. Wait. What's going on, Namar? Hold on. Hold the fuck door. get enough uh, range on it. It was a novel idea, though. It was a novel idea, but not actually what I'm supposed to do. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I missed a molehill in the giant tree. Maybe there was a molehill in the giant tree with all of the leaves that I had to climb up in the glowing gardens. That seems like something they'd fucking do. Find out. What's going on, Stoat? No, 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 leave me alone, asshole. Okay. But how would you even make a molehill in here? Doesn't make any fucking sense. What's good, Bunston? Thank you for the eight months. Appreciate it, dog. Oh, that was good. What's going on, baby? This is, uh, this is Banjo Kazooie. That's, uh,. It's called the ROM hack, which is basically someone made a fucked up mod that changes the entire game and it makes it really different. That ghost sounds like a retarded goat. You can't say that word. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna be, we're gonna be taken away by Twitch.tv if you say that word, baby. Tired of dealing with people? Why is that, dude? Imagine a world where you can't say retard. It's coming. It's coming. One of these days, it's gonna happen. Retarded band now? No. But the fact that you guys are actually entertaining the idea that it is says all I need to say on the matter. I wanna see them try. T-Dog Monka ass. No, it's monkey ass, you dumb fuck. Come on, Amama. What's wrong with you? That was really good. <laughs> that was all. That was really good. This is really good. I'm giving myself a gold star for that one. I always thought it was. Why would it be bad? There's nothing wrong with calling someone a retard. And even if there was, it's one of those things where because I'm a Texan, I get a pass on the word. Um, that's how it works. I don't make the rules, but I do abide by them. What's going on needs a nap. There's loads wrong with it? Nah, not really. Borderlands 3? No, I don't have any friends who play that shit with me. swimming in the ocean and now my nipples hurt. I don't believe you because you were talking about swimming in the ocean uh, and your nipples hurting in Discord, so I think you're just, you've made an epic meme that you think is hilarious. It's not actually funny at all. Um, so I don't believe your nipples actually hurt. And I don't believe you swam in the ocean either. So uh, go ahead and, and take that and shove it up your ass. Okay, retard. That's a good response. <laughs> that, that's re realistically what you should say, yeah. Just fucking shoot me. <laughs> Just fucking... God damn it. I don't know how I managed to miss that. What's going on, Blind Ashlyn? 
That was really good. Imagine having nipples. Aim the jump? I jumped right at it. This didn't have the distance. I'm gonna buy some chickens and throw them on the ground. This tree is fucked up. I'm gonna get a McFish. I mean, Roiland's right there. Can you make the mouse cursor larger? Yeah, here, let me move it, my bad. It's going up with BK. This tree is lit. This tree should be lit. It should be lit on fire, I agree. I'm gonna fuck it up here, though, I guarantee you. So am I- is my theory correct? Is there a molehill in here? No? I did this all for nothing? That's fucking cool. Got a real big boner over that, not gonna lie. I guess I could just fucking, you know. Need us, delete us. Would you rather make out with Banjo or Kazooie? Um. Well, Kazooie's a girl. So, probably gonna be my answer. Not really into dudes, personally. I don't wanna get all the notes. There, I already did. I've already been through there. Like, I'm not looking for notes, I'm looking for an ability. I'm pretty sure I've gotten all of the notes that I can I can realistically get here. Although, wait, hold on. Let me see. There's no way I can get up there. Um, fuck me in the ass and call me Martha, where the hell? The hard beak, though. Okay, but still a girl. That's all that matters. Oh shit. Oh shit, I can actually do this? Fuck, I should have gotten the notes in the tree. God damn it. Oh fuck. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, dude. <laughs> Bless you, Sif. This is gonna suck. <laughs> this is gonna be so dog shit, I can already <laughs> tell. This is the first level. I don't I don't think I'm beating this. I don't think I'm beating this, dude. I don't think I'm like a good enough gamer to beat the Banjo Kazooie Rob hack. But I'll try. Oh my fucking god, dude. <laughs> why? Why would you do something like this? Why, Nunu? Why? Oh my god. <laughs> you gotta be fucking with me. Holy shit. God damn it. And there's a ghost right down there, too. I'm gonna need to go and get more, uh, more honeycombs. What's going on, Duke? Alright, what if I go this way? <laughs> what if I, what if I make my way downtown? Okay. It's just, uh, just one of the pads. Dude, why the fuck is the ghost up here? Go and suck my dick! That's some fucking bullshit and you know it. Fuck. 
Holy fuck, dude. I can't get I can't get it straight with the camera. There we go. I can't even fucking see this one, dude. Are you kidding me? Alright, alright. Take it nice and slowly. Ooh go. Oh yeah. Mm, yeah. Big bear doing things. Rotate the camera! Fuck you! Oh, there's a note up there. Oh yeah, just fuck me in the ass. Just, just, just fucking, just flush it with cummies. I'm fucking ready. Like I don't I don't think my my controller stick is is precise enough for this. <laughs> Fuck me. I'm just going on Venom Gauss. Uh, like if I go straight I'm gonna veer off to the left is the problem. Okay, can I can I do this? Is this legal? No, it's not legal. Dude, I have a feeling this ghost is gonna come and sabotage this entire thing. How much you wanna bet? <laughs> no, no, okay, okay, this is actually good. I don't mind this. See, it's really all, all about just having the camera positioned right. Like, as long as you can look straight at it, it's really not that bad, but the thing is, the camera will go into these fucking ridiculous angles where it's just... It's so hard to do accurate movement. What's going on, Nanners? And thank you, Tremazix, for the two years. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. What's good, dude? That still didn't help my problem, though. I still don't... Still not any closer to, uh... To what I need. And the problem is, I did all that, but it's not gonna matter because I still need to get all of the other notes in the level for that to count. No, fuck off. Suck my dick. Go, go away. These ghosts are fucking... They're fucking... Any interest in Mario 64 hacks? I played a couple on stream. I didn't finish any of them, though, because I'm a baby bitch gamer. I just wanted to see Banjo-Kazooie, because Banjo is one of my favorite games. Okay. That was good. Can you imagine... ...if that, like, actually fucking killed you? <laughs> How retarded this would be? God, I would... I would... I don't think I'd be playing this. I missed him. No, you didn't miss much. I only played a little bit. I played, uh... I think it was called The Last Impact, a little bit of that one. I played a few off-stream, too. Um, I forget which ones, though. Like, the names don't really stick with me. This is the first level. Yeah, this is level number one. This is the equivalent of fucking Mumbo's Mountain in <laughs> this game. So, basically, fuck you, eat shit. What's going on, Dester? Star Road? No, I don't think I played that one. I have heard of it, though. Fuck! Alright. We gotta- we gotta dip. I was actually doing really okay until that point. I- See, now I have no health, though. And I'm just gonna fucking die, and I don't wanna lose lives, because I have a feeling they're gonna be important later on. Surprised it didn't start with the Gruntilda fight? Yeah, I really should have, in retrospect. the desire to play this over nuts and bolts I'm not gonna fucking play nuts and bolts this is not gonna happen thank you King Van to Q for 10 months I appreciate it dude it's good 
My man said, okay, made it up this high, just jump off. Well, it was an accident. Like, I... I, I panicked. I went a little too far, and I, I, I overcorrected, and I ended up eating shit. It was really cool. Okay. So I didn't find any, any molehills there, sadly. What's going on, Visku? I guess I'll go back and look one more time. Because it seems like there's more you can do there. You just gotta be really precise with the platforming. It was a 60 FPS patch when I was a youngling. <laughs> I mean... Shit. Can always go back. Okay. Oh, very, very, very fun, funny. Noodle. Very epic. I, I can't stop XD. So... How the fuck? I guess I get over there by having the little pad. Um. Been up there. 20 FPS is where I live. I love modding Morrowind to run at 5 FPS, as I'm sure some of you know. I really don't think I missed a molehill here. I'm so fucking blind, which is possible. Why is the music this way? I don't understand. I gotta sneeze to get ready, volume warning. No, I think it passed. Let's go to Motion Lord. Fuck, I want to sneeze. I need to sneeze, but I can't. What's the new picture to the right? Oh, that's, uh, that's a member of BTS is in Anteater or some shit. The BTS people are so batshit insane, they like to make Twitter threads turning their favorite K-pop stars into Animorphs. It's really cool. This POE build that crashes most people's game right now because it's too much on screen. Wouldn't surprise me. The last league had a bunch of crashes in general. It's probably one of the least technically competent leagues in POE history. It's actually impressive. But thankfully the league itself was fun. Every trend on Twitter these days is people commandeering with BTS. You know, most of the time, I don't think, like... How do I want to put it? I understand that there are bots on all social media that, like, inflate trending topics and shit, but I especially feel it with the BTS stuff, because, like, I'll, I'll be looking on a given day, and it'll be, like, pol important political event, 15k tweets, and it's, like, Army Selka Day, 253,000 tweets, and it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? How? How are so many people tweeting about this bullshit? I don't, I don't get it. I don't fucking understand. So I'm, I'm convinced that, that it's, it's not legit. Thank you, Kai C, for the 15 months. Appreciate it, dog. Thank you, thank you. So I think it's safe to say that I'm never gonna progress. I gotta, I gotta blow my nose. Give me a sec. I mean, no, I can't. I actually am in a hell where. Okay, okay, my bad. I thought I I thought I still had it full screen for some reason because I'm stupid. And if I if I did have it full screen, it takes like 25, 30 seconds to transition in and out. So well, hey, so I can't stop getting basketball shit trending. I'm an epic gamer. Uh -huh. What a train wreck? What? What's good, yo-yo? Did you guys hear my sniffle? Did I fuck up? That's why you do worldwide trends. I thought that was a Jinjo. I don't think there are Jinjos in this. 
talk about that FPS counter? No? Now we'll pop it out. What is this? It's a Banjo-Kazooie ROM hack. I guess I should put that in the Twitch title. I wish I had any attack besides the, uh, besides the shitty claw swipes. The fact that you have to stop and they take three years to come out makes them very irritating to use. Guess I'm gonna have to learn, though. Alright, frogs, I'm coming for that ass. Where the fuck are you going, frog? Dude, holy shit! The unkillable demon king! Dude, I, I don't think I'm good at Banjo-Kazooie. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I don't think I'm very adept at this game. I'm back from Wingstop, you want some? Yeah. Gonna fucking mash it out, dude. I don't think I'm gonna win. Alright. Demon princes, yep. I gotta I gotta leave. I gotta go get my health back. I really don't wanna die. I need skill points to so like the bird perk. Mario Odyssey hard mode mod if you even oh shit reading chat um, I don't know I just want next month to come out so I have something to play because all of the games like that I have right now like Mario Wonder Dragon Quest is boring um, so I don't know I don't know I don't really remember how the Mario Odyssey streams went this is Mata Banjo Kazooie. Yes, it is. Thank you, little doctor, for 15 months. Appreciate it, dog. Modding on the Switch is hard, but cool. You can stream Odyssey hard mode. I think Nintendo would be a fan. Nintendo can uh, can eat my my cheese curds. Come on, bitch. This fucking frog. My range is so fucking good. God, it just makes me want to nut. You say chill, it means boring. True. My, I think my favorite part is when they jump over my head. Okay. There's two more to go and I still have the, the beehive. <laughs> Come here. Come here, you little slut. Come on. I'm ready for you. It's actually pretty impressive that he can jump over your head and the hitboxes are good enough that neither of you incur damage. Nope, that's not what I was supposed to do. <laughs> I was hoping maybe you kill all four frogs and something happens. Nope. Just at least I'm I, at least I'm now adept at killing frogs with nothing but the banjo bear slap, right? Maybe adept is too strong a term. What the 
fuck, dude? <laughs> I don't understand. Some way to ground pound until I find the molehill? No. I really like how that skeleton moves. Alright, pet bumpy. Look up a walkthrough? No, I ain't no bitch. Are you kidding me? Who the fuck looks up walkthroughs? Especially if you're a streamer. Come, go, come. Hmm. There's no way I'm gonna be able to make these jumps, right? Because there's a molehill up there. a bitch, he doesn't make his games good. Chances of suffer with you, is it really a real stream? Well, what qualifies as a real stream? Talk to the metal fish. That's not a fucking fish. That's a I, I know what that is, a modder. Like, look at this shit. Look, look, look at this. Look at fucking a mama. He thinks it's a metal fish that I can just talk to. It's, a, it's clearly a naval mine. He thinks- he really thinks I'm that fucking stupid. <laughs> he really thinks I'm gonna go and try to talk to this retard. But he's right. Oh no, he doesn't want to talk. He's not in a very talkative mode. <laughs> what do you think of Remnant from the Ashes? It probably sucks. All video games are shit. You can quote me on that. I don't know, I, I haven't seen anything on it. Isn't it just FPS Souls, like the second one? I'm not gonna play, like, fucking Souls with guns. That's just, that's not gonna happen. You know, you know how I am with FPS games. You saw me play that fucking Doc Hunt game. It's not good. People were calling me, uh... A victim of Parkinson's because my aim was bad. Well, fuck. Maybe I should. Maybe I just need to get 21 notes. That would be really weird if the the, the second level only had one note you could get without abilities. I don't know why I keep running into this dude. Probably because I'm stupid. Mm. Alright. Give me that honey. Give me that honey! Is there anything in here that I may have missed? There's a fucking Mumbo token. Woohoo. I haven't even seen Mumbo yet. Do you think he's gonna turn me into a an ass plug? That would be a pretty sick transformation. Especially if I was an ass plug for one month. Thank you for the 26 months, Pineapple Punch. Appreciate it, dog. Thank you, thank you, dude. You see the camel spit the water already? That's so bad. It hurts so It makes a sad noise. Ahmad, are you a- are you a- a social path? Before any fucking retard says something, I- I, mi I mispronounced that intentionally, I, I know- I know it's sociopath, but I- but Social path sounds better. I took a psychology class once- oh, me too, dude, what'd you get? Did you ace that shit? Destiny's better than Borderlands, it's an heresy gamer. Um... Never played Destiny. I like reading shit that I have no business reading, though. I saw a fucking Reddit post where, like, the devs or some shit 
wrote like a destiny manifesto about the future that I thought was interesting. The only thing that stuck with me is apparently they have an internal team of players uh, that try to cheese everything as a way of playtesting, and they call that internal team Velveeta. I thought that was kind of funny. I had an 88, but it was just three Scantron tests. Yeah, dude, it was boring as shit. Like, you want to know something fucked up? There are so many people who take a Psych 101 class and believe themselves capable of psychoanalyzing motherfuckers on the internet. That just by exposure from those fuckers, you know all of the terms and shit by the time you're old enough to actually take that class. That was my experience, at least. I'm like, I already know this fucking shit, dude. <laughs> like, people, people won't shut the fuck up about how, like, you're a narcissist. It's, it's pretty funny to me. Maybe it's different in places with respectable uh, education systems, though. But I know, I know my Psych 101 class was pretty much just fucking the easiest shit imaginable. I think you're a bipolar schizophrenic because sometimes you, you talk to yourself. No lie, I've had people tell me that on YouTube comments. Like, there's some people who watch, like, my Dark Souls boss kill video or something, and they legitimately think I'm just having a conversation with myself and ask if I'm schizophrenic. I've had that on a couple of occasions, and I'm just like, dude... <laughs> Are you, uh... Man. That's, that's, that's something, isn't it? I know, Gaio. I can, I can read you, dude. I, I'm gonna diagnose you right now. Are you ready? I'm gonna psychoanalyze you. No, but that's what they say. Like, the YouTube comments are a magical fucking place. It's pretty weird that you call all your, your other personality chat. Dude, well, I mean, to be fair, what I'm talking, I'm not constantly referring to you guys as chat. Although one time I really pissed my Discord off because there were a bunch of people, all who were in... Members of my chat, by the way, and the Discord, and I referred to them as chat outside of the stream, and like got, they got pissed at me. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. Alright? It just happens. I'm, I'm actually fucking stonewalled here, I have no idea what to do. Actually, have no fucking clue. How dare you? Real people? No, I know. I'm told to say okay chat instead of okay retard from now on. Excuse me. Just collect all the notes. I don't think I have the abilities to get all the notes here. In fact, I know I don't. I can't, like, how am I gonna get up there? I, I fucking can't. There's no, there's no way. I can't jump from there, because this is the length of my jump. Like, it's, it's actually impossible with my current moveset. Um... Over here, up on the mushroom area, I need the little green talon... talon pad. I'm telling you, I missed a molehill somewhere. And I don't know where it is, but that's the only thing that makes sense logically to me. I just don't know where the fuck it is. Open the fucking door. Can I jump on the cables from the trees? No, I've, I've been up there. There's, there's, there ain't shit. Like, there's a couple of notes, but that's it. I'll look again just in case, because maybe I missed a molehill up here. It wasn't in the tree area. I'm 
Wasn't she nice to Honey Boy and jump through the light window? A oh, mama. You're fucking high, dude. I'll try it, but you're 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 puffing too much. You're puffing way too much. Wanna start with Prowse jumping this? Nope. I don't think so, let me see. I think the entire point of this mod is your your severely gimped moveset wise for the beginning. Getting desperate? How do you think I feel, dude? I'm the one in the driver's seat. Everyone's gonna think I'm a I'm a big re-re. Nope. It was a novel idea though, I'll give you that. It's worth a shot. Huh. What's going on, chump come? seem to get their bird in the first 10 minutes. Well, see, I'm a retard. Never played this game before? Well, even if you had, this would make no sense to you, because this is a ROM hack. 10 minutes is 2 hours until all the time true. I am a retard. Look up walkthrough on second monitor. Molehills or only two? Only two. You know your epic claw move? It told you to kill a second carrot instead you left the area? If that's what I have to do, I'm actually gonna fucking just close this shit. That would be so AIDS if that's if that's what I what I failed to do. But I also feel like Chad's pulling my cock right now. Kill two carrots, I'm going. I saw three, I think. Close the emulator and start up the four you won. I was too busy making the carrot joke. Yeah, I was too busy being an influencer, I'm sorry. I retard. Now try my fearsome forward roll. Roll by running and pressing B. I'll see if I can find ball for you to practice on. Oh my god. Are you fucking serious? Okay, my bad. Why the fuck? Okay, it's time for the buzzard to learn a trick. It better be a good one, Squinty. Try out the rat -a tat tat Oh my fucking god. And I've been killing the, f the fucking frogs with just the bear punch. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Why? Oh my fucking god. All because I decided to make a carrot joke instead of reading the text. Okay. I guess I need to read the dialogue in Banjo-Kazooie, that shit's important. Okay, well, shit. That doesn't exactly make like the- make me look like the shining sterling example of intelligence. I still think I want to go to the Crystal Caves, though, so I can maybe get some more abilities, because now I can get to that molehill around the water. I'm just to play the game after, like, an hour of gameplay. Well, you know, I read, uh, I was reading comments about it to see if it was good, and people complained about only having, like, an extremely finite set of moves. So I guess I just assumed that was it, maybe. Um, 
motherfucker was punching frogs for an hour. True. There's me that one person who found the Breath of the Wild tutorial after completing the game. Thank you for the 29 months, Faraz. I appreciate it, dude. The picture on the right is terrifying. No, that's BTS. A, a horde of 15-year-old girls is gonna come and devour you whole if you say that shit's terrifying. So, so watch your tongue, dude. Watch out. What's going on, man? Naked no scope. The frogs. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna go and just. I'm gonna Dark Souls that. Like, check this shit out. You're you're about to see like. Uh, Night Kirk. Oh, fuck. Get back here, you little slut. That's what I'm talking about. Look, look at this shit. I'm a king of death now. No frog can stop me. You hit me? I one-shot you. I love how they spread for you. I bet you do, you amphibian fucker. No dancing pizza boy tonight. I'm more disappointed than I thought I'd be. Yeah, my streams are always super disappointing. Sorry. Oh, maybe? Oh, shit. It doesn't look like you can make it, but you can. Dude, come on, camera. You're fucking me here. Alright. What is he gonna teach me now? Probably the crouch jump, paw. Huh? Your jump can do with some help. What do moles know about jumping? More than you, press A to jump and hold it to jump higher. Wait, are you fucking kidding me? That's it? Jump, then press A again in the air for a double jump. Oh, fuck. Okay. Not until you learn this one. First, you must stand like this. Okay, I know what he's gonna tell me. I know how to do the flat flip jump. Epic. Okay. Kazooie has an attitude? Yeah, Kazooie's a little bitch. Fuck you and your mother! <laughs> okay. I have to be, like, right at the edge. Gotta be frame perfect, bro. Is this a hack of Kazooie? I believe it's a hack of Kazooie, but I'm not sure. I really, I really have no idea. You guys think I can make it over there? No way, right? Fuck, dude. Well, hey, you just passed your best jump score for this world. A, a titanic total of two. Two whole notes. So how the fuck do you get on the light bulb is what I want to know. We have moves, we do. <laughs> that stupid fucking mind. Reminds me of Sif. Sometimes she just makes noises like that, it's funny. Daddy. Ooh, I need a move for 
where this dude respawns. Now I actually play the fucking game? I know, right? It was all that carrot's fault. You reach new heights with my shock jump spray. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Simply stand on a shock jump disc, then press and hold A. Okay, cool. Shit. Life comes at you fast, I suppose. <laughs> like, it feels like literally five minutes ago we only had the bear punches and the ability to climb trees. Now we got all this shit. God damn, dude. Camera still pisses me off, though, I'm not gonna lie. Why the fuck did this dude put in tutorials for a ROM hack? Hey, you, never, you never know, dude. You never know. Maybe, maybe that shit's necessary. Maybe people want to play and forget how to play. Like me. You think I remember how to play fucking Banjo-Kazooie? You think I played that shit recently? I haven't. Absolutely fucking not. So what's the point of this? Where do I go with this? Okay, it's behind me, whatever it is. Okay. Is it a light bulb? It is. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. God damn, this this is gonna be brutal. I can't fucking see. Cause there's a platform I gotta get to up there if you saw. Dude, Jesus Christ, fuck me in the ass and call me Martha. That would have been fucked if he, uh, he double tapped me there from the fall damage. Okay. The Banjo Kazooie Poverty Mod? Something like that. Okay. Said that quite a few times tonight. Said what? So let me get up here. I feel like I have. Oh my god. Okay, so... Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. I guess I didn't have to do that. What's going on, Haley Hero? I've been having a lot of sleep issues, too. Thankfully, my stream is, uh, perfect for, for, I believe they call it chill. Uh, chilling. What's going on, pessimistic Mr. Garcher? One more fa failing allows Gratilda to steal Banjo Sisters Virginia and become extra thick? Uh, maybe. This is a ROM hack. So it's just a purple fucking ghost. He doesn't see me. He definitely sees me. You get, yo, yo, fuck you. Fuck, fuck my dick. Fuck my dick. Peanut butter M and M's. You want to know something that might be unpopular? I think all M and M's are shit. I just want the note. And this fucking purple people peep purple people eater is very insistent on not letting me have it. No. No, no, no. 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 Tell the wrong opinion. Opinions can't be wrong, retard. 
keen on M&Ms or God tier. I don't know, dude. I don't know if I agree with you on that one. The mint ones? Wait, they're mint M&Ms? Are you pulling my dick right now? I need about flavored M&Ms. Oh yeah, I remember that shit. Who was it that originally said that? The fucking M&M's, my M&M flavors, dude. I like some of the mint ones, but after a while they get too overpowered. Every time I think of M&M's now, I think about the fact that Linkara wanted to fuck the green M&M. That shit's cash. Thank you, Super Pal 31 the Prime Sub. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. Oh, I've been here already. Okay. I think I might have enough nuts to get to the next area. I definitely do if I go back to the, the first level and get some of the shit that I've gotten. I, I want to try to avoid going back to the first level until I get flying so I can get all 25 melts now. I fucked the green M&M. Hubert, don't fucking lie to us. Don't you lie to us. The green M&M fucks you. You're getting it twisted. Just like your insides are getting twisted by the M&M strap-on. Okay. Can we get up here? Dude, it's hot, okay? I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. Some people love getting just dominated by a big old chocolatey green M&M. Me? Not a big fan. <laughs> Very cool pause screen background. I know, it's good, right? It's fucking amazing. Okay, so how many do I have in total? Get the fuck away from me, you creepy bastard. So, how many of you guys would fuck an M&M? Just out of morbid curiosity. Dude, suck my dick. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. I'm gonna fucking cry, dude. What if you tried to stab him with an M&M &M and it got lost in your PP hole? Noodle, are you fucking stupid? Why would you sound with an M&M? &M? Why would you sound at all? I mean, true. Get away from me, you creepy bastard. We got the M&M pregnant T-Dog monkeys. I'm pretty sure you were going for monkey ass, but I think I like T-Dog monkeys more. A little grunt veteran. So what the fuck is this shit? Does this hurt me? I'm actually genuinely surprised that it doesn't. Oh, fuck you. Are you kidding me? Oh, my. Oh, man. Okay. Think happy thoughts. Alright, happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. I have a nice little doggy. Uh, and Sith, who I love very much. Um, okay. 
got we got Amanda, who gives me good back rubs. We've got who I also love very much, by the way. Um, can't forget that, or I'll get thrown in the doghouse. Um, I have my family. I guess they're all right. They're okay sometimes. Wow, that's a rough one. At least I got a one up. You got us. You guys call me retard and say mean things to me all the time. You guys are nice to me. I like this camera. Keep it, keep it like this. Keep it top down. So, uh, what the fuck? How am I supposed to navigate this? I think I gotta go over there. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, fuck. I think this is where the pad was. No. God damn it. Thank you, Golden Gerbil, for the 22 months. I appreciate it, dog. How are you? How are the wife and kids? So, you think I can. Do you think this is a legal maneuver? I think I can make that, but I, I, I gotta be more precise. Let's put on Texas Smash My Ass. Imagine being blue green colorblind and trying to do this level. God. Fuck me. I wish I could do like a, a locked top down camera sort of deal. That would help me a lot in this part. Because right now I'm having so much trouble. Dude, I'm fucking so tired right now. I shouldn't be. I just woke up before the stream. I hate how tired I am these days. That's gotta be it. There's no other way. At least not, not... Oh, I see. Okay. I see where I'm supposed to go now. There's a, uh, a raised wall that's sort of adjacent. What do the feathers do? They allow you to fly, but I haven't unlocked that ability yet, so nothing as of right now. Okay, camera. Come on, dude. This is gonna be fucked, isn't it? My asshole itches? It's a bummer. Can I go all the way across, or should I... I'm not falling for it, dude. I fucked up. I, like, slid off the, the side. God damn it. This gives me anxiety. <laughs> this shit is retarded. God damn it, dude. This is so fucking dumb. It's funny, but it's, it's so dumb at the same time I'm going back. Stuck on the side. Okay, can you stop rotating mid, mid jump, please? It's going up this way. Last time my asshole was itching, I found a stain of shit in my underwear. That's no good. Is this Glover too? No.
So if you is that like a common thing that happens to you guys? Like you just your butthole itches and then you're just there's shit. Is that like a like a common thing for you guys? So I can't say I've shared that experience. Would you rather play more ROM hacks like this with worsening camera angles or some original CWC Little Big Planet levels? Um, honestly, playing anything by CWC would be kind of fun. Like I'm fucking down, dude. Thank you, Milton. I appreciate the 13 months, dog. Thank you very much. Okay. I believe I can fly. All right, don't fuck it up. You're literally right here. Don't be a retard, Kyle. Is there anything else in here that I've missed? <clears throat> Where the fuck am I? Okay. Scratch your asshole, scratch your eyes, this is what you need to do. Y'all are some sick puppies. Y'all are some sick puppies. Real fucked up little doggies. Thank you for the tier 3 resub of 16 months now, Ethan. How's that $400 in subs I've given you, which used to donate to CWC going for you? Used to donate to CWC, huh? You really think I've ever done that? You're gonna be disappointed. Thank you very much, Ethan. I appreciate the golden rat support. How are you, dude? Absolutely no. I was tempted, honestly, when I saw, like, some dude did, like, a review on the fucking Patreon perk thing. Where, the, like, CWC made these, these, like, hardback cover comics or some shit. And they actually seemed like they were, they were mostly well done. And I'm like, huh. But then, but then I realized I was being a retard. Like, no, that's dumb. That's, that's like the, the worst thing you could possibly spend money on. But it was neat that they they apparently put a lot of detail and like uh, quality into those little those little hard covers or whatever the fuck. Hey, thank you, Sly Fox Queen. For three months. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing? Wait, hold on. Am I fucking? Dude, I can literally just hop over here. That's some that's some amazing power play shit for me right there. Dude, fuck off, go straight. This is Camera, cooperate, please. Christ. This is so bad, dude. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna fucking cry, dude. Oh, Jesus. Wait, Wait hold on. Oh 
shit, word. I got a good camera angle that time. Okay, this part can fuck my dick, though. <laughs> this is so retarded, dude. It's actually, like, comically, hysterically retarded to me. Thank you, Jukebox, for the 45 months. I appreciate it, dog. What's going on? Oh, good. That was... Dude, what kind of fucking door is this? Thank you, Rumbles, for the 18 months. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you. Okay, now we gotta do the fun part. Well, this is not anything like normal Banjo-Kazooie. This is a ROM hack. Like, the camera's really not that bad in, in actual Banjo-Kazooie, save for a couple of parts. It's actually pretty pleasurable to play that game. Um, but the ROM hack... Oh, fuck. I just walked off. <laughs> ROM hack has, like, these weird tightrope segments that are just... They don't really... don't really, uh, seem to work very well. You deserve all of this for bringing Lugia's stomach? But that's a good thing, though. Like, what would you do if you didn't know about just an RPG? Like, you say that like I'm doing you a disservice. That doesn't make any sense. This wasn't, wouldn't be a normal banjo playthrough. To be fair, to be fair, I have done normal banjo, well, one normal banjo playthrough. Wow, that was epic. I wanted to go down into the abyss and I fucking missed. That's how, that's how good my aim is. I just, I ate shit. Go away. Fuck off, ghost. Nobody cares. didn't like that I sent them a Moltres pick. Well, your friends are pussies. Moltres pick is great. There's a note under this flower, but I'm gonna go to the toad house first. So I want to see what's in here. Okay, there's another, another honeycomb thing here if I need it. That doesn't bode well for what's inside this room. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> oh no! Oh Jesus Christ, there's the bull in here. The bull is invincible if you don't know what he is from the original Banjo Kazooie. He's an asshole. You can't, you can't kill the bull. Why, why do they fetishize putting fucking invincible enemies in this shit? I don't understand. Like, first the ghosts, and then the bull. Well, at least this is a sane enemy. What the fuck are you- <laughs> Why?! Alright, dude, this is the first level, by the way. I thought you liked hard games. I do, that's why I'm laughing. I'm not getting pissed, it's just, like, ridiculous to me. Like, I, I, I... I'm in a better mood now than I was when I started the stream, that's for fucking sure. But this is also, like, it's just ridiculous. Oh. 
I like the noise he makes when he eats grass. He's ASMR right there. No, fuck off! What an asshole. How many levels of this ROM hack are there? I have no idea. I, have, I don't have the faintest clue. Hopefully a lot, though. So I can just walk up? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? I mean, I'll, I'll take it, I guess. So how do I get over here? I don't really understand the collision boxes for these mushrooms. Okay, well, shit. Is that it? It's actually- oh no, there's one over there. That means there's only one note unaccounted for on this entire level once I get this one. Okay, this actually was not bad at all. This looks so much worse than it- than it- oh shit, nope. Yep, I found all the notes on this level. Good shit, gamers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I might need the- the turbo trot to get that one, though. Which would be extraordinarily AIDS. It would be the most asshole thing I've ever seen in something like this, and let me explain why. So, just in case you weren't here for the explanation... The way the notes work in this game, the things that I'm collecting right now, is if you... Let's say you collect 24. That means the next time I come back to this level, I can't just get the 25th and be done with it. I have to make sure my total collected is 25 in order for it to count, which means I need every single note. And, like, I need to do everything again, basically. Like, every, every single part of this level needs to be repeated, if that's the case. So I'm really hoping I can get this one. Uh, cause if not, I'm, a, I'm literally gonna have 24 out of 25. Because the, uh, there's one right under a tree outside that's really easy to get. If you're wondering why I'm, why I'm factoring it in like that. What the fuck? Okay. I need to go out here and, and get the honeycombs. Is this the course my BF took to cheat on me last night? And the mouse so easy? I don't understand what you're saying. I don't- I don't comprehend. You ate one of the mushrooms? I want to do mushrooms one day. I want to get really fucked up on drugs and die. Like, maybe I- do you- can- okay, like, I want to do LSD, I want to do mushrooms, I want to do salvia, I want to do, like, everything. Except maybe cocaine, because I might actually die from that. But I definitely want to do- want to do the shroomies. I can't believe you haven't yet. Well, I'm a pussy. And I don't know anybody, so I don't have any way of getting any of this shit. Like, all at once? No, not all at once. That would be... That would be mad. Dude. You're serious. It actually is set up to where... Oh, I see. There's... Hello, mighty death god. How's life treating you, huh? You know, been, been better, but also been worse. Life's just, uh, chugging on. Why are you suddenly so adventurous? I've talked about wanting to do drugs, like, since I started streaming. What do you mean, suddenly adventurous? Why are you suddenly listening? I don't get it. God, that's actually so dark, I can barely see it. Okay, good. We, we've actually... If nothing else... We have 100% to the level in this ROM hack. We've gotten everything. Once I get the one down here... I think that's, uh... I think that's worth some Pogger Champions. 
Okay, you can suck my dick, ghost. Go away. Nobody loves you. Everybody hates you and wish you wouldn't come to family parties. You just sit there and you don't say anything the entire time. Dude, seriously, fuck off. I'm gonna be so pissed if this ghost stops me from finishing this level. Like, I'm actually just gonna stop playing. I'm gonna baby rage. It, it helps that I can't see where the ghost is gonna be. He's just camping. Come over this way. Camping retard. What's going on, Matt Meg? This ghost is fucked up. This entire ROM hack is fucked up. Dude, this guy is holy shit. You know, one time I felt like this when Amanda took me into a Gucci store. The security guard was kind of doing the same thing. Except I was just sitting down not doing anything. Hey, thank you, Ortman, for the 11 months. I appreciate it, dog. What's good? <laughs> Fuck off. He literally won't, won't path away from it. How are you, KC? Okay. I got it. Dude, that- I'm surprised that that ended up being the hardest singular note. Okay. Cool. Means we can go to the next level. What are we diving into tonight? A fucked up ROM hack of Banjo-Kazooie. It's- it's kicking my dick off right now. I'm getting completely ass blasted. But it's fun. For the most part. I'm not even listening to what the toilet says. I don't listen to toilets. What the fuck is this? It's like a little sauna. Okay, so what- do you think the next level's gonna be dope? What is this music? <laughs> this does not fit at all! This music does not fit whatsoever. Can you swim yet? No. I hope there's a snow level. Can I get a special T-Dolly explanation of what a ROM hack is? It's basically a mod. Like a mod that changes it. It can change little things about the game, but the one I'm playing completely- it's like an entirely new game. Okay, what is this level called? Sparkling Springs? Alright, this looks neat. the shit bordering the gameplay? Uh, someone complained that the the game did not look good in widescreen, so I just put it in normal resolution. Okay. Illegal game modifications? Pretty much, yeah. The music here is pretty dull. Easy Peak. Dude, I love Freeze Easy Peak. The only bad level in Banjo Kazooie, the original, is Rusty Bucket Pack. That level can suck my cock. But all the others, literally every single other one, is fantastic as far as I'm concerned. What the fuck? I used this game to get over my parents' divorce. That sucks. I'm sorry to hear that, dog. Thank you for the eight months. I used to, uh. Well, my parents fought a lot when I was a child. I would. I would play Mario Kart and have it uh, as loud as possible to drown out the, the screaming. So I can sort of empathize with that. 
think a lot of people are probably in that boat, honestly. Bucket, but yeah, that level was ass. Fuck off, dude. Fuck off. <laughs> it's so precise. I come here to laugh, then I don't know why you come here because I literally never say anything funny. Like the most boring streamer imaginable. <laughs> what the f fuck you? I'm gonna go look for the mole. I'm gonna look for the mole, dude. That's not. I'm gonna fucking punch myself in the cock if I miss that one more time. That's retarded. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. Okay. Hold it. No, I know how to do it. I played Banjo Kazingi before. Not that one. Actually, I have no idea how to do it. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy. You wanna- you wanna tell me how to do that one more? It, it, the problem is, like, the tutorials, when they tell me the buttons, it doesn't... It- it's worthless, because I don't use the same button layout. Like, I don't know what fucking Z corresponds to on the controller I'm using, for example. So it doesn't really... It doesn't really tell me much. I gotta figure this shit out, though. What the fuck? Oh, I have to use the fucking other analog stick? That's weird. Okay. <laughs> Alright. How's her back not breaking? She's got some strong ass legs. Go in the ocean? No, dude, I don't want to see if the shark is in. Wait, now it's not working? What the fuck? I guess I fucked up my controller mapping because it's a very. I have to press the analog in a very specific way. Okay, this part looks like it's gonna be fucking objectionable. I'm just gonna sit for me. I'm gonna need to rebind my, my controller. I don't think it's working very well. God, this noise. I forgot how annoying this was. It sounds like she's doing, uh... What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Explain that one. <laughs> Okay. That's weird. You can jump super high up that thing, huh? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. This is what I'm talking about. There's a ukulele picture! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Now we're gonna sit here and, and marinate with our buddy. I'm waiting for him to do a bottle crunch. All me business ventures have sunk into Davy Jones' locker. Hit rock bottom. Oh. Yeah, it must be a hard life up here in the VIP Volcano Jacuzzi. 
Arg, nothing. I think I'll just stay here for a while. You two can have the last five notes. Five notes? That's insane. <laughs> I forgot how funny his noise was. <laughs> Sounds like me, dude. Me playing Dark Souls. Lav. I had chili earlier, but my brother made it, and he put an entire shaker of chili powder in. Oh, you're just being a baby. You're just being a baby, Sifroni. It's gonna feel like you're having a prolapse, and you shit that out, but it's okay. I promise. You're just being a little, just being a little baby. Okay, so is the shark gonna be in the water? I fucking hate this round hack, dude. <laughs> this shit used to scare the fuck out of me as a kid. I love that level, but that fucking shark, dude. God damn. You know what? I should probably stop just... Oh my god. Just jumping sporadically. Okay, so what's over here? You think I could get over there? I'm gonna try it, dude. Fuck it. This doesn't look good. <laughs> this, this doesn't look like water that I should swim in. Is it water? See, I don't... Can I s step in it? I can. How bizarre. Oh, you guys are just gonna let me go? Okay, okay. shit. Well, fucking thank you. <laughs> that was... See, it's, it's really hard to take things at face value in this ROM hack. Because, like, you would think I'd be fucked going into that, right? The only inclination I had that maybe it was okay was the fact that the little, the little pad was in there. Okay, getting back is gonna be rough, though. Maybe. Depends where he spawns. Oh, he didn't spawn at all. It's my lucky day. Sometimes good things happen to bad people. How are they swimming in it? I'm not sure. The worst part of the original Banjo-Kazooie is the shark was actually in, in a... There was, there was a part in Rusty Bucket Bay where you had to, like, precision swim through, like, these, these chain fences with holes in them. And the shark was there. That shit... Fucking hate it. Fucking hate it, Rusty Bucket Bay. It was the worst level. Like, I, I actually cannot envision in my mind someone disliking a level more than Rusty Bucket Bay. It just doesn't make sense to me. Have you ever played Conquer? No. I can kill the shark with eggs? Can you? That's weird. Doesn't it just respawn though? This is my favorite level so far. This level is actually pretty fun. Um, the first level was okay, I guess. 
the second level seems just really bad. Um, so far, what I've seen of it, I can't swim yet, so maybe the part of the level I can't do is better. But I actually like this one. This is a fun level. Like tits and shit jokes, you might conquer. No, I'm a very highbrow kind of guy. I don't like crude jokes. Play Ty the Tasmanian Tiger? I have not. The spooky face on the right? Oh, that's a member of BTS. I should get the Mumbo tokens, huh? Because I need them for something in the overworld that I'm not sure what yet. Just kind of taking them for granted. You didn't? No, I didn't play a lot of, um... I didn't play a lot of games. Because when I was young, I was addicted to Morrowind and RuneScape, and then when I was done with those two games, I was addicted to World of Warcraft. Creepypasta JPEG. I should read creepypastas on stream one of these days. Just be one of those YouTube people who just... Hello there, it's me, Telomio. Today I'm gonna be reading a frog got stuck in my ass And it's, it's gonna be really good. It'll be quality of time. Fuck off, shark. Imagine a kid liking Morrowind. I played that shit when I was 11. I thought it was the best game ever. Still, still... I, I don't necessarily think it's the best game ever, but I think it's my favorite game. It's the best game for me. Um, but yeah, looking... I had a lot more patience as a child than I do now. It's actually kind of weird. Usually it's the reverse, but I used to be very, very patient as a kid. Um, I'm not patient at all anymore. Some custom banjo shit? Yeah, it's uh, the only completed banjo ROM hack, apparently. What is the best game ever? Um, I'm gonna give it to Bloodborne, personally. I think I like Morrowind more, but if I had to pick, like, a game that's just... just the best game, quality-wise, I'm gonna have to pick Bloodborne, I think. Just pound for pound, that game's really hard to beat. But it's also still subjective. I still need to play what everyone thinks is the best game, Breath of the Wild, one of these days. Play that shit off stream, see if I can, uh... Let's see if I can get a, a love for it. It's actually crazy to me that I'm gonna get 12 months in this level. 25 on each. So what's going on here, dude? Can you play Witcher 3? I have played Witcher 3, though. I haven't beat it, but I played it. I need to play the DLC for Witcher 3. Dude, I love the music. I could just sit here forever listening to the music. Does that make me, uh... Does that make me a, a bad dude? How the fuck do I get up here? Is this ROM fun? Parts of it are. I... I had a pretty big dumbass attack and... Wait. to see if I can break it. Um, I spent a long time not knowing what the fuck to do because I didn't kill a, a carrot and I guess what was supposed to serve as the combat tutorial. And when you kill the carrot, he teaches you the rest of your moves that you need. And I, I didn't know that because I skipped through the dialogue as I often do. Um, so I spent like 45 minutes just doing absolutely fuck all, which was really cool. So not the best start. You beat Knocker enough time? Yeah, I actually have. 
be Wind Waker and Ocarina of Time. I think those are the only two Zelda games I've played to completion. Wind Waker is probably my favorite. I have a feeling that even though people fucking think Breath of the Wild is is the goat's tits, I'm probably gonna like Wind Waker more at the end of the day. Cause I think Wind Waker is fucking great. To play them all. I wish I could play every game. I wonder if I could climb up that near near vertical incline. That's good stat piss. I think I might need to fly to continue. It's kind of looking that way, huh? I'm wondering if I missed a molehill, though. That's my main consideration right now. wonder if I have enough notes to go to the next level. I didn't check. I wouldn't mind replaying this one again. Majora's Mask. I wish I liked Majora's Mask more. That's a game, and I'm, I'm sure most of you have heard me talk about Majora's Mask. I think Majora's Mask is one of the best made games in terms of atmosphere, and I really wish I liked it playing the game more because I recognize that it's an amazing game, but I just don't don't enjoy the, the limitations on time and shit, but it's super important to keep those because that's what adds to the oppressive foreboding atmosphere. If you didn't have that feeling of being pressured and under imminent danger, then it wouldn't be the same game. Okay, just making sure. Time limit? See, I'm kind of the same way when gameplay elements are concerned. I, I like taking my time and doing, doing everything slowly, as you you all know by this point. Um, but the thing is, I think Majora's Mask is actually, funnily enough, in a weird way, one of the strongest arguments as to why there shouldn't be easy mode in a lot of games. Because sometimes the difficulty, the mechanics, uh, are intended to complement the atmosphere of the game. Like, I, I think Pikmin 1 is amazing, and I don't really like Pikmin 2. Um, because Pikmin 1, I feel like it's way better than the sequel. And I know this one's an unpopular opinion, but I feel like it's way better than the sequel. Because when you have a time limit, everything you do has so much more gravity. It has so much more consequence. When you lose your little dudes... When, when a couple of them drown because you think you all ha you have all blue Pikmin, but you have two yellow ones in there, and they go, <laughs> um, it's way more impactful to me because you can't you don't have an infinite time to get more. So if you like have a battle where you lose a lot of the motherfuckers, then it feels like uh, it, it definitely feels way more weighty than if you had infinite time and you could just get... It, it makes you almost get more attached to the Pikmin, in my opinion. Because you know there's a finite amount you can essentially get. Now, granted, the game's not hard, and once you know the game, it's really hard to run out. But your first time playing it as a kid, that shit... I, I got super sad when I, whenever I, any of my little homies died. And so you can say that you don't like the time limit, and I wouldn't blame you a bit. I didn't at first... But I think it's one of the games where the time limit is the only difficulty in the game. And it's an example of uh, difficulty adding to the overall quality of the game. Now, there are some games where that's not true. There are some games that are actually made with the idea of you playing through once in, like, normal mode. And then y yada yada yada, playing through a billion times. I'm pretty sure I get five on this level. I gotta find it. Um, but that's why it kind of skews me out when there are people who just insist that all games should have like a super easy mode or whatever the fuck. Let's put on money next. Shish motive. Play Pikmin as a kid too. I never got past level three or four. It was hard as a kid sometimes. As an adult going back, 
It's, it's, it's not, but as a kid, that game could be really stressful, and I think that's good. I, I like games that are stressful. I like games that actually make you feel something. Um, it's enjoyable for me. Duty. First, I think every modern game should have a new game plus. I don't know how I feel about that, actually. See, I gotta get flying here somehow. Maybe? I can, uh... Maybe I can go back to level 2 and get some more shit now. Now that I have the talent shot. Define stress? Well, in the example of Pikmin, um, stress to keep your Pikmin alive because you only have a finite amount of them, so making mistakes is something you get pretty harshly punished for if the mistake's big enough. And as a result of that, in conjunction with the rest of the game mechanics, it kind of, like, those elements of the game kind of make you feel attached to the pigment. It's like a, like a permadeath game. Like, if you're playing Fire Emblem or some shit, it's, it's not the same thing if you're playing outside of permadeath, because, like, when your character dies and he's gone forever, you kind of... You, you feel that a little bit. Like, it's, it's not like someone in real life died, obviously, but you're still bummed out. You're just like, oh, fuck, goddammit. You know? Like, I, I let my homie down, and now he's fucking dead. So... Those are two games where I think stressful and punishing mechanics add to the feeling and the overall experience of the game. Just save scum? Well, I don't like doing that. Like, remember when I played Lisa and I, I didn't save scum at all? Like, if I fucked up and somebody died in, like, Russian Roulette or some shit, even if it was my best character, uh, tough titties. I think games are way more important. Or not more important, excuse me. Way more fun when you play them that way. That is just like my opinion. Ever lived through a tornado? Um, tornadoes are not really that big of a deal. I've had one less than a mile away from my house and like incurred no damage whatsoever. It's it's weird because like tornadoes have a very small area of effect if your if your house is anywhere near recent and ours isn't. Um, we almost drove into the said tornado. Wow, really? Holy fuck, that was just a really hard jump to run, I guess. I fucked up. I needed to be doing talent trot. Um... It hit a church and leveled it really close to our home. And our power was off for a few days, but there was no really... It's not really a big deal unless the tornado actually hits your house or your house is extremely flimsy. What's going on, Marionette? Thank you for 30 months, dude. Appreciated dog, how are you? Okay. I need to remember how I made this. So, uh, you gonna suck my dick or not? Is this it? The California brain thinks tornadoes are just death. Well, I mean, if you get hit by one, they are, but like. It's, it's not like a hurricane where there's just like a, a fucking several mile radius where everything just gets fucked up. You kind of have to get hit by it unless it's a really big one. And granted, it, it, they can still be really scary, but it's really unlikely you'll actually get fucked over by a tornado. So, what the fuck?
I really think that I've got to go back to level two. So, let me think. No, if we're going by by the logical sense of things, I think we've gotten two levels or two two moves per level. We got the attacks and tree climbing in level one. In level two, we got the jumps and the pad. This one we've gotten talent shot, so flying's got to be here somewhere. I just don't know where. Just gonna have my eyes peeled, I guess. So I went outside, and I don't think there's. I don't think there's uh, there's a way to progress. I think I've got to fly in order to keep going. Can Banjo swim? He can, but I don't have the ability yet. It's the fault of documentaries focusing on extremely rare supercells instead of common tornadoes. DSP surprise DSP. That is an amazing emote code. There's something that they, they say that brevity is the soul of wit. And I think DSP has mastered that concept. Maybe it's in the hippo's room and I missed it. That's good cat spell. All his emails should have the extra DSP at the end. I agree. This shit's, uh, key haw. Uh, funny. Can I jump to the top of this shit, maybe? Later, Haley Hero. I just told my boyfriend, shut up, bitch, more cookies, so he left and came back and threw a cookie at me. Good. That's the appropriate response in that situation. you banjo. Is he crying because ukulele is a disappointment? That's what it seems like. Alright dudes, I'm not afraid. No, sure. <laughs> he just, he fucking phased through the sand. Have you been to any other country for vacation? No. I've never been outside of the U.S. Real banjo kazooie, it's a, it's a mod hack. Or a mod hack, excuse me. So this is completely new to me, and I imagine it's completely new to 99% of chat. I'm not sure though, I'm sure there's a couple of people who have seen or maybe played this shit, but... I can't imagine they're the majority. I didn't even know this shit existed until this month. Surprising. Well, Amanda wants me to go to Mexico. I want to get my passport. Been outside of the continental U.S. I've been to Hawaii, I, mean, I suppose, which is still part of the U.S. But it's so I've been on one of those fucked up flights that takes seven years to finish. Um, I've been to almost all of the states. Um, from, from Texas to Florida, and from Texas to California, I've been to all the states in between. Um, that's about it. Uh-oh. I just got a hand job from a goblin. Later, Jerry. Fuck, okay. I guess I'm gonna go back and explore. Guess 
seven hours is honestly, dude. As someone who's been on like a seven plus hour long flight, any flight is long. I don't care. Like flights just suck dick. I hate flying. Now, granted, a lot of that is probably my fault because I insist on always flying the cheapest method available. But uh, any any airplane is just misery for me for any amount of time. It's just suffering. I fucking hate flying, dude. Especially when there are small children on the plane. Or go sleepy. I, I can only sleep on my stomach. I can't fall asleep in any other position under any circumstance. Like, I, I cannot fall asleep on a plane no matter what. better than economy is usually not worth the money. No, I, I'm super stingy, so I will never fly anything. Besides, like, I, I go spirit. Um, with none of the extras, I don't get a... I don't get a, a checked bag. I, I use a personal item. I use a little... A little a little bag from Target. And I, I pack clothes in there really tightly. So I don't have to spend extra money. Imagine how bad flying is now with the neck arthritis. Can't sleep on planes? No, it's impossible for me. It literally will never happen. My sixth flight in three weeks? That's pretty fucking miserable. Can't sleep on my side or on my tummy? I can't sleep on my side because of my scoliosis. Like, that sounds like a... That sounds like a fucking retarded excuse, I know. But I lit it literally hurts after maybe 10 minutes because of the way the way I am like I on either side it hurts after a while because I'm, I've got a fucking spaghetti spine it's pretty miserable I don't know why I can't sleep on my back I think I could get used to it I think if I tried enough I could I don't feel any pain or discomfort and in fact I can't breathe through my nose when I sleep um, I have a deviated septum, I think. I actually don't know if I do or not, but that's usually what causes that sort of shit. The only exception is when I'm on my back. I can actually breathe through my nose when I'm on my back, but if I'm on my side or on my stomach, I have to mouth breathe. Um, and it's, a uh, Rob Hack, Ross. What's going on, dude? Fifteen sounds like a good number for that. Well, they're all minor problems. Like, it's only problems when it comes to sleeping. Like, I can- I can breathe through my nose when I'm- when I'm standing up and shit. Like, I'm not- a, I'm, I'm not like- <sighs> in, in a conversation, usually. But... It's just... When, it, when I'm sleeping, when I'm laying down, I can't breathe through my nose and it sucks. Sounds like you need to get a septoplasty. Yeah, my nose is really big. Um, shave that shit off. Looks good saucy. How you sleep normally? It depends on how do your parents put you to sleep when you were a baby. Maybe. I used to be able to sleep on my back. I don't know what changed. Do I actually have scoliosis? Why would I just randomly say that I have something like scoliosis? That would be weird. Be a weird thing to lie about. I have a moderate case of scoliosis, yes. Um, it's not terrible, but you can definitely see it if my shirt's off. Like my 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 upper half of my body is like an inch or two off to the side. Um, if you look at my like where my nipples are relative to my belly button, it's super obvious. Unfortunate, um, because I think, uh, from what I've heard, you actually, if you get it straightened out, you're a little bit taller. So I would probably break six foot if I got the spine fixed. But it's also supposedly incredibly painful. So... I 
think I'm good. I think I'm good on that. I never had to wear a brace. Nope. Put a straw in your nose. I want to put a cock in my nose one day. I think that'd be really cool. I'm gonna get scoliosis surgery and gain four inches overnight. It's like a 17 hour surgery. Like, the thing is, it, it hurts. And it's unfortunate. But I'm not. I'm not just gonna randomly get back surgery at 27 years old. Like, that would be retarded. There's, like, it, th the risks far outweigh the potential benefits when it comes to back surgery specifically. That, it seems like it would be really easy to fuck up. And the results of fucking up are, are not pleasant. So, I'm just gonna have the spaghetti spine for the remainder of my existence, I think. I also have the pectus, too. I really am just, like... They should take my skeleton and, uh... Use it in a classroom, and it's just, like, the most fucked up skeleton you've ever seen. Like, I've got a fucked up sternum. Because so I have pectus. I've got scoliosis. You graduate from being a manlet? That's true. That's true. But would it be worth the potential of being paralyzed from the waist down? my opinion? No. What's good, Root Comfy? Like, it just sucks because, like, I can get all of the problems fixed. Like, I can get the chest thing fixed, but they... Apparently, the way they fix that is they cut a hole in your side, like the side of your rib cage. And they fucking insert like a like a metal bar behind your sternum that pushes it forward. And it's just like fuck that, dude. That sounds so painful. People people who have gotten it have apparently likened it to being run over by a car. So I'm good, dude. Like I don't I don't I think I'm all right with with that too. Just doesn't doesn't really seem worthwhile to me. Cosmetic surgeries for people with low self-esteem? I have pretty low self-esteem. But not low enough to want to get spinal surgery to get a couple inches taller. That's not... Like I said, that's just not worth the risk. And the pectus thing isn't worth it either. Cool gifs, homie? Thanks, dude. What's going on? I had that surgery for practice. It's incredibly painful. Yeah, see, fuck that, dude. I'm a bitch. I'm not gonna get surgery like that. No fucking way. Can you imagine how brutal it would be to work as a bone doctor? What kind of bone? Be a badass. Fuck the world. But what if the world has, has STDs? Would I really want to fuck the world if that were the case? I got metal rods in my back, they had to wake me up right after surgery to make sure I still had use of my legs and it felt like a little broomstick had been shoved up my ass. The world has syphilis, don't fuck it. Is the mole hill here? There's gotta be one of these molehills somewhere. I just don't know where the fuck it would be at this point. I'd like to think I've been fairly thorough. Maybe it's in that little corner area. The mole for flying is outside. Really? I didn't see him. Once got jaw surgery and that sucked. That's the worst injury you've ever had. I broke my clavicle. 
during soccer practice when I was a youngin. Must've been like nine, maybe. That sucked. It's a fucking video game, it's true. Coming a streamer? Is that an injury? I'm pretty sure that hole is where I fly through to get to the next level. What else would it be? A wall. What is that effect around the pillar? I think that's supposed to be fire. I think it's really glitched, but it's, uh, it's a ROM. See, I have a distinct feeling it has something to do with this shit. Or maybe it just says there's a mumbo token down there. Maybe it's a red herring and all it means is if you ground down there, there's one mumbo token. That'd be pretty funny. hiking a few years ago and they had to cut off my engagement ring? Wait, what do you mean? Elaborate. I was so excited for my Business Law 2 class because I would get the same teacher I liked from Business Law 1. I found out today that my college got rid of him. He was such a cool and chill teacher. Don't call him chill to his face. Circulation, gotcha. Sounds, uh, sounds fun. You don't think they put a mo dude? You don't think they put a molehill in here, right? That'd be fucked up, right? Cut off your hand, dude. Can you just cut off my face? Can I pay someone to do that? Sick. Got a football wrong once and broke my middle finger. The only thing I've broken is the, the clavicle. Let's go on 128. Which, that definitely sucked, Dick. Don't get me wrong, but... Thankfully, I was a kid. Because isn't it... Doesn't it take longer for broken bones and shit to heal if you're an adult? Or is that just some stupid misconception I have? Let's go on love you to death. Pull off the engagement ring and use money towards a new one. How do you think it would take to regrow your face? Kids regenerate very fast. They're like lizards in Naga Tea House. Weirder girls. Yeah, you can you can tell that my my uh, my my left collarbone has been broken. It's much bigger than the other one. Thank you better for the 22 months. Appreciate it, dog. Thank you. And uh, what you doing, dog? Jack and Daxter when I've never played one of those games. Are there no jiggies? No, it's just the notes. 
There are no Jinjos either, which is definitely not my favorite thing about the hack. Because Jinjos are... Jinjos are fucking dope. I love Jinjos. Bottles, you fuck. Where'd you hide your molehill? What an asshole. Wanna play classic? Thank you for the 15 months, Riveroni. I appreciate it. Probably not. I don't think I would, uh... I don't think I would get that much enjoyment out of it. Personally. Like, I played classic, but I just don't... I don't think I have it in me for MMOs these days. an avid MMO player I used to be. Back in my day, uh, I started playing World of Warcraft during Classic, actually. Um, I just don't really see a particular burning desire to do it again, I guess. Is this what I'm supposed to do? Final Fantasy. I tried playing 14 and I got I got bored. I, I really didn't like Final Fantasy 14. I am I'm sorry if that bothers people, but I couldn't do it. Oh, can I just stand up here? Cool. Well, I think we found what to do, gamers. Oh my god, okay, good. We found it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't think to jump on the umbrellas the first time. I'm an idiot. Fuck. It's not even flying. I just get to swim. What's going on, Sonk? That means there are a couple places we can go earlier. I don't know. I wanted to like 14, but it just, it was too slow. I just don't like MMOs anymore. It's nothing specific to 14. I think I'd have the exact same problem if I were to play, like, WoW or some shit. Why does this rat have his wee wee out? He doesn't. It's his little tail. His little chill rat tail. Man, fuck you and your bone spurs, bitch. Eat my ass. I hate how they go ahoy, and I hate them especially because they're from Rusty Bucket Bay, and that makes me upset. Play for a month or two? I might be in the same boat as you had uh, Iceborne not been released at the same time. That's really the main thing. Like, I would consider playing it for a little bit, but I'm not gonna have time because Iceborne. I really want to go hard on that game and stream a fuck ton when that comes out to make up for my for my lack of. And in addition to Iceborne, also the Surge and Code Vein are coming out, which I'm not I'm not really as excited about in terms of like how much I'm gonna enjoy the game, but it's gonna be some good stream content, I'm sure. I'm actually going to come back to this area later. I don't want to collect the notes because I'm just going to need to do it again after I get flying. So I'm going to see if I can get flying before this shit. The Surge 2, Pogger's Champion. Yeah, then we get Anime Titty Souls. It's going to be great. Just everything's got to come out at once. We can't, we can't release any good games during the summer. Did you get back into Final Fantasy XIV when they announced Shadowbringers, but then they didn't add a new healer class, so I said, fuck it. I love my time with Final Fantasy XIV, but my guild kept expecting more and more of me to make up for lack of leadership. No one ever expects anything from me, and that's probably a good thing. Thank you, Desiree Rose, for putting Caspa in the cuck, and I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. Any new details about the search to come out? I would be lying to you if I, I told you I kept my ear to the ground on that. Um, the only thing I know about the search to is what I played. I'm not. I'm not gonna be. 
I'm not going to be looking up, you know, details on the Surge 2 or anything like that. I'm not really excited for it. I'm excited to have something to play, but I'm not really excited for the Surge 2 uh, as an individual game, if that makes sense. I'm interested, but I'm not really excited. Played the one MMO through high school and put me off all others. You know what would actually be a lot more enticing to me than Classic WoW? A modder knows what I'm gonna say. Lords of the Fallen 2? No. BC WoW. Like the, I, the premise behind Classic WoW, but BC instead of Classic. That shit would be lit. Ate so many M&Ms, I don't even know my name. I think I know your name. I'm pretty sure I know your name, actually. Does that bother you? At least your first name. I obviously don't know your last name or anything like that. Is it right? I'm not gonna say who it is. That'd be kind of fucked up. What the fuck is happening? I don't remember ever saying my first name. But you see. You have interacted with me on Twitter before. And I'm pretty sure at one point you had your name in your Twitter. You also called your name Amat. Not, it, it was like Yell Amat instead of Amater. You know it then? Remember. Remember. I I remember everything. My my mind is like a fucking bear trap for useless information. I like how Alex Jones forgot his kids' names because he ate a big bowl of chili. Amat used to be my name, but most things require six letter names. Gotcha. See, I always thought your name was supposed to... Like, when I first met you, I thought your name was supposed to be, like, Am Otter. Like, like one of those, like, it me girls, except, like, Am Otter. Like, you are an otter, but saying it in a retarded fashion. Or maybe you were a radio otter, but you hated FM radio, so you were the AM otter. Who fucking knows, right? It's a world of possibilities. Come back here, you bitch! Army man on the toilet? Er. <laughs> what? Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck, dude? What? I don't... I don't understand. <laughs> Army man on the toilet, er. <laughs> That's... I shouldn't be laughing at that. It's just so... I didn't expect it to stand for something. You know? What's going on, Snake? How are you, dog? Army man poop, too? I guess so. Your name for my Diablo? No, 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 it's creative. It's creative for sure. It's just unexpected. What the fuck is this? Well enough yourself, huh? I've been having trouble sleeping, but aside from that, things are mostly alright. I've, like, managed to fuck my sleep schedule so hard that I'm on a triphasic sleep schedule, which I think is a first for me. I sleep three times a day in two to three hour chunks, sometimes four, which is unbelievably stupid.
Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Not that only works. Well, it doesn't work because I'm exhausted all the time. Like I'm not. It's not something I intentionally tried to do. It's a, a fuck up on my end. Do you manage this all the time? Well, I had to. Uh, I was doing okay, but then I had to take my sister's cat to the vet. And that, that kind of fucked everything up sleep schedule-wise, which is fine because it was important, but it was uh, not something I had expected to spend uh, a lot of time doing. And so, like, whenever something like that happens, whenever there's, like, a real-life thing where that requires me to be awake during the day, it just fucks my shit up. It's a nocturnal. Iceborne conferences on Tuesday and Wednesday? That's happening. Half doing better now? Yeah, but they don't know what's wrong with it. It either ate something toxic or it has epilepsy, they say. So we're watching. Um, really hoping it was the former. Like, maybe, maybe it licked a toad or some shit. So, because it stayed overnight. They had it, like, hooked up to, like, an IV drip and shit and got all these x-rays and stuff. So, but they couldn't find anything definitively wrong. The vet never can. It's super frustrating, actually. Like, the amount of times where they've actually been like, yeah, this is concretely what's wrong is astonishingly low. Which cat, Sonichu? So we'll see. Any lilies in the home? No. Look, that's the thing. It doesn't... It doesn't make sense. Like, I, I, I can't actually think of what... Like, we don't use cleaning products in situations where the cats would be able to get them. They're always put away. Um, we don't... All, all of the plants we have are not toxic to animals. It just... I, I, I have no fucking clue. I don't have the faintest idea. And she's only two years old, so it's super scary, but she's she's fine uh, for now. Like, she's very happy. Um, but, you know, just scary. When I was driving there, it, of course, like the day I actually have to drive to somewhere I've never been, it's like monsoon level of rain. And so, Oh, fuck. I'm gonna die here. I can't control the uh, underwater shit. What the fuck? Um, I, can't, I could see maybe like 10 feet ahead on the highway. And the cat's going... <coughs> the entire fucking time. Um, God damn it. So that was an interesting experience. Because, yeah, I was, uh, I was streaming a couple days ago, and someone knocks at my door at, like, 7 a.m., and it's my sister, and she's like, the cat can't walk, y'all. Uh, she, she flops over, like, she doesn't have control, like, she can't, she can't stand up, and so I'm like, oh, well, shit. Um, so we just fucking went, and they told us, uh, <laughs> they told us basically nothing. This is super frustrating. So, we're keeping an eye on it, but... I'm hoping it's like, uh... A thing with Sif that happened a while back, where it's like, it's really scary, but just... Just shit happens sometimes, and it's not really a big deal. Maybe she had an allergic reaction? Maybe. Like, the thing I immediately thought is during that same stream, I remarked that, like, something had fallen downstairs. So I thought she had, like, fell and, like, hurt herself. Uh, but that does, they didn't find anything physically wrong. So, they don't think she fell and hit her head or anything like that. Okay. 
could have eaten a spider. See, that's actually what I thought. Like, I told my sister, I'm like, what if she ate, like, a fucking spider or some shit? Like, what, what, what if it was, like, an insect of some sort that caused, like, a reaction? Like, she got bit and had, like, a bad reaction or something. That was my idea, too, but I'm not sure that's actually something that happens. Okay. I need to get that fucked up note first. I need to find where it is. tried to eat a bee and was afraid of bugs for like two weeks. I love seeing the pictures of animals that eat bees and they get all fucked up and their face is swollen. That's probably a fucked up thing to say, but they look so funny. As long as nothing actually happens to the animal and they're okay, but like seeing a dog like a swollen face just makes me chuckle. But she wasn't swollen or anything, so I don't think it was like a, like a bee. What's good, Broken Fang? Can inject an IV drip to give my cat electrolytes as a result of her kidneys? Jesus Christ. Like, that's the thing. They, they, they did blood work, and they did a urine test, they did x-rays, they said all of her organ functions were very good. They, they, they stressed and emphasized that, like, uh, as far as those things are concerned, she appeared to be like a really healthy cat, aside from that, which is good. But it's just like, fuck. I, I, I want to know why she's... She's, like, unequal to walk right now. Like, Little buddy died from kidney failure, so it's a shame that it's such a common disease that a lot of cats get. I didn't realize it was so common until you guys have been telling me. Too protective to let my palm swim. Well, see, now you know, you know how I am. Like, now that that happened with the cat, Sif is not... Like, she was never allowed to do anything by herself, but especially not now. Um, because it's toad season here. That was actually my immediate... My immediate thought is we get a lot of fucking toads, actually. And no offense, Hubert, you're cool. But... We've had cases of, like, our dog, Mr. Trumpets, trying to, like, eat a dead toad. And he almost fucking died from that. So, that was the first thing that came to my mind, actually, is maybe it's the fucking pubs. Um, my air conditioner is starting to leak out into the, the front driveway, and it's not uncommon for me to go out there and just see, like, two to three toes just sitting in the fucking pile, like, yo, dude, what up? Motherfuckers, get out of here, what's wrong with you? It's sad, because I like toes. But they're so, they're so dangerous for other animals. Sif had that issue. It's when she fainted. It's when she, uh, she went outside and she peed and then she just fucking fainted for no reason. Or no reason that we could discern. It's another similar story with the vet. We took her, got everything done, and they're like, I don't fucking know, lol. Although the situation with the cat was a lot more serious because, like, Sif... Sif fainted, but she was ready to fucking go after that. Like, there was nothing wrong with her after that. But I was extremely, uh, I was extremely dismayed, to say the least, when that happened. What the fuck? Suck my dick. It's like Momo Khan just blew brat chunks on me. Sif fainted? No. No idea. No fucking clue. My personal theory... My personal theory is that, uh... She just got too excited. Find a better vet? See, you assume that I use the same vet. Um, cause we... We're using a different vet now, because we had a bad experience with one... Um... A while back. Like, many, many years back. But... I don't know, I think our- I think our vet is fine, for the most part. Like, they do- they do tests and shit.
they show us the test, they show us the x-rays and whatnot, point out why everything looks normal. They're not, they're not just saying sh nothing's wrong for the sake of not, nothing being wrong. It's like the highest rated vet in our area, actually. Like, that's why we go there. It's way more expensive than normal. Um, like, my sister owes me a fat chunk of fucking change now, because, uh, she doesn't have an income, so I, I was the one who paid it. Um... It's an upcharge to go to this vet. It's it's a very it's a very well received uh, emergency animal hospital. So I don't think it's I don't think the vet is trying to flim flam us. I really don't. Which is more than I can say about the previous vet. But it's just fucking sometimes shit happens and there's not like if the cat ate something, how are you gonna narrow down exactly what it ate if you have no inkling to go on, right? It's really hard. Like that's not. They can make sure that, like, the organ function is okay and get the animal set up on a situation, like a, like a, an IV drip, like the Sonichu, and make sure that they do their best to mitigate the effects, but, like, you can't just, yeah, your cat, your cat ate, you know, uh, ate this exact substance and that's why it's having these problems or something like that. Just doesn't usually work that way unless you've seen, unless you have info for them to go on. She wasn't, like, vomiting or anything. It was just, uh, an unfortunate circumstance, I guess. Vets are worth, or vets are worth it for your pets and family. Yeah, I mean, that's what money's for, right? Like, what's the point of having money if you, uh, if you can't help out your family and pets or family? So, like, like, like I've, I've told you guys before, I have, like, uh, I set aside money for situations like this because when... I was a kid, if something like this happened, my parents would never save money for any any situation. And I just became so paranoid that shit would happen and we wouldn't have money for it that I started uh, making sure that when I actually got a source of income, uh, it started with security, I would have a little a little fund for emergencies in case something happens because shit, shit comes at you fast. Like, I was literally just sitting there playing my fucking video game and all the cat can't walk out of the blue, right? And random stings, if you don't have the bug, you can't really do something specific about it. Cats, like, pretty much... The cat eats, like, pretty much everything around the house. See, the weird thing is, like, that's not... That's not what Sonichu does. Like, Sonichu's a pretty, pretty well-behaved cat as far as... As far as, uh, cats go. It's going on 240p. She doesn't really get into anything or do stupid shit that I can discern. The only thing she really does is she, like, knocks shit down every once in a while. But that's, like, literally every cat. That is, like, the universal cat trait. It's just, they like to knock shit over. I had super pissed one time because she broke into my room and knocked one of my big-ass Gundams down. Uh, like, immediately goes into the room, immediately goes to the shelf with all the Gundams. First fucking thing, right? And what are you what are you gonna do? This is this how cats are. The Gundam was fine, thankfully. But Sif doesn't like animals being in here. It doesn't matter if it's a dog or a cat or anything, she'll start going rah, 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 rah. If they she does it to people too. It's not even just animals. Like if another person she hasn't met is in here, she gets pissy. Um, Sif made a friend today, actually. I haven't told you guys about this. So, a couple, maybe like a month ago, I told you that we had this really cute uh, American Bulldog puppy that we were taking care of. We were watching over. Uh, you may remember. And she was a really little baby back then. Uh, but now she's a decent little... She's a decent little chunk. And so I'm like, fuck it, you know, this is a very playful dog, very friendly. Maybe, maybe Sif will finally get along with another animal. Uh, so I, I, I irresponsibly introduced the, the border dog to Sif today. And they started playing, I'm like, holy shit. Um, it's a miracle. Like, Sif has a friend. Like, someone can stand Sif. It's amazing. It's actually incredible. Like, they actually like each other. So, when I'm done with the stream, I'm probably gonna let him play some more. Uh, cause she leaves on Sunday, I think. Thank you, Spilal, for the 19 months. I appreciate it, dude. What's going on? 
Why are you cutie? Finally playing this? I only knew about this ROM pack for like a week or two, dude. What do you mean, finally playing this? And the bulldog also loves me, which is great. She gets too excited. She does this thing where she, she gives me kisses so fast that she accidentally nips me a little bit. Like, they, sometimes there's a little, a little bit of uh, tooth in there. But it's really cute. She's still a baby. A little baby bulldog. I love bulldogs, dude. Especially American bulldogs. And she's got these beautiful gray eyes. It's actually crazy. Like, I've never seen a dog with eyes like that. Like, I was super tempted because apparently my, my fucking mom figured out that I... I really like that dog and ask the uh, the people who got it. And apparently they had more puppies from that litter, but I just don't think Seth would want, um, want a permanent dog addition to the room, so. The Sif's number one. Sif's always gonna be number one. And she's just, she's spoiled. Like, one of, one of the advantages of being a streamer, there are many. But one of the, one of my favorites personally is I never have to leave Sif alone. Like she gets to live her entire life being around me, pretty much. Like I'm not gone eight eight hours a day. Um, which is it's pretty cool because like it's it's not a bad thing if that happens with your dog. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to be down on people, but I I would feel bad. Um, and I'm I'm glad that I get to spend all all of Sif's time around. And it, it's gotten to the point where she has, like, super bad, like, separation anxiety. You know? She's really jealous of her other dog, so it's not without its, uh, without its, uh, negatives, I suppose. And she, she does not like it when I leave for any amount of time. Whenever, she knows the sound of my door opening, too, on the car. So if I do leave and I come back and she hears the door open or close, she immediately starts barking and I can hear her from inside the house. It's, it's kind of funny. I want, not like Fat Boy Kane or tried to kill you, but Kane was cool too. Kane just needs. Kane needs a. Uh, a mentor. He's not really. not really uh, disciplined by your grandma. He's just allowed free reign. Thank you, Sir Apollyon, for the 40 months. I appreciate it, dude. How have you been? You ready? You ready for Iceborne Gamer? What's good, Locke? How the fuck did that one get him? It's not right there. Meet my small and diminutive micro penis. How old is Sif? She's gonna be five this year. Okay. Flying is in the ice level? In the original game, it is. I. This is not the original game, though. Unless there's an ice level of flying in, in this one, too, which would be weird. What's going on, Tacky? But it's not outside the realm of possibility. Hey, leave my pets unattended. They're my children. Yeah, exactly. This is my little, my little coconut child. But don't tell me where shit is anyways. I don't, I don't want to know where shit is. I figured it out myself. When, when have I ever asked for help? <laughs> like, very, very rarely I'm like, yo, chat, please, please help me. I don't know what to do. It's like happened maybe five times in, in four years. The only time I really I really say that shit or ask for help is when I just I'm hating the fucking game and I just want to get it over with. Okay, so what's this? Seventy-eight Jesus. Okay, so I was thinking, you know, I had a lot more notes than was required. Oh, no, it's literally just the ice level, too. Highlight Heights. Help this poor man. My grandma's dog is like almost 14 year old, so man, I'm surprised she's been kicking this long. Is it a big dog or a little one? Wow, this, this is actually, wow. You know, I like this level. It reminds me of the uh, the snow level from Diddy Kong Racing. The one with all the, the colorful heights and shit. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Probably not. Right. 
a terrier poodle mix? Oh yeah, little little ones are like generally speaking, not always, but the smaller the dog, the longer they tend to live. Has been my experience. Like the Great Danes only live for like six years average or some crazy shit. It's super small. Which is really sad because I really like Great Danes and I've always wanted one, but I don't think I could deal with Like, if Sif was a Great Dane, she'd be nearing the end of her lifespan already. She's five. Um I I wouldn't be able to deal with that. This is too sad. Moment to see a walrus boss thing. Um, it was in that world. There, there are, there's an ice world, I guess. There are a lot of ice levels, but there's uh, one level in particular that has all these crazy lights and shit. Sif's already fought? Yes, Sif's half a decade. Which, she's got a Hopefully, like, God forbid, uh, she doesn't, but she should have a, a long life ahead of her. But still, even just, like, knowing that she's five years old is super sad to me. I don't know how I'm going to continue. Day comes. Google says 8 to 10 years. Really? Okay, so that's longer than I thought. But I still feel like even just having 8 be the lower end of that is super short. She's passed away this summer, even though I miss her, I'm so grateful she lived 15 years. That's a long time. That's really good. We had a cat. It was fucking 22, I think, when she died. She was as old as I was, which is was insane to me. Like, I had literally never known a life without that cat. But, like, the fact that they can live that long is insane to me. And she was a, she was a mom cat, too. Like, she had kittens and everything. Like, she lived a fucking... She lived a life. A long-ass life. That cat was evil, but I loved her. Her name was Lily. Little black and white cat. Oh fuck, not these things. That is a year old. That's dope. I liked my sister's rats. Uh, it, it's kind of a begrudging admittance. Because I'm not really big on rodents. Like, I can't stand fucking guinea pigs, for example. I think they're insanely annoying, but the rats were really cool. Because you could tell that they weren't, they weren't just fucking little, little organic automatons. That there was more than just the desire to chew grass there. Which I couldn't say for the fucking guinea pigs. Rats of like two years, yeah. Uh, sister had a couple batches of rats that didn't live very long. It's sad. Teach rats, yeah, rats are really smart. It's surprising. Rat is probably... Probably smarter than its owner in a lot of cases. For honest, that's definitely the case. <laughs> Do you know what Jamaican beef patty is? I don't. Dog is 12, hoping she gets another year before she dies. 12 is a long time, though. 12 is a good, full, happy life. Oh, fuck. Ouch. Most mammals relatively smart. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. I have a 13-year-old wiener dog, and he lives solely to spite my mother. Why does she not like the wiener dog? What's the dumbest mammal? It's a loaded question. I think the dumbest mammal I've ever met is probably Amanda's, uh... Her grandma has a French bulldog in game. That's probably the dumbest animal I've ever met. Like, I love him, he was really cute, but holy fuck, dude. You, there was nothing there! <laughs> he was just so dumb! It was funny, though. 
but French bulldogs are apparently retards. Guinea pigs? I like guinea pigs when I was a kid. I used to have one named Yugi. But I don't really like guinea pigs these days. I started being a DSP supporter today. Well, good shit, dude. Happy for ya. Why is there more of this tightrope shit? This one actually isn't too bad. Just the knowledge that I'm probably gonna have to do it multiple times is, hey, modern. If you're still if you're still here, we found your Jinjo. I love this picture. I actually used to have this picture of the Jinjo on my computer. So I just love his facial expression. Yugi, yeah, Yugi, like Yu-Gi-Oh. Goddamn beautiful. I have a question for you, said Piss and Papa Dap. Why do you always greet each other with that, that look of scorn? Are you not happy to see one another and revel in, in each other's company? Oh, okay, that was the problem. Do you not love one another? <laughs> That's quite a run back if I miss, huh? Talking about Banjo because we like it's Dark Souls. The fucking run back, <laughs> Four years? I don't think you. You've both been here for four years, but I don't think you've been doing that. My pet rat had an X-ray yesterday, and he was such a good boy. He was chill enough to let the vet do it without sedating him. That's really cool. What's his name? Pancho lost his McFreakin' souls. Christ, a modern. <laughs> Christ, army man on the toilet. What are you doing? Three and something years? I mean, I've noticed it before, but like, I, I guess I never really felt the need to ask, and now I'm kind of curious. We're not really talking about anything else right now, so I figured I'd, I'd make conversation. Oh wow, this is cool. You know what, I think I like this run hack overall. Definitely not without its faults. Like, the camera is really, really sketchy in some of these levels. But it's definitely gotten better since the beginning. Definitely. 110 fucking percent. I really liked this level and the last level. Although the first level and the second level... I don't know. I don't know about those two. Can we talk about the measles outbreak at Evo? Sure, but I know nothing about it, so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to educate me. You know his name? No, I don't think I do. I don't think you've ever told me. His name is Futon. All right, I can respect. It. I don't think you've ever told me Futon's name. Good golden boy, how are you, dog? Did you get my message? Holy shit, there's a UFO in here. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I don't understand. I don't understand. But uh, there's one thing I do understand. Yes, uh, alright, good. Just making sure. I apologize again. I can fly now. Thank fucking god. 
I get to learn how to fly in the, the UFO level. Okay. You've reached Area 51. Man, that fucking joke came and went, didn't it? I won't even say it's a joke. It was a meme. There's a difference. I forgot all about the Area 51 shit. Why'd you have to remind me? Oh, fuck. That's fucked up, dude. Here. You better be there. No, dude. I'm not. I might be a Kyle, but I'm shirking. I'm shirking my duty. Mm, good meme. Stand the test of time. What's a recent meme that, in your opinion, has been good, chat? Stop acting like you weren't spearheading the only. You really think. You really think I can spearhead an operation? I'm glad you think so highly of me. None of them, really? None? Not any at all? What about- Oh shit, I just noticed there are motherfuckers in here. What about epic Spongebob memes? Would you like Spang Bab, chat? Are these the aliens? These fucking purple retards from the first level? <laughs> okay. Did you ever make a meme? I'm a meme. Um, I think the one meme I remember making is there was a period of time where Cry really didn't want to play Monster Hunter with us. Sounds familiar, huh? And I made an image. Let me see if I can get it for you. Let me see if I can find it. I'll show you my meme. My, my one meme I've made. Let me see. I have to, I have to sift through like a billion pictures though, so you're gonna have to give me a couple minutes. I want to I want to show you how shitty I am at making memes. All right, so check this shit out. I I made this to try to convince him to play Monster Hunter with us. It actually worked. That's the one meme I've made. All right. I don't think it's going to work a second time though. But I guilt tripped him into playing with us, so. Fucking <laughs> deep. Okay, if the person had the measles was an evil, a tender, a competitor, or someone who happened to be at the hotels around the same time as the tournament, Mandalay Bay Convention Center, where most of the evil's competitions took place, was not listed in the NS. For SNHD's report, however, due to the highly contagious nature of the Mises virus, it's possible that the attendees were exposed either way. That's just fantastic. Put that on your meme wall. Play Dauntless? But he, he didn't play Dauntless with me. Like, that's the thing. I'm sure he'd be down to play Monster Hunter, but, like, it's a whole nother can of worms when you have to play Monster Hunter with, with me. That shit's scary, dude. Who the fuck wants to do that? Move the cursor. For most people, I would move it to the middle, but for you, Sadpiss, I will make an exception. I will move the cursor. I heard Dauntless. I bet you did get a little Dauntless slot. Hey, Bruner. Hey, Bruner. I have something to tell you. I've had something on my mind for a long time. I wanted to ask this of you. Let me know when you're ready. Wow. 
what? All right, so I was wondering if you would want to uh, want to go out and get some dauntless pasta with me, dude. Have kind of a bro date. Maybe maybe touch each other on the tip a little bit after. Oh, hell yeah, all right, word. I'm glad that you're a good sport. When and where, dude? Uh, tomorrow in the Gathering Hall in Monster Hunter World. Total I want? I don't care, Bivrak. You can fuck off, dude. You're not Bruno. I'm not talking to you. Okay. Have you seen Brunerth when he turns himself into a girl? Like, have you seen that fucking picture? When you can do that shit, maybe I'll have Dauntless Pasta with you, bro. But until then, I'm sticking with, with the money. I have? Then you know you can't compete. No way. Okay, I need to I need to find a flying pad. ASAP. Is that the picture on the right? What the fuck? I don't know who should be insulted there, Bruner or, or the K-pop dude? Is this Banjo Kazooie or Tui? Uh, I don't know what the ROM hack's based off of, but it's neither. I just don't. I don't know if he uses Tui or Kazooie as like the fundamental. But that was really good. Did you see that? Epic. This is a ROM hack. Yes. It's actually better to fall into the bottomless pit, huh? Because that way you don't take fall damage. Okay. This is a ROM hack? Yeah, have you never played Banjo before? What do you mean is this a ROM hack? What the fuck are you talking about, Willis? I'm just teasing it, dude. Oh, wait. No, that killed me that time. That's fucked up. Okay. Did it? I still have the notes, I think. Is it just me or is chat quiet today? Chat's been quiet for a long time. I've kind of... Like, lately I've been doing a really piss poor job at this, the whole streaming thing, and it's not very exciting these days, so, like, as a result, like, if you're being boring as a streamer, chat kind of suffers from that. So I apologize. Okay. Oh, fuck, it's cold, apparently. And <laughs> the little ice crystals talk some shit. Sound like the bird is making, is dusting off, like, 20... Oh, I got you, yeah. You're reminiscing over Banjo. Oh, fuck that. That's miserable. Two in one fucking spot? I don't even have eggs! <laughs> How am I supposed to do that? Dude, this is gonna be so AIDS. Holy shit. What's the goal? To get all the notes. There are no Jiggies or Jinjos. Uh, the idea is to get notes, which actually makes this shit way more annoying than you think it would be. Because it's old Banjo-Kazooie style of needing to get all of the notes in one go. And you can almost never do that, because there's a lot of backtracking you have to do, because you, you're limited in terms of abilities. Okay. Eat no dogs. You don't have to explain. Like I'm not I'm not trying to not not trying to guilt trip you. Like that's that's the thing. I'm not I'm not trying to make you guys feel bad. It's literally just it's like if the streamer is doing interesting shit, then the chat will talk. 
You know, there's, there's really all there is to it. Like, it's not me trying to pin anything on you guys. You shouldn't feel the need to explain yourselves. I literally said that I'm doing shitty. Not you guys. So don't, don't worry about it. Don't stop trying to, like, stop trying to explain this shit to me. It's weird. I'm not trying to grill you dudes. This isn't like a, why the fuck is anyone talking in my chat? This is rough. These dudes are assholes! Downtown, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Legend. Legend. Where are all the people that fapped during dude you no one's ever jacked off to my stream. I, I legitimately believe that there have been people who've jacked off to like cry or snake stream, but mine, no fucking way. No fucking way, dude. But you know motherfuckers flick the bean for cry streams. You know that's happened. That probably happens at least once a week. Not to your stream? Well, that's, that's boring. I've jacked off to, like, during streams that are really weird. I'm pretty sure. Like, I've left DSP stream on and went to jack off with the stream you did. doesn't mean anything. You gotta jack off to the street. And don't even mute. No, I can't. Like, if I if I was jacking off and I heard, like, a hoo -hoo or a I would I would lose my, my boner immediately. That would suck. <laughs> Can you imagine? Fuck me, dude. What's too much ginger ale? Any amount. I don't like ginger ale. Ginger ale is the jack-in-the-box of uh, beverages. Jack off on league stream weird? Depends which league stream. And which league stream are we talking? Dude, I suck at this fucking game. Holy shit. Don't you- now, now you make me feel bad because you're using the sad Sif face. I mean, drink however much you like, dude. Why are you asking me? I ain't your daddy. There's a lot of jack-off content on Twitch.tv. Oh, yeah. I don't know how true it is, but I heard that there's some countries where, like, the firewall or the ISPs block porn. And so a lot of them look at certain, uh, certain, uh, styles. Of, of Twitch stream to kind of, you know, get around it like a little loophole, if you will. I don't know how true that is, but if it is true, it's kind of fucking funny. God bless those people. Hopefully one day they can get some better shit. <laughs> that was close. Fuck off, snowman. China banned a lot of good things. Thank fucking god I know, dude. <laughs> the noise is just... bad. 
Oh fuck. Dangerous situation. I need to look for honey. This is. This is scary. I don't like this much. You die, you have to go back and get all the notes again? Absolutely right. So I'm trying to just cheap it out. As DSP would say. Okay, don't be a retard. And... So what's gonna be in here, though? What the fuck? I can't just walk up in there? laugh and I'm nope uh-uh I'm good dude no thank you I politely decline <laughs> fuck you that is one of the noises you definitely don't want to hear upon entering a room that means we only really have one choice which is a scary choice we got to kill the ice cubes up there which In theory, they're not hard, but I have a tendency to choke on big, big, big cock when it comes to, like, pivotal situations. What's going on, Michael? Fuck! Like that, God damn it! Alright, we'll come back to this level later then. We got flying so we can redo other other areas. I couldn't get my pecs off in time. See, as I was saying, I just ate shit. Look like a like a chump motherfucker. And that means we could probably finish like all of the previous levels, I think. So we'll see. How many notes do I have? 65? Okay, I need 13 more total. That shit reminds me of that old ass, like, geriatric escape streamer. Dr. Disrespect only cheated one time! Yahoo! I'm <laughs> shit fucking. Sometimes I'll be, like, showering or some shit, and I'll just remember him saying that, and I'll just be chuckling to myself like a retard. Good times. RS Glory and Gold. Yeah, that dude. Dude's hilarious. Okay, so I have a theory, actually. A GAME THEORY! I'm sorry, I'll never do that again. They have so much energy. Where do you think they get it from? I wish I had that level of energy. The war, G Fuel, Hardcore Drugs. Dude, I told you it was literally just a fucking debate. I think, hey, I'm gonna be able to use these fucking mumbo tokens. <laughs> nope. Uh uh. It's just another one. They're completely worthless as far as I've been able to tell on this ROM. Thank you, Ponguin, for 45 months. I appreciate it, and I'm hurt you have to ask that. You should know I love Banjo-Kazooie. This is a ROM hack, though. This is, uh, Banjo Dreamy. According to the person who made it, it's the only complete ROM hack out. So I'm trying this shit out and seeing if it's good. 
So this is all shit that you've probably never seen before. A lot of people have come in real confused, wondering like what level and shit I'm on. <laughs> it, it's it's all new. It's all new. Just a fucking mumbo token. How long has it been out? I think since last year, end of last year. I just found out about it a couple weeks ago. I'm curious why I didn't recognize this. Yeah. Um. It's interesting. Would you be frightened if Banjo started making Mario noises? No, I'd probably be aroused. Imagine Banjo and his big bear voice going, Mamma Mia! That shit would get me lit. I also wish he'd make that noise that the landmine just made. Okay. So let's kill everyone. I do cocaine to be high. How often do you think that actually happens, chat? The like internet people taking the drugas to, um, to enhance themselves. Zero? Wow. Did you put any deep banjo because we were in Smash? Probably not. I like that draw distance. <laughs> Couldn't even see it. Until I got closer. What's good, Shades of Grey? Hey, Tola, one of my friends got blackout drunk tonight. He's finally done something degenerate in his life. So proud of him. Yeah, give him a celebratory handy to commemorate. And then make that noise. Fuck you and your bone spurs, bitch. Oh, Banjo's OP as fuck. That's why I'm not even gonna bother playing when he comes out. Cause I know he's gonna be like the most OP character ever. And if you play Banjo, you're just you're just the flavor of the month retard who just wants to win easy. Nobody was actually okay. It's gonna be the same thing that happened with K. Rool. Like people are just gonna incessantly nag at you for playing the character. Mouse and duck in the bottom right from there. There's random gifs that my Discord has introduced me to. What the fuck is this? I, I can't even like comprehend. Okay. It was not that good though. People had different opinions on that when the game was new though. The hero is OP. That's the dragon quest one, right? Thank you, Shades of Grey, for putting Tacky Boy in the cut. I appreciate it, dog. Wait, am I fucking high? Maybe I'm the one doing drugs. I haven't thought about it that way. Nice. There's an overhang, so I can't just jump to it. Didn't have to? No, they definitely had to. I used my, my gamer mind control powers to influence them to do that. You know how I am. What the fuck? You really gonna do me like this? Dude, this camera is not suited for this. And there's lava. I'm fucked. These levels actually from the game, no, this is a ROM hack. It's called Banjo Dreamy. It's an entirely new game. Um, it's fucked up, though, because there are no Jiggies or Jinjos. You, you only make progress by getting notes, and it has the old note system where if you leave the level and uh, come back, 
you have to regather all of the notes, which is honestly a pain in the ass, but I, I guess that's how it be sometimes, right? Thank you, Shades of Grey, for putting five more motherfuckers in the cock shit. Uh, Johnny Saiyan, Noct Argia, Wazuki, Golden Giovanna, and Mercuria. Uh, gifted subs. If you're one of those people, please give Shades of Grey a handy. So, am I a retard? How do I get up here? Okay. I was just standing in the wrong place. Biggest chat in existence. No, that's game. I almost just walked off, holy shit. So where am I going here? Oh, no fucking way. Scratching and lost is Yeah, I'm, I'm having trouble here. <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I, I feel like there's supposed to be a. Maybe. But yeah, Rouser, I don't know what's going on with the music because a lot of it is legitimately new. Is that what I have to do? Um, I think this is not the right way to go. We gotta go this way somehow. Let me, you know what? Let me look up here. Maybe there's a, a hole or something to get up. Cause Alright, so check this shit out. You're, you're supposed to go up there and then go down, and that leads to the, the little uh, the ledge that has the note over there. Unless, I guess, so you're supposed to go from the ledge and then jump up over here, which I... Oh, wait. I'm blind. Literally fucking blind. I couldn't see it. It blended in too well. It's funny, isn't it? How I was talking about how this level overall was my favorite, the, the seaside town level. And then we get this fucked up volcano section. I agree with Dally. I think whoever made this needs a timeout. <laughs> this is fucked. It's really not that bad though, thankfully. So far at least. Maybe there's more that I haven't seen. The camera is especially sinister in this part, though. Like, come on, dude. Come on. <laughs> that was fucked up, dude. Holy shit. It was kind of fun, though. I just wish it wasn't so harsh on the eyes. My little baby T-Dog rat eyes were having trouble there. So where the fuck else am I supposed to go? I see a little platform over here. There's gonna be a note here. 
Nope, just a fucking mumbo token. The most worthless shit in the mod so far. Eekum, bokum. What's the point story of this shit? Apparently the toilet from Banjo-Kazooie 1 is a real ignorant bitch. He doesn't like you very much. And he's trapped you in a dream world that you gotta escape for some shit. I don't fucking know. <laughs> it's just... It's a ROM hack. It's just an excuse to make some weird-ass levels. It's supposed to be a dream, though. That's a, supposedly why everything looks so weird and, like, surreal and has those, like, purple tints on everything. Because it's supposed to be like a dream. Because when I think dreams, I think Prince's purple rain. I don't know about you guys. This next jump was a pain in the ass to me. There's no way I have to be closer to the to the edge. Fuck me. I really should just fly up there. I, I did it once. It's like LSD emulator. It really is. Just fly up. I know. I just want to do it. Stubborn. Last time I had a dream like this, I shit the bed. Oh no. That's not good. Hey, I actually did it. I think of the one guy on this planet who wants to fuck Taylor Swift's pleasure rooms. What's going on, Bright Galaxy Shine? Pleasure rolls. Is that what we're calling them now? So if I said something like, I wanna fuck my pleasure rolls, you'd be like, yeah, dude. That's just, that's kosher now. Thinking of new ways to do my Patreon. Is that an invitation? I guess so. any notes up here. Hmm. What the hell is even happening in regards to what? The game or chat? My man, okay, so my chats, just, this is how we are. We're a bunch of weird freaks, and the game is a ROM hack. So if the, it doesn't look at all familiar to the Banjo-Kazooie you know, uh, there's a pretty good reason for that. I gotta go to Hippo's, uh, little love shack for five notes. I can't sleep? I'm sorry, baby. I can never sleep either if it makes you feel better. <laughs> Having that problem, too. I'm just as lost. Yeah, so it's called Banjo Dreamy. It's a total conversion ROM hack, so all of the levels are new and everything. It's my first time playing it, so I'm still... I'm still kind of just, like, not not entirely understanding what the fuck I need to do, too. And I'm just bumbling my way through it. You can see ukulele in the background, even. Why does he have to talk like that? <laughs> he reminds me so much of someone. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I love failed games like ukulele. I really wanted to like ukulele. I played that most of the way through. I quit on the last level because I got bored. But I did everything else up until that point. Um, I think the biggest thing that sucked about ukulele is it just didn't really feel like it had any of the soul that Banjo had. Like, the original Banjo had all sorts of uh, crazy-ass characters, memorable locales and shit. 
And I remember Ukulele Swamp level, the main NPC there was a bunch of, like, uh, shopping carts, I think. Like, literally just shopping carts that talk to you. It was just... I, I don't know. And the levels themselves, I felt, were really bland. They were too big, which is actually a weird complaint coming from me. Uh, like, the original Banjo-Kazooie levels were just the right size, in my opinion. And maybe an hour per level, if that. Um, just the right amount of gameplay, but, like, ukulele just dragged on and on and on. I think the only level I thought was... was interesting in that game was the casino. The casino was interesting. I especially liked the minecart boss at the casino. But it, it just got old fast because, like, you just... It was a combination of what I said, plus... You had to do those dumb fucking minigames. Like, one minecart minigame? Dope. Uh, one little retro dinosaur game? Dope. But you did that shit every level. Every fucking level. And it just got... It, it was the same thing with the quizzes, right? Like, if you played the original Banjo-Kazooie, you know at the end of the game, there's, like, this fucking quiz you have to do. Uh, that, that challenges you on all these things you learned over the course of the game. But in Ukulele, you do that quiz after every single level, and it just gets real tiresome. And they ask you stupid shit that you have no way of knowing. Unless you specifically knew there was a quiz and tried to prepare for it. Just, um... I don't know. They just didn't really understand what made the games fun to play. Like, it was one of those things where... A lot of the parts to make a game similar to Banjo-Kazooie were there, but they just didn't really... ...know why those parts worked and what made it... Uh, what made it fun, I felt. But then again, maybe I'm just a retard. Is a 2D platformer sequel they're making? No. Because, like, Ukulele was a mechanically competent game. Um... It was just... It didn't have the charm that the previous games had. Like, I don't like Banjo-Tooie anywhere near as much as Kazooie, but even Tooie, like, had way more going for it than Ukulele did. Are also too big and empty. Yeah, they're too big. And that, like, that would be okay if the levels had any sort of interesting things going on for them. But it was literally just like, fucking, here's your generic little forest level. Even though it was visually appealing, I'll give it that. It's just like Aztec forest, snow land, uh, swamp, and only the last two levels were, were at all interesting. Um. But that's three levels that are just, like, completely devoid of any sort of... ...interesting themes. Which, that's, that's... That's a big problem when there are only five levels. <laughs> that's, uh... That's, that's a hell of a problem to have. Hat Time has had mod support for a while now. I still haven't played the base game for that. Get back, you little bitch. Okay, so I'm having an issue right now. My issue is that in each of these levels, there are three doors labeled one, two, and three. One is the hippo. Three is the crater, but I don't think I've found two yet. Um, I have no idea where this, this, the number two door is. That's what I'm looking for right now. Hog and tell me everything's gonna be alright? No, dude, that's not the kind of stream that I have. I'm here to tell you that shit isn't gonna be alright. Sometimes, sometimes life just fucks you, and your asshole is a Niagara Falls of semen. Um, shit just happens. And the only way it's gonna get better is if you, uh, if you get up and try to do something about it. So the opposite of what I do. I just sit there and take it. I'm like, oh yeah, life. Gate me. I want to look like Goatsy by the end of the day. Um, but you have the power to not do that. You have the power to get up and say, you know what? Fuck you, dude. That's an out hole, not an in hole. You're not going to be fucking my, my, my boy pussy. That's up to you. That is entirely up to you. If this is sunshine or rainbows. 
It's not Sunshine Rainbows by default, but with it, I, I think with enough uh, effort on your part, maybe you can make it that way. Sometimes. Sometimes. Not always. One man, one jar, a pony cum jar to spice up your day. Ugly or creepy? No. That's not true, Bivrak. There's some handsome motherfuckers in here, and there are plenty of people who aren't creepy. I mean, just look at Hank. Isn't Hank the paragon of just social uh, adeptitude? You're really gonna call that man creepy? When he sits there and scratches his goatee in the mic, goes, oh, yeah, that was like, like that. Are you really gonna tell me that's creepy? That's discrimination. What I just missed? Not a whole hell of a lot. His pickup lines are sublime. Don't. Don't fucking do this to me. Come on, dude. Come on, bro. Oh, man. That's, uh... What? Alright. Crisis averted. I clicked on it and it started working again. <laughs> what the? I didn't tab out or anything, though. What the fuck? Glow on the cartridge. I wonder if I could go over here. Oh, no, 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 no. How are you doing, Bombi? Long time no see, you fuck. What are you up to? It's always a pleasure to see you, my friend. Just wanted a bit of attention. Understandable. Thank you, Brad Pout, for the sub. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much, and, uh... And enjoy the doggy emotes here. Let me, let me save really quick. I'm gonna do a save state, just in case it crashes. Or crashes, because that could have been bad. That could have been real shitty. So where the fuck is this number two door, then? Maybe it's in the water somewhere. Mm. You stuck in the world of MMO grinding lately? Oh, I'm sorry. At least you got Iceborne coming to break you free of that, right? You're gonna be able to play some good shit. It's it's Final Fantasy XIV, isn't it? Be honest with me. I think the two door was the top. I'm pretty sure that was the three door. Let me check. Sorry, I'm, I'm good at flying. Yeah, it's definitely the three door. One with cat girls and suspicious emotes. I always knew you would fall back into into that sort of shit. You're a wee bibble at heart. So. I see that there, there's... Wait. It didn't load the fucking texture for the thing blocking it. And so I saw the two door through the fucking... Oh my god. Oh my god benefited from the technical shortcomings of the emulator. So yeah, I was gonna say though, like, I was kind of with Vlad Ted on that because there, there was that fucking thing that looked suspicious, but I didn't really envision being able to break something that big. Okay, what the fuck is all this shit then? Do you like my noise? Hmm. 
Uh -huh. Is that a lava lamp? It looks like it. Okay, so let's see what's going on in here. Those dudes don't look very friendly. <laughs> Wow, there's fucking lava underwater. What the fuck is wrong with the depth of this? Banjo 3 hype anyone? Dog, you know that shit ain't gonna happen. I wish it would, but you know that's like... I have a higher chance of becoming a worthwhile human being than that shit happening. And if you stay here longer, you're gonna quickly come to the conclusion that that's, that's not, that means that's a pretty low chance. <laughs> chance of that is not very high at all. Okay. Dare I go over there? Okay, I was kind of expecting it to be fake water. And just plummet into the lava. I'm pleased that that wasn't the case. We still have three notes we haven't found. I was really banking on them being in here. There's one up there. Okay, so I gotta climb all the trees. That'll leave two. Maybe I've missed two. Probably in underwater places. Um, nuts and bolts? I don't know what you're talking about. What's that? What are these nuts and bolts you speak of? to be good. Oh, it was a game? I don't believe you. I don't think anything so insipid would ever exist. Uh. Young guy, oh, you take that back. Oh, shit, I see it. Oh, fuck me. Dude. This is fucked up. Like, isn't this- didn't the Geneva Convention ban this shit? Why? Holy fuck. Okay, well we need one more note. This is a hate crime? Thankfully, the camera was okay there. Like, if the camera was was doing that thing where it just becomes completely fucking worthless, that would have been extraordinarily painful. But, I lucked out. I did. That means there's one more note. No one likes collectathons anymore? I love collecting shit, dude. You should see me playing Dragon Quest Builders. Like, I'm fucking, like, picking up all of the items. I'm, I'm collecting everything. I want to get all the fish. Um, I'm actually pretty close to finishing that game, so we can start building again. So maybe the game will be enjoyable to watch once more. Although, I will say... Pretty much everything that's come after the Desert World has been much better than the Desert World. I really just think the Desert World and, and the little prison segment that came after, that, that was the low point of the game. That was epic. Is the face cam? No, I don't do that shit, dude. I'm turning you to fucking stone if you see my face. An ugly son of a bitch. Super Mario Maker 2? I haven't. I haven't played the first one. Now, portcullis. You actually get, a, a, like, a, a legit portcullis as a door. <laughs> I saw that and I thought of you guys. Like, oh shit. See, if only. 
If only I was streaming this, and then they'd know I wasn't just making shit up. Getting the gnome recipe and taming the monsters. Yeah, I've got a yeti and one of those big stone dudes on my island. If you tame them, they, they actually become, like, permanent residents on your island. It's pretty cool. They have, like, special abilities and shit, too. But apparently... I, I've got- I've got to deliver the death blow. The bad news. Thank you, One Nut Warrior, for the 26 months. I appreciate it, dog. You can't tame the rats. They're not one of the ones that can join you up, which is terrible. It literally would be like the perfect fucking building game if you could tame the rats. But you can't. Those little fat fucks are forever uh, out of reach. We'll have to use the little, the little buildable ones. Makes you mauled. What is this mauled shit? Can you, is that like a combination of mad and mauled? I've been seeing this word in the wild more and more. Hey, thank you, Zilla has thirteen from Prime Sub. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. Enjoy the emotes. I appreciate you using that on me. That's it? So what's the point? <laughs> Sounds like a shitty meme. Okay. It's so mad you start balding? That literally doesn't make any fucking sense. Can that happen? I hope that can't happen, because I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be fucking bald. Would you guys still love me if I was bald? Just not as much. Alright, that's fair. Bald and I hate myself? Nah, dude, you probably look good. Like, that shit? You know what the worst injustice ever committed is? Fucking racist taking the skinhead look. That shit pisses me off, because I can't shave my fucking head without getting some sideways glances. Like, you, you shaved your fucking head? You, you racist? You a skinhead? Cause I've shaved my head twice before. The first time, I got really drunk on Four Loco and took a plastic Bic razor to my scalp. Um, and it took me like an hour and a half to cut it all off. And then I, when my parents woke up, I told them I was joining the army. And they were really mad at me. Um, they didn't like that. They didn't think it was as funny as I did. Um, and the second time, I just... I did the same thing, except it wasn't on Four Loco. I didn't say I was joining the army. Just thought it felt nice. But I have a dumb fucking head, so it doesn't look good on me. But if you can if you can own that look, fuck it, dude. Don't let people take that shit away from you. Beautiful. Big, bald, beautiful motherfucker. Having a fascist What the fuck is a fascist haircut? Come on, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck are you talking about? A fascist haircut. I wanna fucking die, dude. This is the point we're at. A fascist haircut. Oh, Jesus. I wanna die, RPG. I don't know who Richard Spencer is. Let me look this shit up. you're gonna call a fat that is a normal fucking haircut oh my fucking god why even live 
I see like when it, on the rare occasions where I go outside, I see like twenty motherfuckers with that haircut. It's just a normal fucking haircut. I don't care what the fuck he is. I don't care if he fucks dogs. That's a normal ass haircut that many people have. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, that is so fucking... Look at this one. Okay, let me see this shit. Alright, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Alright, that one... Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah, you de you're definitely... There's something wrong with you if you got that one. I don't know if you're a fascist, but like... Looks like someone dropped a little bit of ice cream on top of your head, and the, but it's hairy ice cream. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I trust someone with that one. <laughs> that one's bad, dude. But I, I've never had a good haircut. Like, I, I always... I don't know shit about hair, so you shouldn't trust my opinion one way or the other. I'm starting to think maybe I missed one in the Hippo Splooge. Splooge Island. What level is this? Um, it's a ROM hack, so this is... I don't know what level this is, but this isn't part of the original games. The soft serve haircut. I don't think any sort of hairstyle can look good on me exactly. That's why I need to just fucking stop trying and just accept it and shave my head and, and own it, you know? The there is no recourse for me hairstyle. Missed one in the volcano, I'm thinking so too. Either that or it looks in the volcano or on the volcano. My hair is fucking perfection. How do you have self-confidence? Fuck me. It's a nice meme because the first image result you get when you search is Richard Spencer and saying the hair makes you a fascist. How the fuck is someone in the wild supposed to know that, though? Like, if someone starts talking about fascist hair, how are they supposed to be- Oh yeah, dude, clearly that's because, you know, you Google fascist hair and Richard Spencer shows up. And he's- he's a- he's a fascist, so that got the- duh. I don't- I don't know. I think I'm too smooth-brained. Maybe I should get the soft-serve smooth-brained haircut, though. Know in the pool with the kamikaze dude? Which one? Because I've looked in this one. Yeah, let me look again. <laughs> Fuck off, asshole. No, the stuff. Honey, cool. I love my hair. One of my only two photogenic things next to my eyes. It must be nice having something like that. I wonder what that's like. I literally just look like an asshole no matter what I do, it sucks. But, hey, at least I have a sterling personality, right? I've got a, I've got a heart of gold and a personality of silver. That would be fucked up. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm looking for the notes. I'm not. I'm not fucking around. Like, okay, so let me explain why I'm, I'm so adamant on finding finding this. So check this shit out. You see, on the top, we have 24 notes. That means we literally have one left in the world. And the reason I'm not letting that one go is the way the progression system in this game works is there are no jiggies or jinjos. Um, there are only notes. But if I leave with 24 and I come back, then I have to get all 25 again for it to count. I'm not fucking doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I need to find this note. 
I need to find it, because I, I do not particularly relish the idea of coming back and getting all of it. Need? I need it. Just like that one dude needs white male fart porn. He needs some creamy chicken noodles for his black funnel noodles. Please! Please! I need fart male white porn. Please! Found them all the notes at each drawer? I don't know. Pretty sure I found them in one. Maybe not in three. It's probably in three. I just really don't relish the idea of going back there. What? You haven't seen that fucking video? I'm gonna have to show you guys this video. When I find the note, let me know. Uh, remind me that I need to show you the white male fart porn video. It might get me banned off of Twitch, but who gives a fuck? It's not a, not a big deal. Please. Please. Did I miss one in here, Ugu? I don't think I did. Hmm, why would you need it so urgently? The dude seems... Like, he might... Might not all be there. White male fart poor man. Are you playing this blindfolded? No. No, I'm not. Sadly. That's, uh, that's actually a Patreon goal. If you give me like uh, 70,000 a month on Patreon, I'll, I'll consider it. Please. Please. I need fart male white corn. Please. Just the way he pleads is so funny to me. God damn. God damn. Why is it gotta be a white dude? Why not equal opportunity for people who want to contribute their, their flatulence? See, I really don't want to go down here. Because I know exactly what's gonna happen. I'm gonna fuck up and die. Like some sort of weak pattern. I don't think it's in here though. I was pretty thorough with this room. It's not in here. I refuse to believe it's in here. Maybe it's in the little the little toxic waste area and I didn't explore well enough. Cause you know what? A comment. Maybe there's supposed to be five notes per per door. I feel like there's been five notes per door pretty consistently. And I think I only found four in two. That's a speculation on my part, though. I don't know if that's actually how it works. I need to I need to make sure next time. I need to pay more attention. I need to be more observant. I don't know where we'll be here either, that was the thing. Okay, so there was one. No, we got five here. We definitely got five here. Now that I'm thinking, there's one over there. There were two on the uh, on the platforms. There was one on top of this thing, and then there was the one in the lava chamber. So 
so I think we almost assuredly got the ones in here. So it's gotta be the volcano. The volcano or the overworld. 100 fucking percent. But I think I got five in the volcano too. Someone should check the vibe. <laughs> No cap turns blue or something when you get them all in an area? I don't remember. Holy shit, dude. I'm gonna be playing this all fucking night. To the VOD. I could also just be a puss puss in save state. In case I die in the volcano. But I don't really want to do that. Because then, like, that's a slippery slope. Because then, like, what if I become DSP? Where he's fighting the final boss of Danky Kang Country 2. And he's fucking save stating in between every phase, and it still takes him over an hour to kill King K. Rool. Like, that shit poisons you. And room one, yeah, the hippo just gives him deal. But it's gotta be in the volcano. It's gotta be in the volcano. So I gotta, I gotta risk it. I might, I might, I might lose out here. Wouldn't it be the most embarrassing thing you've done on stream? I mean, your your very existence embarrasses me. Like the fact that I allow you to talk in my chat is a perpetual embarrassment. So I would I would agree with you on that. Um, as long as you persist, nothing can really top that. I mean, I guess I know where everything is if I die. Check the boat. Yeah, I got the one on the boat. I think I did only get four in the volcano. Alright. This is it by Michael Jackson, chat. We're probably gonna eat shit and die here. I'm sure you're all uh, very excited. Banjo, be your main? I'm too bad to play Smash, dude. Like, I, I played Smash, and I get my ass beat by my own Discord, and then they shit talk me for losing. So I'm like... I'm just never going to be uh, at a level that I'm, I'm happy with with that game. And when I won, it would be because I was using K. Rule. It was epic. Really fun times. So, yeah, I legit have people like I'll let you. I'll let you have a free stock. And it's like, what the fuck? Did you do the viewer tournament you wanted to do? Nah, people lost interest. I should have done it sooner. I waited too long. You don't suppose they're nice human beings and make it to where the lava doesn't immediately kill you? No, I, I play characters that I think are cool from games that I like. Um, that's how I am. And it just so happened for that game it was K. Rule. Because I've always, uh, I've always loved Donkey Kong Country. It's one of my favorite game series, and I've always wanted K. Rule to be in it. But even if he was just, like, the worst character, I would play K. Rule. And attacking? No, I'm never doing fighting games. Fuck that shit, dude. I don't have the skill or the patience. I did get five in here. I forgot the one on this fucking pad. Because there were two on the walkway. There was one on the pad, there was one on the pole, and there was one on these platforms over here. Is my interest in Remnant? No, I'm not playing that shit because I don't like guns. Like, I don't, I don't like games that have shooter elements where they are not good at shooters. It does not seem, uh, it does not seem like my cup of tea. Because he was asked here. A lot of people thought that. It was fucked up. I 
they thought I picked him just because it was like flavor of the month. I'm like, that's that's the thing. If Banjo ends up being good, Banjo's another character I've always wanted to play. Later, Tacky. Oh no, never mind. You didn't say later to me. Just hang. Victor was announced and called the B Spam Strat King. I will be honest. When people gave me shit for playing Cable, I did pick Richter up. That shit was funny. At that point, I was being spiteful and I was being an asshole. Just fucking... <laughs> that shit was retarded. Just like the cheesy projectile character. I think my favorite thing about Richter was that little slide kick he did. Allows you to strike like a viper. So I'm not convinced I'm ever going to find this shit. Those were not earned. Why aren't you making Joker? I don't... F Wait, hold on. Am I fucking... I don't... I like Persona, but I don't like it enough to play fucking Joker. doesn't exist. This shit's really making me feel like a lobotomite. I've spent so long here. Maybe you can break one of the chimneys? Joker's so cool, he's gonna infiltrate your palace and steal your heart. Bet you wish you could do that, Hank. Closest to Jojo? Imagine being this motherfucker. Imagine being such an anime weeabibble scum fuck that you're like, I've got to play Joker because it reminds me of JoJo. How embarrassing. Laughing girls JPEG, dude. What are you doing, Bob? What are you doing? I think I'm getting carpal tunnel in my left arm. <laughs> it hurts like a motherfucker today. I don't know why. Nothing, nothing happened to it. Oh, fuck me. No one likes the bear. That can... And the bear is still cooler than anything in JoJo. I don't see how that's an argument for your, for your cause. I bet you it's something stupid, like, you know that one move where you crouch and you do, like, a tackle with Kazooie? I bet you you can break a door open or some shit with that. And so they legitimately made it to where you just get fucked and eat shit because you, there's one note that you need one specific move for. Thought maybe you'd be able to break that one since it was low to the ground. JoJo's so cool because their faces are boxes, so it's like Minecraft. Yeah, that's really cool. It's like Minecraft for adults. With hints of Roblox. Uh, whenever I watch JoJo, it reminds me of my favorite music video. I'm, I'm a sick fuck. I like a quick fuck by Kane West. It's really awesome. Forever associated that video with shovel. I'm a chill fuck. I like a quick buck. <laughs> what the fuck? Maybe it's underwater. That's an avenue I haven't really explored. Maybe it's underwater, like under that umbrella or some shit. Under the sea? Yeah. Oh. 
I don't think I'm gonna be able to find this one, games. I think I'm... I think I'm fucked. I think the game beat me. Cheese and crackers or coffee and mints make up your mind. I think it's time for Morrowind? How many people, like, non-ironically like Morrowind as a stream game? No. Oh, shit. I actually don't know the answer to that. Fuck, leave me alone. Woo! It's gotta be somewhere outside. Yeah, it has to be. Alchemy runs. I did one. I did a two-hour Morrowind stream the other day. And you weren't there to watch my alchemy run. I was just really, uh... I really wasn't feeling good that day, so it was only two hours. Dear Iceborne, no one's gonna play MHGU for a while. MHU is a great dope ass game. I still think it would be interesting if they continued development on non world Monster Hunter games by trying to. Like, they have so much free resource now, like free real estate from Monster Hunter uh, Frontier now that that's going under. That they could, they could fucking get a lot of the monsters from that game and, and like, kind of retool them to where they're not so ridiculous and, and make a, a new 3DS-style monster in our game. Just build on GU. And the styles and shit would fit perfectly with the Frontier style of Monster Hunter. God, that would be dope. That would make me want to pop my, my pustules. Put GU on PC, DSP Rage, that ain't gonna happen. It'd be cool, but it ain't gonna happen. Monster Hunter Racing? When's Bloodborne Cart? Huh? What's going on, Echo? How much you want to bet this note is going to be like the most retarded the easy one and I'm just overthinking it like an asshole? Thank you, Selicin, for the 19 months. Appreciate it, dude. Not everything needs to be on PC. You shut your poor mouth, Game Boy. Yes, it does. Fly around the corner. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, I tried flying around the corner behind me, but there's an invisible wall. Hide the notes up inside the umbrellas. You know, that's actually a fair point. Maybe up here. If that'd be fucked if you had one like right up here and you had to do an alternate kind of thing with the jump pad. It's not on Steam, I ain't playing it. Yo, you guys wanna play Ooblets with me? Can I uh see all my Ooblets gamers? This fucking no I know dude. I made it farther into this ROM hack than I expected, Paul. It's good, Neko. Turn. Ooblix looks like shit now. Why? I wanna do. <laughs> You're asking Hank to do OEX Deviants? Are you fucking out of your mind? That is like. How the fuck would that combo kill anything? Like Roylan and Hank. Christ almighty. What's the opposite of a dynamic duel? How oh, high can you fly? About this high. The music stops playing if you get high enough, it's cool.
No, I like it, Bombi. It's fun. I like exploring. I like games that encourage exploration. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but I, I enjoy it personally. But this one I'm just being stubborn on. Like, this is just like a personal issue right now. I'm not gonna let this fucking note defeat me. It's probably gonna defeat me. EX Deviants are just more health and damage if that ain't no biggie. Alright. Right. Tough talk. I'm, uh, I'm interested in seeing... Are you gonna play GU on stream and, and do some of them? And if so, can you can you please do a um, Crystal Beer EX first? Silver win. It's turning into a chill stream right now. I know. All of my streams are chill, though. That's the thing. Mm. Well, what the fuck? Where could this thing possibly be? Like, where the actual fuck have I not looked? Silverwind is lame? That's really mean. You're gonna hurt his fucking feelings. It's a cat. They're sensitive. Top of Volcano? I've already been up there. That's where the little lava dungeon is. Check the chimneys already? Yeah, they're all feathers. Invisible walls won't let me uh, traverse there. Inside the houses, I can try. I feel like I've tried to break every door, but maybe there's just one that I haven't tried that I lost open. Pork chop sandwiches, what's going on, low game? How are you, dude? Cut to my deviance fair and square, it's not solo, then it's not fair and square, you fuck. Like, if you're sitting there waiting for everyone else to kill it, then then that's not fair and square. To deal with very dumb shit on the morrow, well, I hope it goes well. Is it is it related to For Honor? Be honest with me. Maybe there just really is no 25th note, and they're just fucking me. Not what I did though. Where's your video evidence? Where's your video evidence, Roland? Alright, alright. I'm issuing a challenge, okay? Roiland and Hank, I want you to to beat Massacre Demon Diablos or Azure Bolt Astalos. Super, super deviant with just you two. Is it no you gotta do it with Roiland. You gotta do it with Roiland. Because you said you were going to carry him, so you need to live up to your word. No, not so tough now, are you, Hanky Chan? Alright, do it solo. That can work too. I'm just gonna make that fucking noise every single time. Also, how many people do play For Honor these days? Out of morbid curiosity, is there still a, a healthy player base for that shit? that much. P 
you break the boxes underwater? I wonder. I can try. Very stable player, base not huge though. Gotcha. No dice. Mainly PS4? That's weird. I understand why though. A lot of the Dark Souls PvP community. He loves their PS quadruple. Because you don't have any hackamans. thing I know about For Honor is Logan went to attorney once and I have a picture of him from that. That's really fucking weird. <laughs> like, that's just a weird thing to say. Like, yeah, I have my, my Logan 2131 picture. It's, it's framed in the bathroom. God, Hank, you're so fucking bad. There's something seriously wrong with you. Picture of Papa Crap too. That's even weirder. Well, maybe use the explosion to break the boxes. Maybe, but I also might just fucking die. Picks of Papa Crap, huh? Why do you just have random pictures of people? What is, what is, like, the rationale behind that? Shit makes no sense. I mean, fuck, dude. It's gotta be, like, some fucked up thing in the ocean or something like that. Gotta catch them all. Sometimes when I hit the Windows button, I see you. Actually, you, you've you've done something terrible, Hank. You've made me feel feel bad for popping out. I I can't believe it. sense that it would be that box. It looks differently colored, doesn't it? But I don't know how I would get it. What you've done, Hank? Tolo has sympathy now? Because, like, I just imagine... What if Pop It App was my sister? How would I react to it? I'd be pissed. I'd be fucking pissed. If you were saying that shit about, like, my sister or something, or my mom. Would uh, be very, very upset with you. I saw Hank get dash cut. Not surprising. Is it under the bridge? Gamers, I don't think I can do it. I think I failed you. Oh my god. I hope you can find it in your hearts to forgive me. I've already tried the tile between the bathrooms. I thought that too, it looked super conspicuous. I can't forgive. Well, I can give you some of my piss if you want. Will that make up for it? through the wall or some shit? I don't know. 
Under the boat? That's a mumbo token. A mumble rap token. Sif, what you want, girl? The fuck is your your, your Sif issue? Hi. Hello. Hello, my child. You're turning my chair. Fuck. What do you need, my baby? Stop breathing on me. in a situation she is what the fuck is wrong with this game under the bridge between the two buildings what do you mean Seth I have to pee so bad all right I'm gonna urinate Last note is it? Okay, don't tell me where it is, but can I get it with what I have right now, Beardy? Do I need something I don't have to get the note? That's all I want to know. Don't tell me a hint. Don't give me any situation. Uh, I can get it. That's all I need to know. I thank you, Munchil, for the 18 months. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you. I've got to piss, get a drink, and let my dog out. But... I'm gonna give you a video. That's right. I didn't forget. I didn't fucking forget. White male fart. Okay. I'm not gonna play it on stream, but I'm gonna link you here. Enjoy.
don't pop your butt. Please. Please. I think I'm too chill. I need to turn my AC off. Oh, fuck me. God, my window is so small. <laughs> What's going on, band streams? Don't worry, it's not exactly been the most riveting stream. It's a ROM hack in Daya. I probably spent a solid hour now looking for one, one collectible. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to find it at this point. Apparently, someone looked it up and it's in a very questionable location. I have a new fart funnel. Well, that's great. I'm happy for it. How much did it cost? It's like the last ingot. Yeah, it's personal now. I gotta find it just as a matter of principle. If someone tells me where it is, I'm banning you. No meme, I will fucking- you're gun- you're done. So do not tell me where it is if you know, if you're one of like the two people who looked up the speedrun. I bet it's out in the ocean. It's out my butt? Spread them. Spread them, dude. Oh, fuck. A little too low. Oh, fuck. What fish do you like to eat the most? Either red tuna or Simone? was in that shark. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Do you think that dude ever got farted on, by the way? found it. No! Get the fuck away from me! Alright, this is- this is bad. I only have two honeycombs. Mother of fuck. Okay. Alright, there's one honeycomb in the pool. I know that much. My new 27-inch monitor just came in the mail. Nice! I... I got a... I got a big fucking Gundam. I'm not... I'm not gonna pretend I didn't. And it's apparently got 50 runners of plastic in it. 50. 50 fucking things of plastic. It, is, it, it needs screws, which is a first. I'm just thinking, like... That shit's gonna take me two months. <laughs> if I fucking- if I paint it. Two months is what that would probably take me. Which one? It's the, uh... MG at, uh, at EXS Gundam 1.5, I believe it's called. It's a fat fuck. And I'm streaming now. Most people just listen to me. They don't really watch, I think. Like, that's what they tell me. So, if it's all the same, I, I might as well just play like Morrowind or some shit, you know? Okay. 
Is that bad? Not really, but it- Oh, fuck. Dude, I'm actually gonna die to this fucked up shark. If I die, I die. I'll do it all again. The game thinks I won't, but I fucking will. Let me, let me see if those clams respawn. Please save state. No. I refuse. Okay. This little retard is still here. have those honeycomb enemies we've been in this level a long time dude we, we've been here a while I've been trying all sorts of shit like I tried blowing up the mines to see if they uh they blew up into secret paths and shit so I'd intentionally trigger the mines and fuck myself in retrospect I really should have noticed there was like a caved in diamond in the water so I kind of feel like a Moran for not seeing that. Okay. Where's he spawning? He keeps spawning, like, directly in my fucking path. That's the problem. This dumb fucking shark thinks I'm afraid to die. This dumb shark thinks I'm afraid to die. I ain't afraid to die, bitch. Eat my ass. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God, dude. <laughs> We're finally done with this level. Holy shit. You can't say I'm a pussy. I mean, you can, but you'd be wrong. I risked it. I didn't I didn't save state like a little bitch. I was ready to do this entire fucking level over again. Now I'm gonna save state though. Just in case it freezes. Okay. 25. So let's go to level 2 now. That one's... I actually feel like that one's gonna be worse. Thank you on next line and token up. Appreciate the continued support, dog. What's up? 18 months. Is this game autosave? I think it does, but I'm save stating just to make sure. I don't trust autosaves. I need to break those beehives and get some honey. I wonder how many fucking levels are in this shit. Safe stating in the case of crashing is the real bitch move? Yeah, okay, jail. Is the wrong hack part of this? All, all of the levels are new. It's all, uh, it's all new shit. It's got glorious things such as tight roping with a bad 3D camera on the first level. Uh, unkillable ghosts. On the first level. It's just a real, a real hoot and a holler filler. It makes my little pee pee hard. For saying you like that? I still like that level. I still think that level was good. The music was good. The atmosphere was good. And I, I like that there's just one note that's really hard to find. Like, everything's pretty simple in that level except for that one note. And I think that's okay. Because most people aren't going to be like, Oh, I'm going to spend an hour looking for this one note. Most people don't give a fuck. But if you're a retard like me... Adds a little bit of, uh, a little bit of extra challenge. This is going the wrong way. Rat stop dancing. He's tired, dude. He needs a union. Get paid enough for this shit. 
130 fucking degrees on that screen. Okay. Should I just end the stream and get Whataburger, you think? Kind of hankering for a honey barbecue chicken strip sandwich. Sounds fucking good right now. Pirate level? Well, that was a huge fucking map. And there was a lot more shit to find. That shit was gargantuan. Every stream, I come into Tolo saying he's gonna end it for Whataburger. Because I want some fucking Whataburger, dude. What do you mean? Uh -huh. Are you fucking me? Uh -huh. It was throw up a mound of joke. I need to stop eating. I, I need to stop eating so much. I'm getting fat. I think today I'm gonna eat air. Is at least quadruple. Dude, I've had so much Whataburger this week, it's crazy. Just don't eat ever. I'm thinking about it. Or maybe only Cheeto diet. You think that'd be dope or no? Just become a hot Cheeto. That shit doesn't happen overnight, but so far I haven't I haven't noticed anything. Honestly, I feel like it's probably gonna be so gradual that I might not notice it. But I'll let you know. On this day in existence, man merged with Cheeto. They just now started stocking hot Cheetos. What the fuck? And stop posting the fish. It makes me... It makes me want to giggle. I don't have hot Cheetos here. So, are you going to answer my question? <laughs> what kind of third world country do you live in? That shit ain't right. They can't just do that to you. Specialty stores for hot cheetos. What the fuck? Oh no. It's Glitter Gulch Mine from fucking Banjo too. I hated that level. It's the Shekel Labyrinth. count how many notes are in here. Find the final note? I did. It was in the sea. I almost died trying to get it, too. The shark almost killed me. Hope your dinner was good, dude. So now I'm in level two. I'm keeping track of the notes because I want to see I want to see my theory. Okay, so three, four. I'm still, I'm still operating under the assumption that in each one of the numbered doors there's going to be five notes. That makes sense to me. Maybe I'm looking for something where nothing's there. Nope, there are definitely five here. At least five. Alright. Oh shit. Come back here, bitch. I need you. That was easy as hell. <laughs> that was, like, really surprisingly simple compared to, uh, compared to the previous level. You should take a gulp of coke and leave it in your mouth for an extended period. Okay, just for you, dude.
All right. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm not gonna spit it all over my monitor. Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? Swallow on stream, I did. The beautiful ah, ah, yeah, I know. You mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what you're trying to say, Glacy? It's good, dog. Oh, shit. Okay, we're at number three now. You know what? I'm, I'm being a big retard right now. I should do the underwater section, like, now. Because I actually stand a pretty good chance of fucking drowning in that. And it would really suck if I did all this just to drown. Holy shit, I'm so carbonated now after that. I feel like I could, I could... I could belch out a song. You're not gonna drown? You don't fucking know me, Amater. I am a master at fucking it up. Dude, I just got dicked. I just got face fucked by a naval mine. Oh no. Alright, well. This is it by Michael Jackson, dude. Where the fuck are they, dude? That's not what I wanted to do. I want- I, I hate it here, dude. He just fucking sat there. He didn't even jump. What a bitch! Fuck that frog. God damn it. Okay, like I said, we're doing that part first. I fucking hate this game. <laughs> I hate those frogs, dude. God damn it. God damn it. Told you you wouldn't drown. You're right. I can't believe he just sat there. I should have waited. That was my fucking fault, obviously. But, like, goddamn. I really didn't expect him to just sit there and do nothing. He did the me strategy. Thank you, Iguana, for the two years. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Alright, you wee little bastards. Round two. This is actually, like, surprisingly, uh, precise. Okay. So we're in a, we're in a numbered door right now, so we gotta get five notes here. Diving mechanic looks frustrating. I'm just bad at it, honestly. Shit. We're gonna we're gonna beat this fucking banjo kazooie rom hack. I swear to God we are. I'm not gonna stop fucking playing it like I did with the Mario one. We're we're gonna see this shit to the end. You guys are gonna be forced into watching a fucking shitty banjo kazooie rom hack with me at the helm. We're gonna we're gonna make that bird suck our dicks. Get. 
There's no need to risk it. Tolo's the new Narcissa. It, am I? What, uh... What led you to that conclusion? Out of morbid curiosity, why am I now Narcissa right? I haven't even done the please support me, please. Please support me on Patreon, please. Getting ready for Banjo and Smash? Something like that. What's going on, Mr. Weed? Alright, this is the hardest note in the level, so if I get... If I get through, that's pretty good. Alright, so we just need one more. Man, that shit's rough. I hate this underwater nonsense. It's always been the hardest part of these games for me, is dealing with underwater. Peanut butter and honey sandwich? That's not a honey butter chicken biscuit. Why is it in a honey butter chicken biscuit, dude? Chisel him out to his front teethies? No, mine are actually kind of getting there. I haven't had a retainer in like half a decade, so my I'm starting to get a little bit of a gap there. Maybe I am gonna be narcissist. Seen the latest latest Patreon fad. People are putting links to things they buy as Patreon perks. What do you mean? Explain that a little bit more. Just wait two months from now, you will change to Tolomia. Are you- are you on Jankum right now? Cause if so, give me some. Cause it sounds like you're on Jankum right now. Okay. So let's get this one. Let's see what this hellhole is. Okay, so there's gonna be five in here. I know there are those little rot tentacles, which are annoying. I hope there's- I don't have to swim through them. Oh, fuck. This is already... <laughs> just... What the fuck is wrong with the dev of this fucking ROM hack? Why are these things in such abundance here? Cause I don't... I don't recall, but I don't think I can kill these dudes. No, I can't. I need eggs to kill them. They buy it, and when people ask where they get it from, they'll post it as a patron-only link. Oh, that's retarded. Is this a banjo ROM hack? You, you bet your bottom fucking dollar it is. You bet your bottom fucking dollar it is. Thanks to gold. I don't have either of those. I have a feeling I'm not going to get either of those <laughs> for, for a long time, if, if at all. This is so claustrophobic, holy shit, dude. So where the fuck am I supposed to go? Cosplayer put links to a Nintendo Switch cover she bought through some Chinese site and she refused to get out the link. The thing she bought, she refers to her Patreon. Oh, gosh, yeah. That reminds me of when Miss Violence got really fucking mad at that one dude who wanted to know the keyboard she had, and she started, like, screaming at him for, for having the audacity. Not a real fan if you don't know my keyboard, you little slut. Not, not, not her, the dude was the slut. I'm, I want to make that a point right there. I would never call a woman on that word. Unless she deserved it. But I'm equal opportunity. I, I mostly call dudes that. Defendant's reason is you're not owed it. I spent time finding it, so give me money for my effort. I mean, at that point, like... They're not owed it. I can agree with that. But, like... That's such a fucking stupid thing to get pissy over. Like, if you're- if you're saying that kind of shit over, like, a Nintendo Switch cover, you're kind of an asshole. Not kind of- you're, you're most assuredly an asshole. There's no kind- there's no, like, uh, leeway there for me. 
Like, if you're gonna be... Like, give me money and I'll tell you where I got this shit. You are, uh... A bonafide asshole as far as I'm concerned. Now sensitivity settings. I think I'm at 7,000 DPI. Keyboard? I use a cheap uh, Chinese piece of shit. I actually don't know what it's called. I'm sorry. Oh, this looks delightful. What the fuck? Why, why is this happening to me? Thousand, holy shit, yeah. Well, I, I play on a 42 inch 4K screen, so you need some big dick DPI to do that thing. Remember back in the day when we all had like Windows 98 or whatever the fuck, and the mice were so dog shit that you'd kind of uh, you'd have to like pick it up and like move it to move it back to the beginning of the mouse pad to scroll. That's what it would be like for me if I didn't have DPI like that. Camera switch almost fucked me there. Okay. Hair stuck in my mouse ball. I also play on a 42 inch TV or computer monitor. It's a TV. Wait, I fucked up. Okay, my bad. So, jumping down is a strat. It takes you to the beginning of the level and you don't actually die, but I thought it took me to the beginning of the tentacle level. And, uh, now I have to do it again. God damn it. Whoopsie. Well, that's a bit of a problem. I, I think this shit would be like 20 times better if it didn't have like this, this note retention problem. Like, you get the note, and you got it. End of story. I don't, I don't know why they didn't add that in. Oh, well. What's good unpronounceable name? It count as a death? No, it makes the sound, but it doesn't count as a death. I had that happen on the last level. It does that when you ground pound, I think. Because you go down too fast. are incorrect? No one said they're incorrect. Who said that? Just having to recollect all of them is, uh... It's a struggle. It's getting kind of hot in here. I'm getting... Getting musky. Hank, you want to come over and, and give me a good old whiff? Skeleton. I don't know they made spin off games for Smash Brothers characters. That's the worst fucking meme I think I've ever seen, Jack of Hearts. You need to stop that right now. You need to show respect to Banjo. Dude. Like, you're really, you're really gonna disrespect Banjo like that? I can't believe it. I can't fucking believe it, dude. A lot of people have said, have said things like that today. It hurts my heart that there are some people who've never played Banjo. They don't know how thick the bear's cock is. I think that's a tragedy. What's going on, Crown? Okay. I'm gonna try to be a pro gamer for this one and just rush it. I'm just not a fan of collect-a-thon games is fair. How thick is it? Well, you gotta play it to find out. I'm not just gonna- I'm not gonna spoon-feed you that information. You think I'm just gonna- just gonna do that? I can tell you that one way or the other, you won't be disappointed. Banjo's notorious for his, uh, for his member. Cause I- I gotta tell you, 
If you look at the lore and all of the subtext in this game, you'll find out that Kazooie is not the name of the bird at all. Kazooie is the name for something else. Finally saw an extreme behemoth with a bow and monster on a world. Cool. Good shit, dude. I haven't even sold the normal one. I, I guess I need to get on that. I haven't really tried it yet. Is it fun? Also, I just remembered a fucked up dream I had. You guys are probably gonna get mad at me for having this dream, but I, I dream that I played a PewDiePie horror game on stream. Like, and he had the ability to teleport. So you just be, you just be like going in a room looking for notes or whatever the fuck you do in a horror game, and he'd come out and start screaming at you. I just wanted to share that with the rest of the class. I actually, for some reason, I woke up really scared, too. <laughs> like, I, I, I woke up, like, really, like, anxious and, and nervous. I don't know why. Like, it's, it's, it had more of a reaction from me than, like, any other fucking horror game I've ever played. Like, I was legitimately like, oh god, oh god. Sounds like a real game. PewDiePie coming for your sub money. Total scared of Swedish people. I mean, if you've ever tasted a Swedish fish before, you would know that anyone who can eat that is a person to be feared. Those shits are nasty. No good. Swedish fish are lit? See, there you go. That's all- that's all the evidence I need. Like, if Hank says something's lit, then he- he is like the... a lit ometer. Like, you just take the reverse of what he says, and you know the truth in regards to food. Every fucking time. It's actually amazing. The only- the only right opinion I think he's ever had is he thinks bananas are good. Litometer? Yeah, yeah. I hate Swedish fish now because the Swedish fish vape juice that I had. Why the fuck would you buy Swedish fish vape juice? So I had to say that slowly so I didn't stutter and say something fucking retarded. Bananas are shit. You're shit. are the best fruit. Bananas are only good in shakes. How could you be so, so naive? Oh god, oh god, I gotta hurry. Only good thing about bananas is their proof of god. God, fucking Ray Comfort. Ray, Ray Comfort. What a, what a shit stain of a human being. Jesus Christ. That shit was so funny. I remember seeing videos where, like, a bunch of religious people on YouTube would cite Ray Comfort and, and his argument. Like, proof of God is that the banana is is made by God to perfectly fit into the, the shape of a human's hand. I'm like, motherfucker, are you retarded? <laughs> like, what are you talking- Like, bananas didn't- we, we fucking modified them to be that way. <laughs> like, are you dumb? What the fuck are you talking about, Ray Comfort? Come on, dude. <laughs> what on earth? That shit was unbelievable. I still can't believe that was like a legit argument. That they were making for the existence of God back in the day. I don't I don't think they say that shit anymore, but at one point they were absolutely saying, hey dude, you see this banana? Proof of fucking God. It's ju it's shaped just like Jesus' cat. Shouldn't be here while I'm high. How can you be here if you're not high, though? Like, 
I feel like this is- I, like, my stream is basically fucking jack-in-the-box. It's only good if you're severely inebriated. Like, you have to be on the good shit. You have to be super fucked up. I saw your amazing atheist comment, too. Cool. That was- that was nice. I think that's when they decided they didn't like bananas anymore, is after that video. Which I can't really say. Man, imagining Jesus with banana there? You say that like it's a bad thing. Jack in the Box tacos? I've actually had that those before, and I, I legitimately don't understand how people can stomach something so reprehensibly awful. It's like eating cardboard with lettuce and a little, with like, a tiny scrap of meat. The fact that Hank likes those is more proof that he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about when it comes to food. Jack-in-the-box tacos. Just don't get it. Never once gonna be- you, you're straight edge? I would say that it's probably because you used to be a bio drone. Burger King tacos? How about Burger King chicken nuggets, though? Tonight? Why? Because I don't like shitty fucking 80 cent tacos from Jack in the Box? You really think I'm the one being the contrarian here? <laughs> you gotta be. Like, come on, dude. Anyone who's had those shits when, when sober will not like them. One dollar for. It, you say that like it's it's somehow making my, my argument worse. Swedish fish? I can see Swedish fish, but you you shouldn't be defending Jack in the Box tacos. I just think Swedish fish are, are inferior versions of other other candies, I guess. Like, why would I ever want Swedish fish when I could have blue sharks? I like black licorice? Fuck yeah, I like red licorice, too. Like, I like black licorice, and I still think Jack in the Box tacos are reprehensible. That should be, like, an eye-opening moment for you. Because I'm not gonna defend black licorice and say it's good. I just... Sometimes you need something nasty and dog shit. And black licorice is perfect for that. Like, I always talk about how sometimes I eat a Burger King because it's, because it's bad, and sometimes you just... You need bad food. You need, you need, like, your Burger King. You need your McDonald's. You need your... You need your jank in the box. You need your Arby's. But the difference is you can't acknowledge that Jack in the Box tacos are just dog shit. You're actually defending them as good. That's that's the difference here. Like I'm I will eat Burger King and I'll enjoy it, but I'm not about to fucking be like, yeah, I do Burger King. That shit's fucking good. Double cheeseburgers, one dollar fifty cents. Uh, amazing. It's really good. <laughs> no way. No one. No one would fucking do that. You have to be out of your mind. The only the only way you could possibly construe Jack in the Box tacos as being good is just if you, you're solely going on the price point. Um, personally, I think you'd be better off buying like a cardboard box and eating that. It would probably taste better. But. Dude. I just haven't had California Jack in You got me. That's the silver bullet, dude. You fucking got me. I can see defeat. Bacon King from Burger King is amazing. Should I try that? I haven't, I, I haven't had anything bigger than a double cheeseburger from Burger King. Are they, are they legitimately good? Or are you trying to fucking rustle me? an impossible burger? No, but I want to. The price point is what bothers me. Oh, hey. What's good, Beardo? 
one of these burgers every day? They're pretty good. All right. Better or worse than the Wendy's Baconator? Castle is dog shit. It's like the Jack in the Box of Burger places. Would say better. Okay, good. The fuck is that thing on the right? That's uh, that's a member of BTS as an anteater or some shit because because women on Twitter are fucking insane. BTS uh, fans are at least. They think this shit is is cute. They're like. They see, they see a nice little, a respectable Korean man and like, oh, what if he was an anteater? I bet he'd be so much fucking sexier. I want his little anteater snout to just go up my hoo-ha. I want nothing more in life. Base camp? Nah, I wish I was that cute, dude. Maybe one of these days. Dude? We're about to finish this level. The first three levels are 100 percented Are we actually gonna do this? Anteaters exist? Anteaters are fucking sick, dude. I'm talking shit on anteaters? Fuck you up. Plastic surgery so you can look like an anteater? Would you guys support that as a Patreon goal? But first donation goal, I want to get plastic surgery so I can be like, uh, anteater hosts up. I think it's funny that his name is... I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but when I see it, I want to say ho suck. Like you suck in a hole. It's humorous to me. Wait, Castle, you have the deputy rat? What the fuck? I didn't know you were a rat, Sheriff. Sing me a song of your people. Happy birthday song. Let me see. Let me let me turn on my AC. Make your nose even longer. Remember when you said you were behaving, Game Boy? That's a demerit. That's a demerit right there. Making fun of my physical appearance unprovoked. I saw that. Alright, alright, alright. So I'm gonna sing a I'm gonna sing a song. For Puzzle and and Pearl, because I didn't hit, I didn't I didn't sing him a song either. So if you don't like my singing, I would I would recommend uh, turning the stream off. <coughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pearl and Puzzle. Please pause my pearl hole. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, weird. Okay, we're done with this level. What's going on, Vinny's dad? This world is easy as fuck. Well, this is technically the second one. The one that we spent forever on was the third. Okay, good shit. Let me save. And then we're gonna get to see what the next world is. I bet you're all, uh, quaking with excitement. Pulling pants down. You re you really gonna say that you uh you have you have pants on right now? Why? What's wrong with you? Oh, did I go the wrong way? I think I may have. No, I think I'm good, actually. It's World Lizard Day a few days ago. Did you celebrate? I don't want to celebrate Ted Cruz Day. Sorry. Oh. 
I like how there's a little sign that says no bees allowed. <laughs> Why, dude? I guess I'm finally gonna get to turn into a bee. It's fucked up to bees. Holy shit. Holy fuck! Dude. Are you fucking kidding me? We're actually gonna go to outer space, huh? Say what you want about this ROM hack, but it's got some interesting levels. Holy fuck, okay. No bees on the, uh, on, on the, the space lander. How much you want to bet this level is going to be the embodiment of AIDS? <laughs> you just know it's coming. Okay. Uh-oh. I guess this is where we're finally going to learn to shoot eggs. You know, I hadn't really taken note of the fact that there have been no egg pickups throughout the entirety of this run thus far. To dream you can go to the moon to a man's womb? I think they should make a Dark Souls game based around the, the premise of being inside of a man's womb. What do you think about that? Good idea? Bad idea? I think it would be interesting. Just think of all the bosses you can have. How do you just fall on the face of the moon? Once the moon is fake? Very carefully, dude. You gotta be precise. Like what? Uh, Apollo. Perhaps you could name it, uh, Game Boy. There's some FPS issues on this level. Isn't that just the surge? Fair enough. That's just rude. No. I think that's an entirely fair comment. God damn. I'm super disoriented in this level. Left for an hour, now you're on the moon? Yeah, a lot of shit's happened. <laughs> we, we, we got the last note, and we got all of the notes in a, in a different level. And now we're, now we're trying to, to do this. Oh, come on. Come on. I like to quote? Okay. Okay, Hank. I'm not gonna read that all out loud. You were a menace. How much do I have to give you for you to go away? What, what's the going, going price for that, Hank? Read it? No. I'm gonna try Remnant? Nope. Doesn't look like something I, I want to play. You gotta pay off the SP's taxes? You know that's impossible. Gotta pay off the SP's taxes. Jesus Christ, what a response. I bet Hank is in love with the SP. Bet he's in the shower washing himself, just thinking about all the different ways he could, uh, could pay off his taxes. Shuttle arrives every 15 seconds. What's going on, JoJo Games? Oh, no. It doesn't fucking stop? 
<laughs> what kind of shuttle is this? Let's go, Yogi. I thought, you know, maybe maybe it would let me get on. Give me a, an opportunity to board. Oh, fuck this, dude. Oh, fuck this. Are there any notes? Yes. Dude, it's so fucking framey. <laughs> Holy fuck! I never thought I would be experiencing FPS lag in Banjo fucking Kazooie. <laughs> what on earth? Holy fuck, that's. In 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 <laughs> I don't know if it's embarrassing or amazing. How do I get to that one, though? The <laughs> graphics are just too good, clearly. not what I would call a step, but it does look like something I can use to get up. I wanted to try some sneaky ninjutsu with the, with the rugs, though. Tolo, I'm still banned. Is that a problem? SP right now. <laughs> this is insanity! Oh, we. Does everyone bully Yogi? Alright, Yogi, why is it. Okay. Yogi. You listening? I got a question for you. Why should I unban you from Discord? Ooh. Fuck that trophy. <laughs> no thanks. I'm I'm good. Is this a fucking dragon? This shit just got weird. Man, answer? Yeah, I'm waiting for Yogi's answer. I don't care what other people say right now. Uh, sorry if that, that bothers you. I wanna see if he's got a good reason. Like, what, what, what's his reason?
This would be really fun. I like this level, but it's just so fucking laggy. I'm writing a two paragraph. Yeah, if your response is too big, then it doesn't show up in Twitch chat, by the way. Um, it automatically filters regardless of uh, channel settings and messages that are too big. Just so you know, so keep it. I would say four sentences max. You could do longer, but like that's the easy way. I like your Discord. All right, good enough for me. Let me see. Um. Where is it? All right, behave. Behave. If the mods tell you you're doing something wrong, listen to them. If you like Discord. Uh, if you like my Discord so much, don't don't be a naughty boy. Don't don't make me regret it, Yogi Bear. Be really unfortunate. Make me sad. Be siffy. No problem. I guess we're about to see what the fucking lava does. Well, that's a bummer. Wow, holy shit, so I can't ever hit the lava. Okay, okay. This is gonna be... Interesting. Does what it should? No, I'm not complaining. I'm just kind of surprised. I'm used to, like, Mario, where you hit the lava and you go, And, like, it's not just an immediate, you're done, bitch. You know? Okay. Is this supposed to be the last level? 2D Mario was a 2D RPG. We're, we're, we're in the realm. 3D platforms. Did I, dude, Rusty Bucket Bay is the worst level. It actually, like, I love to shit on Tui. But it did. It... Fuck Rusty Bucket Bay. Disability been learned yet? No. Okay, so we need 16 notes to proceed between this level and the ice level. I just wanted to, to see what I need. Engine? No, yeah, exactly. 100 fucking percent. Rusty Bucket Bay is a stain on what's, in my opinion, one of the best Nintendo 64 games. Like, if it had. If it had replaced Rusty Bucket Bay with, I don't know, Hail Fire... Not Hail Fire Peaks, it was already uh, an ice level, but... Almost any level from Banjo-Tooie would have been fucking god-tier. Still is god-tier, but Rusty Bucket Bay makes me... It's like the, the video game 3D platformer equivalent of a prolapse. Yeah, yeah, they could have. What the fuck is your shadow on the asteroids? Uh, revealing me as a is a hot Chia warrior. Why is chat so toxic? Chat's not being toxic. What's chat doing? What? Oh, that's a fucking ice cube. I had no idea. I thought it was like a window or some shit. Huh. Well, I guess I'm fucking stupid. We ain't toxic. Now we're all good boys. And boils. For all two of you. Beginner's trap? I'm pretty sure you're a beginner's trap, pop it out. Any 
back in its home recently. Yeah, that's that's an investment right there. Like that fucking game is takes so much time to really get good at. I'm half expecting to like slip and slide off this shit. TBH. I bet you this one slip and slides you. No? All of that for one note. <laughs> like holy shit, dude. How is that legal? You should lure out with any class or archer with any race in your set. No, you could do the what are the the doom bringer? That thing is fucking crazy. You you can be lobotomized and still have a doom bringer. <laughs> That's so fucking epic. Dude, this level is AIDS! Holy shit! What the fuck? I lost like four honeycombs to that. You don't even have time to attack before they're on your shit. Okay, so note to self, in the future, kill all of the ice cubes before going in there. Rust no, I still like this more than Rusty Bucket Bag, TBH. It's not even close. Moon's haunted. so far. It's a really cool concept. I just wish it wasn't so, uh, laggy. It's really my only qualm. Dude, I'm fucking starving. I just got... I just got a need for gamer energy right now. Okay, so what the fuck is this? I need some cashews of chaos right now. You guys got any? What the fuck? This is weird. You know what? I like this ROM hack. It's definitely got issues, but I. You can tell how much effort was put into this shit. Shit's really cool. I hope Banjo Kazooie gets more and more stuff like this. Cause honestly, I got I have an unpopular gamer opinion. Are you ready for it? I like Banjo Kazooie more than Mario 64. See, that's what I want to want up. Hello, Anana, 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 Ananas. What's up, dog? Mario 64 is dope as shit. I'm not even trying to be like, yo, dude, fucking Mario 64 is, is a shitty game or whatever. I just think Kazooie's that good. Oh, you fucking... Okay. 
kidnapping the baby penguin? That sounds something like you were trying to do. You get to live out your, your, your darkest fantasies through Mario 64. I'm a fucking retard. <laughs> I did the same thing twice. Thrice. Getting flim flam by this. <laughs> All that for one note. Hold on. Mario 64? Yeah, Mario 64 is dope as shit. Both of them are amazing, and I kind of. I kind of want to play Mario 64 now. Like, no ROM hack bullshit, like, just a straight up Mario 64. Although, I've heard that there are some really good ROM hacks that don't require you to be good at video games to be. Like, Star Road. <laughs> Look at him. What's going on, Hoyps? Thank you for 22 months. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you. Thank you. I have an idea. I have a feeling I know where the, the fifth note in the score is. You're gonna have to get on that little beam on the middle and probably walk all the way across. Oh, I see. Maybe not? Or maybe this is just how you're supposed to get into the cage and I, I fucking... I did it a different way. Yeah, that looks like what's supposed to happen. Also, you want to know something else? I think pound for pound... The best developer during the N64 era was rare. Between this game and fucking Perfect Dark, GoldenEye, Banjo-Tooie, and to a lesser extent Donkey Kong 64, shit's uh... Especially Perfect Dark. I love Perfect Dark when I was, when I was a, a crotch link. That game was fucking awesome. I love the fact that the little, the little alien retard was called Elvis. Did he, yeah, Diddy Kong Racing was really fucking good, too. So where's the fifth note? I'm pretty sure I have not found it. Can't even make time for your favorite streamer? Thought I was Papa Dab's favorite streamer. What the fuck is this shit? The fuck? Papa Dap. I'm sundered. I thought we were bronies. I thought we were Pegasus sisters. I thought we were gonna go to BronyCon together. What the fuck? What the fuck? Fallout 3 Mothership Zeta DLC. Yes, it is. What's going on, nipple? This barrel is me, dude. I see you. I see you, you little slut. You think you can evade me? Ha! Moving on to greener pastas. That's, that makes me sad. That makes me really sad. Bro hoof me? Alright. <coughs> Bro hoof Pegasus sister. Being, uh, being abandoned. 
All of my all of my rats have moved on to greener pastures. First the squidlings, now Papa Dap. I'm uh, my time is up. Did I hear pasta? No, I think uh, you heard. You heard a spaghetti. I guess so. I'm dying on the inside. My my little my little Texan heart is being torn asunder viscously. The young and dying need to be cut off. Old and dying, not young and dying. My bad. This level's fucked up. I could have seen myself spending fucking hours finding this. Holy shit. Okay, where am I going here? Quite, dude. Oh my god, I'm all the way back here. Fuck me in the ass and call me Jemima. You know? Excuse me. It was a big one. That was the one from earlier that I couldn't get out. Cover your mouth? No. You're not allowed in this spot. Yeah, yeah, there, there are no bee allowed signs. It's fucked, dude. There aren't even bees as far as we've, we've been able to discover. Like, I'm sure there are if the anti-bee signs are there, but it's literally just before, before you even see it for the first time, a sign declaring the, uh, the presence of bees to be disallowed. Ooh, fuck. Okay. Can I grab onto these? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Oh. 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 All right, all right. So this seems like an interesting little area. And now I have the ability to fly, okay. Going for 100%? Maybe. I don't see why not. Like, I'll try. No promises. Because these levels are getting harder and harder. And, and longer. So I don't I don't know, like, how how long this this mod is. So it's, it's probably going to be too hard for me to 100% towards the end. It wouldn't surprise me. But I'll try. Any reward for 
Um, in the actual Banjo games, if you got all of the notes and shit, at the final fight, you'd unlock, like, double health, uh, double consumables, basically. Like, you'd get all these power-ups and shit to, to use against the final boss. But aside from that, I don't really remember what's going on, Olkeen. I think that was pretty much it. Dude, holy fuck, that was... It's close. And gamer cred? Yeah, yeah. You get, you get gamer points. Your imaginary little gamer score in your head. What if this game is, like, fucking 50 levels or some crazy shit? I don't know where the notes are. They're just loading up that honeycomb revolver to shoot himself? Hey. Banjo would never do that. Fuck me. I hate bees, they bug me, they are annoying, it stung me. <laughs> you remind me of that fucking hippo. Band streams. That sad crying pirate hippo in that one level. I don't know if you saw him. Oh shit. There was a note there, but it's obscured by the ice cubes. Interesting. Okay. I'm just really, really worried about that dragon part of the level. I, I should honestly do it now. Before I fuck anything up. Bees literally feed us. Do I annoy everyone now? I think it's really hard to annoy people in my chat because it's really hard to be more annoying than me. Like you got you got a lot of fucking work to go. That's that's kind of the thing. Bees nuts, I take that back, chump come. You know what? You win the prize. <laughs> you win, dude. Fucking bees nuts. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at that triangle in the background, dude. Okay. First thing I read is hit the fuck bees. Yeah, my chat is, uh... Pandemonium would probably be the best way of describing it. Okay. So going here is much better. If you get that one first, you can just jump to the second one. Alright. Bunch of fucking degenerates. Yeah, we're a bunch of retards. Just straight up. Well, that's not true. The people who, who lurk usually aren't retarded, I think. Because they're, they're wise enough to know to lurk instead of talk. These frames are wild. I know. It's like my only qualm with this level. I really, I really like this level. I don't like this part of the level at all. Okay. Oh, oh fuck. Oh fuck, I'm, I'm scratching my shin. Oh fuck, I'm cooming. I'm cooming. Big nut. Uh -oh. 
So where do you suppose the notes are in this hellscape? Can I stand on the wings? Give the RAM to upgrade your Nintendo 64. Ah, uh, no. Can't say I do. Okay. I need better control of the camera. Like, I need to control the camera better. Look at how sad these fucking things look. Okay. Let's take it very nice to slow down. There's no rush. We're all gamers here. We're all, uh, we're all ready to fuck. Our suits are all very tight. The main problem here is gonna be the draw distance is really gonna work against me, because I can't see the notes until I get close to them. Is so sad. <laughs> is there one on this? There it is. Okay, so this is my little exploratory phase. I gotta figure out where all the notes are. I'm probably gonna die and fuck it up. But as long as I learn a little bit, like where I'm supposed to be going, which ones I need to jump on, it's okay. Ooh, this one's... This one's fucking sketchy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about this note. This is fucked up, dude. <laughs> Fucked up. Okay. So, these two snakes both have notes on them. Noted. Get it? <laughs> monkey ass, dude. Don't you fucking monkey ass me. Please. See, that one's gonna be scary to fucking get to. I wonder if I could utilize that carpet well. Find it in your hearts to forgive me. Imagine if this shit took like five minutes. There's. Yep, there's definitely a note there. There's a note here. Dude, holy fuck, it's like 5 FPS! Okay. So there's one over there. I might even be able to jump on towards it from the carpet. I'm not sure. Almost. Is this 60 in the corner? Yes. You should turn off RTX. How could I be so naive? Okay. I think there's one on this track. Is there? No, it doesn't seem like it. Is it on his head? His little noggin? Nope. laugh? 
What if I run away? That's a bad idea. Holy fuck, dude. This is so stressful. I have to do so much shit over if I die here. See, my thing doesn't hold for some reason sometimes. Okay, so... Alright, alright, alright. Time out. Where the fuck is the last no? So I got... I know where four of them are. There was one on the tail? Where? Which tail? Are you sure that wasn't an, inv an invincibility feather? Save state? No, that's for pussies. No one in here is gonna support me using a save state on the hard part of the game. That would be some little baby bitch stuff. I bet you it's on that asshole over there. Be here forever. See, I don't know if that's going to make me slide. I have to use the carpet. There's no way. There's no fucking way. Unless it doesn't make me slide. That's such a bummer. Alright, I'm going right back to the lava area. I'm going right back to the lava area. I'm not doing anything else. I need to get all five notes in there before I even begin doing any of the other shit. There's like no danger of dying to anything but the lava area. So if I get those five first, then I should be able to get 25. Hopefully. We'll see. This is rough, dude. This is hard. Holy fuck. I mean, I got 19 on this level already. That's really not that bad, considering it's been like 30 minutes since we got here. It, it just kind of stings, because I could have easily gotten 25, I think, that run, if I'd played a bit better. Guessing this is a ROM hack? Yup. What gave it away? What <laughs> gave it away, dude? Fuck off! It's like the same angle I jump at almost every time. Game's fucking cheating, dude. too weird to be official? Nah, it's definitely a ROM hack. There's only one completed one, I think, for Banjo, and it's this one. It's called Banjo Dreamy. It's more like Banjo Nightmare. <laughs> I don't know, dude. The part that we're at right now is, um... It reminds me of fucking Sir Alone, basically. Like, the run back's forever. And the part is actually pretty hard on its own. Even without the run back being considered. Space level without lower gravity. Gravity? I said gravity. Gravity, huh? Honestly, it might not be a good idea to try to get all of the things here. The witch in these games gives me terrible anxiety. Why? Is it because she's too sexy? 
You wanna you wanna pork Gruntilda? You can be honest with me. Alright, dude. Should I go for the risky play? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try to maximize the value of this carpet. That was almost bad. <laughs> that was that would have been disappointing. As kids, as a kids, I used to lose on purpose just to see the sexy witch. I'm have to put you on the naughty list, dude. Okay. To min max this level. Here, I'm gonna min max right here. So I, have, I have a game theory. I think you're really gonna like it, Bowser. There's no way I'm making this one. I, I want to see how much I can get away with. I can get the two notes there, but I can't. I can't try to shortcut over to that one. Unfortunate. But at least, uh, I, I really just need to tackle the the one on the big dragon on the cliff. And then once I have that, I should be good to go. I think I've got to exploit the carpet to get that one. Don't you fucking face palm me, pop of crap. Oh shit, I actually made it. I'm the fastest man in the West. I've been playing this for almost seven hours, dude. I I don't think we're finishing it today. I think we're gonna have to do more streams of Banjo. Lucky for you, right? I bet you're uh you're quivering with excitement right now. Thank you, it's like a packet or something for the 15 months. Appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing well. Let's get part one up on the YouTube. I think absolutely zero people would watch me on YouTube. Dude, I just fucking got flim flam card. <laughs> I, I got fucked up by that carpet. Please, no. I don't like any of my shit most creative and I'm not gonna listen to you. Okay. F-Y-T-L-P. I don't understand this language, sorry, I'm, I'm not... I, on, I, I only speak English. Thank you, Yogi, for the nine months. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. I see nine out of ten Twitch users are dumb. I'm so glad to be in the other one percent. Excuse me, I must belch. That would have been very unbecoming of a Twitch.television streamer. A content guru such as myself. No, you don't. Don't lie to me. Okay. Let's see. My furry for liking Lammy from Unjammer... I don't know what that is. I think you're gonna have to give me, a uh, photographic evidence for me to make my final call on that one. Okay. Yellow feathers, do they're for invincibility.
invincibility unless you walk across the lava? I doubt it. Because it's not a solid surface. I know where all five notes are, there's not a note in the lava. Fuck, that was kind of close. Alright. Probably just fall through? Yeah, it wouldn't work 100 fucking percent. I'm willing to bet my right hand on it. <laughs> okay. So now, the ball is in my court. I just have to not fuck it up. I wish I could see this dragon head better. St. Michael, can you say hi to Garen? No, I don't say hi to League of Legends characters, sorry. That's against my, uh, my code of ethics. Okay. I think if I die here, which I probably will, I'm going to, I'm going to do a run where I get 20 notes and come here last, because I think I can do it. I think getting back is actually going to be Part. Getting back from this one specifically. Like this, this one is fucked up. Hello, arms. Are those real lava lizards? Yes. Very rare, they're imported. Okay. I'm sorry it takes so long for me to do this shit. I'm bad at platforming. I hope you can accept my sincerest apologies, chat. I hope you can find it in your hearts to five give me. So can I make it over there, even? I guess we're about to find out. Okay. Alright, we fucking got it. We got it! We got it. Only if you fix the rat? Okay. Okay. I haven't been here long, but I don't think he's sincere. Sincere in regards to what? Put this shit up. Say hi to my drunk ass. Your heartfelt apology. Oh, no, you're right on that. <laughs> you're, 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 you're absolutely on the money. Okay. Now, how do I get over here? I saw a hot grill on the way out of the gym. Like a true cock, I avoided eye contact, stared at the floor, put my headphones on, and laughed. Atta boy. You fucking did it. You're a credit to the team. Alright. So, fuck. I, I feel like... What, what do I do now? It's like I just nutted. And now I, I kind of don't know where to go from here. Holy fucking frames. Clean up? No, you, you come into a cup and you drink it. That's what CWC taught me. You swallow your navy. What the fuck you mean clean it up? What are you talking about? 
Are you are you dumb? Buy some Fanta then? I already got it ready. Oh, what the fuck? Ever just come on your face? No, I can't say I have. How the fuck do you manage to do that? That seems this seems inconceivable to me. How do you miss that bad? Or do you do it on purpose? I guess it was really inconsiderate inconsiderate of me to not entertain the idea of people doing it intentionally. I'm sorry. I just assumed that you would only do it by accident. So I have a question. And I hope you guys have an answer. Holy shit, I cannot do this anymore. Have you guys ever been self-conscious about your cum shot distance? Do you ever feel like you're supposed to launch it like a fucking, like a blaster? And it's just not that? Like, you see all the pornographies and, and like, people got them, like, super soaker cocks that launch that shit a thousand miles an hour and you're like, damn, dude. For me, it's just like a couple of, a couple of piddly winks. Kind of, it kind of dribbles out a little bit. It's not, it's not like a, a nice, clean shot. The porn uses fake cummies. That's true. But it still makes you feel it. It just leaks out. So you don't even shoot. No, no, not this shit again. Fuck. You know they use fake penises? Fake penises. I thought they sounded themselves with like a... Like a mixture. So that when they come, they shot out the mixture. Have I been living a lie? They use fake pussy too? How does that fucking work? You need to explain the mechanics of this to me. I don't understand. How do you use a fake pussy? Porn is evil, man. Porn is fake, but like, I don't understand the logistics of a fake pussy. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Maybe I'm a turbo virgin. Maybe all the people on Xbox Live were right about me. Maybe they're all fake and I can't tell. What if I've never even seen a real one? What if they're not supposed to look like the fucking Sarlacc from Star Wars? I don't like where this conversation's going. New Japanese technology? Most porn dudes don't have sex for a couple days and they fuck for hours while trying not to come. It sounds like you have insider information on the pornography industry. Band streams. I don't believe you. Damn, I wanted to see if I could land on it. If you watch Hentai, you never have to worry about it being fake. You have to worry about other shit, though. Wait, how many people do you think have clicked on certain categories not knowing what to expect, and then it's like... I don't know what the fuck a Netorari is. And then you just watch that shit and you feel terrible, because you got like a dude who's like working 700 hours a week for his girlfriend. And then, like, she's just fucking taking it up the ass every hour. Until he gets home. 
and then she doesn't. She, it's, it's just like then he ends up liking it. He's like holding her hand, and she's like, "Yeah, baby, you take that fucking thing." Like, what if? How many people do you think have accidentally watched it like that? Like they're just browsing and they find something like that. Doesn't even browse Incel Wiki, what a cock. I feel really bad. Remember this time last week when we were playing Duck Hunt? We were talking about cuckolds. Just a weekly thing for us, and that one dude was like, How dare you kink shame us? Not he didn't say us, but he's like, How dare you? You guys are being like hateful towards cuckolds. I haven't seen him since. I think he might have gotten hurtsy feelies over that. I hope not. People who like NTR are a weird type of person. I, mean, I think you are. I think you like that. Because you're calling it NTR. So you know. I thought kink shaming was a big part of cuckolding. You would think, right? Like, isn't there like a large humiliation aspect too? Maybe they couldn't handle the extreme boner they got. I don't know who that is, Fafman, but that sounds funny. That sounds like Craddock. NTR is cuck holding? Yeah, it's anime cuck porn. Probably unfollowed you after being king shame for an hour. I'm just a bad dude, huh? Oh, just a bad fucking guy. Just always upsetting people. DDLG. What the fuck is that? I don't even know what that is. Daddy Dom Little Girl. Daddy dumb little girl. I don't like that. Do you? Is that what you like, St. Michael? I know that one, of course you do. What other fucked up bullshit can we talk about? What do you think of daughter swaps? No fucking way. You serious? Like, I have a guess what that is, and I don't want to believe that my guess is right. Is that when you trade your daughter to another man for his daughter? That's also terrible. Remember reading a hentai that actually had a surprisingly good story and I was skimming past the porn parts and it wasn't until the end I realized it was a NTR. And the main character who cut his lifespan and had to save the girl got cut because the girl liked getting fucked and I just got depressed. Yeah, that sounds pretty miserable. 
Like medieval and renaissance Europe? Yeah, it doesn't sound, uh... It doesn't sound like something a lot of people should be engaging in in the modern day. It was a common practice in Germany. What? Daughter swapping or cutting your lifespan in half so your woman could fuck another man? You're gonna have to elaborate on that one for me, I'm dumb. Oh, another one of these fucked up reptilians. Both, actually? Okay. Last 15 plus years of DeviantArt have made shit like feet and BDSM sound extremely tame. I know, right? Like, someone says they're into BDSM and it's whatever now. Because the ante has just been up that much. What's with the border? Um. One person complained that the stretched full screen was. didn't look good. So I. I didn't stretch it, and I just didn't fuck with any of the other shit, like the, like the dancing rat or whatever the fuck, just left it. We live in an increasingly degenerate age. support in video games like League is a fetish now I could see that you'd have to be fucked in the head to want to play support like I feel like that shit's worse than being being a cop on the degenerate list internet fucked us in many ways yep Position. I'm getting crampy. Discussing porn while some case pop star morphed into a giant anteater slowly or silently judges you. I don't know where I got slowly from. I didn't think about my own brain. It's more likely than you think. My best friend is a furry and I thought it was a joke for three years. That's how they get you. It's always a joke at first. It's like, haha, <laughs> it's so funny, dude. I'm not talking about furry specific, I just mean in general. I don't even think furries are that weird anymore. Like, it's it's still weird, but it's just like, on the, on the grand scale of the internet, all the fucked up shit I've seen, it's like, furry's pretty low on the list now. Cute characters or supports are like Brahm and Soraka. You take that back, dude. Draven's not a fucking support. I don't want to hear you say that shit around here ever again. Next, we know Tola will be watching cats. Have you seen those furry vor suits? I've never actually heard of a furry vor suit. No. That actually killed me, I'm gonna be pissed. Now we're good. When are you streaming Overwatch? I don't know what to stream these days, honestly. I have no idea until Iceborne comes out. I feel like everything I play is a super lame. Um. I don't know. Kind of, uh. Been thinking about that a lot. Like, it, like, I get into this trap with streaming where I'm like, oh, everything that I'm playing right now is boring, I might as well not even stream. It's like... It's pretty stupid. But I'm a stupid guy. It was a mistake? Google furry voice suits? I wanna see this shit. Let me see. Furry voice suit. Oh yeah, that's miserable. 
that's miserable, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But this shit doesn't even really phase me anymore. So yeah, of course that exists. Makes sense. Oh shoot, they pull another person into That's what it looks like, yeah. They saw fursuits with giant inflated stomachs, basically. Thought it was gonna involve, like, people being, di like, dismembered or devoured or some shit. Like, with blood. Top girls look kinda fucked up. True, I can't- That's, like, one of the only things that really still fucks with me. Is the shit. Like, I still can't deal with the popo. I thank you, Mad Noob, for the 11 months. Appreciate it, dog. Thank you, thank you. Like, I don't know why, it just grosses me out way more than other shit. Like, gore? Nah. Doesn't really bother me that much. Um... Weird sexual shit? But the poo-poo? It's fucking disgusting. Fucking disgusting. Can't- I have, like, next to zero tolerance for that shit. You doing well today, Tolo and chat? Mm. I'm okay. How are you? I want to eat Whataburger until I explode. Your body is programmed? I mean, your body's programmed to be revolted by a lot of shit. But I've just become desensitized to that stuff, I guess, but not so much with the poo poo. What's wrong with some doo doo sauce? Can you please never say that again, like legit? One thing that really weirds me out is the people turning into inanimate objects fetish. I mean, isn't it everyone- like, don't you all have a dream of being able to turn into Hank someday? I don't understand what's, what's the problem with that one. What about the people who want to be, like, eaten by snakes and shit? Like, have you seen that one, like, uh, I think it was Facebook post where he's talking about how his dream is to be beaten up by a bunch of dudes and then fed to a python. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Bro. The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and you, the funny thing is, like, you look at him and you just know he's, he's, he's not... He's not playing. Like, you know that is the face of a man who wants to be devoured by a python. There's just no doubt in your mind. Gazing into that visage. Like, I thought it was bullshit, but looking at this, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. As long as it's consensual, I guess. I only have two more notes on this level. Isn't that a tree? I know one's up there in the giant uh, carpet ride. I don't remember if there are two up there, just one. See that shit? But they would get punched once and realize how much they don't want that? You ever think they punch themselves to test the water? I'm for Toto to miss one. I'm already missing one now. Have you ever seen, like, those people who speedrun Super Mario 64? Like, I know there's- I say people, it's really just one dude. But, like, he- he does these fucked up, like, insanely difficult Mario hacks that would take me fucking months to beat. And he speedruns them, but when he loses, he, like, starts hitting himself and shit, and, like, freaking out. 
I love watching that shit, dude. <laughs> I fucking love watch. This starts like screaming at the top of his lungs. I don't remember what his name is, but this shit is so funny to me. It probably shouldn't be, but just like seeing that shit, like seeing someone so good at the game get so fucking mad, is just funny to me. God damn, dude. We're gonna... We're gonna get back there one of these days. It's, it's really okay. I, I, I get mad, but like, that shit is just like a whole nother level for me. I got, I've been known to get mad at video games in my day, but not, not quite like that. Ikamboko. his name Kyle? I don't know what his name is. I don't even remember his online I always wondered if masochists enjoyed getting bullied when they were young. No. Dude, my fucking leg hurts. <laughs> like, I don't I don't get it. I'm sitting wrong. I've been having that problem a lot less. Maybe I'm getting deep vein thrombosis. It's about goddamn time. It's actually gonna be one fucking note again, isn't it? Save me from this hell. <laughs> Save me from this suffering, this pandemonium. Oh, good god. Because there's one over here that I didn't get, I'm pretty sure. No fucking clue. <laughs> no moss. I still feel bad about that. Okay, we literally need one more. need one more note. Does it make me a, a, a retard to have always enjoyed that particular noise that he makes when you pick up the token? Uh -oh. I don't know. What was it you said about it? I still enjoy it, but I gotta... I'm just, like, trying to remember where I have and haven't been, I guess. I always enjoy needing just one more and, and spending a while to find it. That's actually something that's satisfying for me. Oh, I think I see. I haven't been up here. Okay, retard. Hey, that's really hurtful, man. Five notes in the space though. That wasn't that bad outside of the lava area. That means four out of the five levels we've 100 percented And the ice one doesn't seem that bad either. That one's really small. Let me go ahead and uh, and 
to save. Can I save? I think I might be done for the night. I don't know. I could get food. Or I could keep streaming. Infinite possibilities. It's like the crash mass noise. I don't remember that one. Or is it the one where he goes, Ooga -da -do! Or am I thinking of a different noise? I could be just making up noises. Burgers, fries, and chips? Whoa, that sounds delicious. Pretty much that right word. I know that noise that. I don't even I don't even fucking play those games. <laughs> so and now we can go in here. Dude. There was actually no, uh, or there were no molehills whatsoever on the space level. Oh shit! Look at that. Are we finally gonna meet Mr. Mumbo? Yes, we are. Twenty-five causes highway robbery, motherfucker. Mumbo smash tokens hit by toilet. Find tokens and Mumbo help you. I still wish he'd turn you into a butt plug. That'd be pretty sick, right? Like, imagine being a butt plug and then, and then Hot Grintilda comes and just fucking shoves you up there. That's like a level. You gotta navigate your way to the Grintilda. I should make a run for this game. I think it'd be really good. You could use, like, the, the tile set of the shark from the original Banjo-Kazooie. What the fuck is the point of being the bee, then? I couldn't move five feet! Maybe this is political commentary about how we need to save the bees or some shit. Let me see, what- how many notes was that door, actually? Hundred and forty-two fucking A! That means between the ice level and the next level, we can only miss eight notes. That seems like a lot of leeway. Until you consider that we've literally maxed out the note count on uh, on all the worlds so far. So that means you can miss eight over all of the worlds. I think this is going to be number six. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. That's good, though. That's not a, that's not a complaint. That's not a bitch. That's not a... It's just ri ridiculous to me because if you're doing a, uh, like, OG Banjo, you get like a hundred on the first three levels and you're good for most of the fucking game, basically. It's almost like it's a game made for children. It's wild. Okay, fuck that. Nope. Controlling the bee is harder than it looks. Fat fucking bee. Ooh, you bitches. Okay. So where's a little bee to go? Didn't it say no bees allowed down here? I'm pretty sure it said no bees allowed down here. We gotta find, like, a little bee crevice or some shit. It was both clever and funny. Hank, you were the last person to be criticizing someone's wit and humor. Eat them both, motherfucker. 
Be good, Pokemon. So, uh... This is unbelievable. I can't be believe this has happened to me. Fucking fabulous. Oh, you, you have those emotes now. Have you, have you reconciled with the... With the, with the nasty woman? Is this supposed to be toilet? It's literally the toilet from Banjo Kazooie 1, yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, what the fuck? This is retarded. Like, I'm really supposed to land in there? Holy fuck, dude. Thing for the last hour. Good. This is. <laughs> is this what sex is like? God damn it! <laughs> Why? Why would you fucking do this? What the hell is wrong with the man who made this? Crazy. I hate bees, they bug me. I think I hate bees after this, too. I can't do it. I can't do it, dude. Oh, don't f Dude, am I really gonna have to do the entire level as the fucking bee? Dude, no! Oh my fucking god. It's like click clock- or, uh, yeah, click clock wood. I hope you like the buzzing noise. Arctic bee. Magic run out. Oh, thank God. What the fuck is this? Can I swim in here? Was that... was... was that bad that I thought that was water? Oh, I see. There's a fucking mumbo skull there. I'm, I am supposed to be the bee. But I have... I, I guess I have a certain amount of time to fulfill my... my... my bee duties. My obligations. <laughs> this is so fun. 
Hey bees, they bug me. Why do you keep posting that, dude? It's, hard, it's hurtful to bees. All of this playing as a bee makes me want to go to Whataburger and get a honey butter chicken biscuit. Get some. I actually really like the chewing noises that those cows make, though. <laughs> Reminds me of Sif. Dude, are you fucking... No, that's fucking stupid. The game's fucking stupid. <laughs> this fucking ROM hack is gonna... Gonna bust my, my noogies. The holes get progressively smaller. How many times have you had Waterburger this week? A lot. I like how this is literally just rehashing all the levels, but you play as the fucking bee. That's some gaming right there. I guess you don't have to play as the Bitch! Why don't you, uh, suck my tushy? I definitely have to be the bee for this one. For for fairly obvious reasons, I would say. But I need to I need to get the ability to shoot eggs so I can break that. It's been worth playing, I like it, but it's also fucked up too. I don't like this part because I don't like the bee noise. The bee noise is kinda grating. Fuck. Okay. You know what? We should do them in order. I shouldn't skip the four. I should. I should really do them in order, honestly. Cursed order, Hank. Hey, please stop that. Holy shit! That dude wasn't playing. That guy just fucked my fucked my shit up. He just tossed my salad. Oh, I need to be the bee for that. I don't think I can actually escape this. Can you get a bee rat? I think Cry used to have a bee rat actually. Back in the day. Okay, so let me turn into the B for that part. This seems like it's gonna be the the most involved level because there's gonna be parts where you have to be the be the B. Literally the worst emote. No, I can think of some pretty dog shit emotes. I'm not gonna say because that would be a. Uh, Meanie, meanie bullying. Homemade Santa? No, it's it's CWC Sonic Total. That sound should be DSP laugh clips. You rate this one? That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. Okay, you guys ready to thread the fucking needle on this? Not as bad. What is this fucking music? I'm not sure if I should love it or hate it. This is a lot bigger on the inside. Oh, fuck. It's getting drowned out by the buzzing. I think, uh, 
I think I'm gonna pick this up another day. I'm gonna explore this part a little bit more, but I'm, I'm ready to eat. I'm ready, I'm ready to, to feast. I think I've given you your, your uh, allotment of epic gaming content for a night. Munch, munch, pretty much, yeah. I feel like that bowl. Are you gonna feast upon? I don't know yet. Probably gonna see if my sister's awake, and if she is, we'll probably go to Whataburger. If not, I might just make a pizza or something. Although, I guess I could go by myself. Normally, I'm, I'm hesitant, because it's rush hour traffic normally around this time. Or maybe not rush hour, but it's getting to that point where there's a lot of motherfuckers on the road, and that's kind of annoying for me. Um, but it's Saturday, so I guess it's not really gonna be a thing. Okay, so I'm pretty sure my my B transformation runs out if I go this route. Right? Yeah, it stops you. I want to finish at least this part, get the five notes from here. Old Lady Road Rage Time Poggers? It's just my my part of town is under construction. There's a lot of new roads and shit. Because it's, it's seen an extreme population boom in the last two years. So it's just... During... during and, oh, we're also by a, a train station, too. Like one of the only public transit places we have. So it's just, it's messy in the morning. It's pretty rough. I just, I prefer to nice little quiet drives, right? Thank you, Alibru, for the two months. I appreciate it, dog. Is that a bee cat? That's pretty dope. What's up, dude? Chill drives? Yeah, chill drives. How much you wanna bet? I'm gonna fucking jump. And the magic's gonna wear off as I jump. That'd be a pretty great meme, right? Well, what the fuck, asshole? Make my B magic run out. how this shit is. Sometimes it really do be that way, right, fellow kids? Am I good at making memes? I want to see if I can get far in there with just the bear. Because transforming mid-level seems sketchy. Mumble, fuck streamer, mumble, lol extreme. Oh, man. What do you think mumbo is, by the way? Do you think he's just a fucking big pink ginger with a skull mask? Like a ginger that got his nose cut off or some shit? <laughs> An asshole? I mean, I'll, I, I can agree to that. Just a big ol' Riri. was a great attempt, dude. <laughs> that was really good. You gotta hand it to me. Holy fuck. I misjudged the depth there, I guess. An OG YouTuber, but he got destroyed by the algorithm. Mumble? Dog, you want that good juice? Puff puff pass. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my fucking god. 
<laughs> oh my fucking god. This level is gonna be the death of me, I feel. It would be okay if it didn't send me all the way back here. Humba Wumba probably knows. You see what they did to Humba Wumba and Nuts and Bolts? Made her into like a little lolly. It's fucked. Turns the uh, the strongest strongest woman character in the entire game into a fucking little girl. Mr. Travesty, I tell you what. Okay. Keep in mind, if I fall this time, I don't... I, I don't have the ability to just fly with my B-Wings, so I should be a little bit more cautious than I was the last time. The fucking what?! Bitch! Bitch! How the fuck did I fall there? I'm getting... I'm getting cranky, dude. I'll try one more time. I'll try one more time. Then I'm gonna have to leave this for Sunday, I guess. I'm gonna play this again. Because I don't have shit else to play. I'm gonna finish it, but it's not gonna be tonight. Mumbo make you fall? I guess so. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh, yeah. That's all she wrote! That's all she wrote for now. I am gonna go fuck off. I'm gonna get out of your hair. I've probably, um... Probably knocked most of your asses to sleep by now. So I will probably see you guys someday. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll just become a fucking, uh... I'll just become a hermit in the mountains or something by then. No promises. Alright, take it easy, dudes. Host JP, is he on? Yeah, sure. He's playing Breath of the Wild. Spamming with rats. He's a little dude. He's got eight viewers, so uh, do something nice for one of the one of one of the smaller boys. He's he's come a long way from posting pictures of his shit in my Discord. You should ask if he can if, if he can DM you some of that stuff. All right, um, take it easy, dogs. <laughs>